Scarecrow! Hello. Looking all beautifully sunny this morning. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd dress like Easter. You know, it's nearly Easter. So. It is. Yeah. It is almost Easter. I've just turned the guys up in the gallery and now I've got to turn them back down because they're really loud. <laughs> um, hello. Yes, it's almost Easter. It is almost Easter. Oh, and we've had a nice little chat this morning we talking are. about uh, about new houses and everything. Yes. New all adventures. sorts of ventures are going on. Oh. Tell you what, tell you what, all is good in the world of jewellery maker. I am having a proper granny. Oh, talk to me, guys. Now you've gone all really quiet. I can't hear them at all. There you go. I turned them completely off. <laughs> oh, I'm having a proper granny. It's so hot in here. This one. Oh, today your kits are amazing. And I heard you and Ross talking about the deal. Yeah, they're they're incredible. The price is incredible because they're gorgeous. They're so unique. I don't think we've ever seen anything like it before. No. Nope. And I just, I love all the jewellery. Yeah, I, I love how you've it displayed home. it as well. So we'll show you those in a few moments' time. Um, there's dragonflies, there's beautiful, what there's do you call the, them? Like Prisons? crystal points. Points, yeah. Crystal points, and there's crescent moons and um, hearts and um, lotuses and, oh, it's just, yeah. Look at all this. Coming up today at 9 o'clock? Yes. Nine at 9 o'clock. Um, yeah, all I'll say is, massive massive deal everyone's going yeah beautiful they're loving your jewelry today oh, thank you um little bees cute little bumblebees dragonflies loving these kits so at nine o'clock and we have got quantity of those as well um your God, i'm all out I'm, I'm all out of sync today i don't know where i am <laughs> your deal of the day we've got some absolutely stunning pills now again as we always say look we can offer you a decolorless diamond and we can offer you a, a colorless di or a diamond that's maybe more affordable um what's the difference of course it is the quality we are bringing you some of the finest examples of pills today with the wonderful Dave Troth, who's going to be stepping into the studio. And what I really love is these are kind of like mi mini kits. Mm. So they're put together with the components. Yeah, okay. So, for example, nice. this beautiful pendant just here, sorry, Ollie, um, comes with the bale. And if I just move this one over here, comes with the spaces in the magnetic class. So all you literally need to do is put it all together. That's basically yeah. it. Gorgeous, making high-end beautiful pearls um, that's it made up by our fabulous Anne and Sue in this hour we've also got a little mini showcase of Amazonite mm -hmm. haven't seen Amazonite in a while actually I love Amazonite is one of my favorites as well oh, mm, brand new okay Peruvian and completely and utterly natural all in the rounds we've got tens eights and sixes mm, you saw how popular yesterday we had green angel light that sold out yesterday mm. um, if you love that look, then make sure you're with us for this hour. We've got a stunning strand of Chrysocola. Um, oh, gosh, there's just so much in today's show. Mm. And then your masterclass at 12 o'clock. at 12, yes. Bit of silversmithing. Love it. So we're going to do, we're gonna, we've got these absolutely gorgeous triangular shaped mookites. And, yes. and, and we've got diamond shaped um, am amethyst as well. But we're going to frame them with like bezel strips and then make sort of lots of different geometric shapes with the silver. I can't wait. Mm. I literally can't wait. Uh, but you know we love an interactive show, so text in, come and say hello to Gemma and I. We would love to hear from you. Um, if we've not met, my name's Eleanor, and this is Gemma, and she's awesome. She's absolutely awesome. Um, and if you need any guidance in the wonderful journey that is jewellery making, she is most definitely your lady. Um, what was that, sorry? The first star buy coming up at quarter past this hour is last of stock Chrysocola, so make sure um, you're quick off the mark. It's graduated as well, so I think the work is literally done for you. Mm. Look at the quality of colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's gorgeous. The perfect fusion of blues mm. and green in one amazing gemstone. That's coming up within this hour, so we haven't got too long to wait. Um, but yeah, come and say hello. We've got we've got loads of goodies for you to bring today to you. Um, scoops, we've got beautiful parcels of calibrated stones. I'm going to start your viewer's choice. Remember, you've got mm. till the top of the hour to make your confirmations. Everything is locked and loaded on the website. Um, so uh, you can shop ahead. Some items will be going even lower. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. And you can also message us on the website as well. So there's the Amazonite um, going lower than those prices. Ooh, ooh, what's that? Tucson T, what's that? Graduated fasted rondelles. Mm. Loving those, they're going even lower. There's the parcel of your rubies. There's some amazing pearls. You've got some serenite. Oh, you've got it all on there. 
Shop ahead, but remember you have to the top of the hour or until stocks last to make your confirmations. Are you kicking the bin? I am kicking the bin. <laughs> Do you know it's everybody the kicks bucket. the bin? Yeah. No, no, don't, no, not buckets. We no. don't want buckets. No, we need to move that bin because we all kick it. I didn't realise it was there. Look at these, Gemma. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? What a colour. That's garnet. I thought that was ruby. I know. That's beautiful. Uh, so refractive. Look at that. A wonderful parcel of your three by three millimetre round brilliant cuts. In terms of potential, I mean, little parcels like this, I mean, I keep snapping them up because, um, well, they, they, you know, they are parcels of gemstones. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I haven't done that much with them as of yet. I would no. like to go into sort of drilling your, gem, your pearls and things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what can I do with these, Gem? So you can use these, you know, into your silver clay and things like that. You can, you can use the snap settings. You can use, um, you know, our calibrated settings and things like that. You can wire work them if you use really fine wire. You know, this... Yeah. But, you know, you can put them into serolin, um, into milliput. There's, you know, there's lots of ways you can use them if you're not a smith at the set as well. Yeah, you don't so. have to be a silversmith no. or a gemstone setter, do you, to no, work with these? No. I think that's, that's the key point. And they are amazing quality. I mean, look at how intense and how deliciously rich that colour mm, and saturation gorgeous. is. All of which, by the way, um, is completely and utterly natural. I'm trying to find that balance. Talk to me, guys. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's better. Um, that clock is ticking away, though. Yeah, I mean, I really like uh, um, the idea, and I have, I'll be honest, I haven't yet done it yet myself, but I've got a Dremel at home, mm. which just drilling a little hole, creating a burr, I suppose, yeah. and just gluing them into place yeah, in, a, in a pearl. Yeah, it's really, you need your little, your little vice for your pearl because, it, you know, you want to keep it steady while you drill it in, but mm -hmm. that's, that's it, yeah, it's that's, quite, it's that quite simple. simple, yeah. Really simple, yeah. imagine how beautiful that would be. Not stopping at £9.99, pence though, we're not even stopping at, I love the way Ross does this. Do you want, to show, do you want me to show you another price we're not going to stop at, he says? Mm. I knew you were going to do that, Ross. <laughs> Wow. You're not stopping there. Not stopping there. How many have you got then, Roscoe? 20. Because so many people... Oh, why is that... Oh, that's, that's changed. I can see our viewers, but it's, all of a sudden it's black instead of white. Mm. Is, is, it, is it better? Okay. Okay, it's better, so apparently. Um, I can see you all there. We've got 20 of these available within the vault, and lots of you are already <laughs> dialing through. I mean, imagine this in a eternity ring. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you could set them in a band, couldn't you? Channel yeah. set them in a band, set them all together. Or you could set them maybe down the finger instead oh, of across. That would be it. nice too. And we do snap sets, which mm. are three mil, don't we? Which are yeah. literally just click on top. Yeah, yeah. Um, in sterling silver as well. So, I mean, that's what, two pairs of earrings and a pendant. And we're not even stopping at £4.99. Good morning, Gabrielle. Hello to you, Olga. Hello to you, Elizabeth. Hello to you, Louise. Hello, new customers. Hello, Karen in Norfolk. Lovely to be with you. What day are we today? Tuesday. Tuesday. On this Tuesday morning. Sorry, I have to say. I'm really not with it today. No. <laughs> Do you know, some days you just don't know what's going on. Yeah. Your alarm goes off and you get up and you're like, stand there for ages. Just like, what's my name? What's, <laughs> what am I meant to be doing today? It's always a shock to the system for me getting up at four o'clock in the morning. Oh, so, four Because I'm not, I'm not in a pattern of doing it. So. No, four o'clock. Yeah. Nobody should see two fours in a day. No. Just one, just one. Five, I, I see five o'clock, two five o'clocks in the day and that's <laughs> enough. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. Two pounds and 99 pence only. I mean, we do things like ring mounts, don't we? And we, yep. do, we do your snap sets, as I said earlier mm. on. But if you don't want to work with your actual uh, calibrated mounts, mm. again, a lot of potential things like your what am I thinking of Gem the tube sets yeah tube settings you can get those you can you know I'm going to show you later bezel, some bezel setting and even though these are small when you, you you can still make bezels to set these in yourself and I'll be showing you that at 12 so oh, you perfect. can do that yeah so get these ahead of the 12 o'clock masterclass with Gemma um hello Lincolnshire Miss Janet Tynan where you're there as well um it absolutely bucketed down as we stepped into work today I don't know what that was all about yeah proper April showers was, yeah yeah bucketed down the sun was shining one minute and then deluge absolute yeah. deluge um stay inside stay inside because we'll bring you sunshine and former gemstones and Gemma Crow uh <laughs> stay where you are on those phones lines um oh golden sandstone i can imagine this is a bit of you yeah i love this i love the the sparkles inside it and i love the color it's that gorgeous that. rusty color isn't it it's yeah lovely. 
It's like, yeah, it, 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 it's taking gemstones like your sandstone, uh, sorry, sunstone, mm. not to be confused, they are two different gems. Mm. Um, this one's man-made, uh, sunstone is actually uh, Mother Nature made, but they have those that similarity, don't they, yeah. with the sort There's of internal sparkle. Twinkles, yeah, I mean, these are intensely twinkly, aren't they? They are. They're really gorgeous, and you know, it's lovely to mix these in with... Your, your other gemstones just to sort of pick out the sparkling you know and enhance the sparkling your other gemstones or pick out the gold of your findings you know just really pretty they're warm mm. warm beautiful in it, it, sort of every season of the year mm. um, and I think particularly when you wear them outside that's when you're going to see the sandstone um, yeah. performance shall yeah. we say that's it. Um, in natural light. Um, always very, very, very popular here at Jewelry Maker. They always fly out the door at £9.99 pence only. Um, you're guaranteed that perfect size as well, that consistent size, because they are man-made. Yeah. Um, so, you know, things like your channel setting and your macrame and... Yeah. Yeah, they can, yeah, you can use them across the board in all your techniques, can't you? I've it's been like, admiring your earrings, yeah. Gemma, this morning. Thank you. They'd be lovely with their nose. Yeah, a bit, a bit summery. Yeah, bit that's summery. it. I think you can make these sort of very bohemian looking, couldn't you? You mix them with your turquoises or your Amazonites and leather cords and things like that. Or you can really glam them up, put them with crystals and sparkly gemstones because they're going to work, you know, right across the board, I think. That's Look, gorgeous. It is lovely, I mean, isn't that's, it? that's like desert bohemian isn't yeah. it you can imagine feathers and totally. braids and yeah you know. totally like native in, uh, american inspiration yeah. loving that well this is coming up a little bit later on likewise alongside some of the mookite that we're bringing you today um we're going even lower the clock is ticking away how many do we have of these then roscoe 22 to be exact he says um, but it's busy, busy, busy already this morning. Not $9.99. Um, looming, you could use it in your looming. Yeah. Stretchy bracelets, because they're blessed with generous drill holes. Mm -hmm. Gents and ladies' jewellery. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. They're really lovely. Five pounds and 99 pence only mm. for your six millimetre rounds. You mentioned about the Amazonite. Let's bring yeah. that to her, because I think that... I think they look lovely together, those colours. Oh, they do, don't they? Yeah. They're very you. Yeah, this is yeah, this is my colour palette very yeah. much. So I, I was saying greens yes, and browns and reds, earthy tones. Yeah. I was saying to Claire yesterday that I I think if you put kits before me, I could name the designer. Yeah. And I think the same with the colours. Yeah. I could actually choose the designer. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You, with you, it's like lovely earthy, warm yeah. colours, quite uh, sort of Mother Nature like tones. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I know our designers. Five pounds and ninety nine pence only. Hello, Sally Ann Lynn. You're there as well. We did a little showcase of sandstone um, a few weeks ago, where we had it in the terracottas. We had it in the Midnight blue, and we even had it in emerald green, and they all sold out. Yeah, it's very popular. It's very popular. Yeah, it is because uh, it, it's it's that lovely mix between gemstones and but that little bit of enhancement, you know, which that sparkle. I think the sparkle's gorgeous. Yeah, me too. Me yeah. too. And it was it was a gem that was, or rather, I should say, strand that only because some people will say it's not a gemstone um, because it's man-made. I mean, that's that's a topic of conversation, isn't it? But let's we'll leave that there. Um, but it wasn't one of our biggest sellers. Now, however, it's hugely, yeah. hugely popular. But this is it. And the other thing, because it's man-made, it's very consistent in size. You know, because when we when we have natural gemstones, they're cut by hand, they're drilled yep. by hand. Yep. So, you know, this gives you that consistency where if you work with your seed beads, it's ideal to Perfect. use those alongside. And Maybe that's know. what it is. Maybe it is the introduction of seed beads that have yeah, sort of think, changed our minds. I think so, because you want that weight as well. It's going to bring you the weight as well as the sparkle into yeah into CB jewellery. Speaking of weight, mm. 490 carats of mixed gemstones. There is oh, wow. no more affordable way of, mm. of basically becoming a collector in one purchase mm. um, than a bead mix like this. I mean, if you have a little look, you can see Rutal, you can see Carnelian, I can see Amethyst, I can see uh, Clear Quartz, I can see Green Onyx. I'm going to tip them out. I'm going to do it. 490 carats. Not only do you, they're all natural, not only I can see Amazonite in here, I can see some lovely dendritic opal, I can see golden rutile. Not only are you getting a mixture of um, 
<coughs> of your gemstones, you're also getting a mixture of your shapes and sizes here mm -hmm. as well. So do you remember, Gem, cast mm -hmm. your mind back to, it was around about this time of year, actually, when we did the jewellery make, you know what I'm going to say, yeah. don't you? The NEC. The NEC, yeah. Do you remember, <coughs> Ollie? Do you remember that? The NEC? Bonkers <laughs> week, wasn't it? It was Absolutely. fun. It was really good fun. But I think we were all like, utterly exhausted come the end of that week. <laughs> what was the busiest section of the, uh, of, oh, of the stand? The beadscapes. Beads and, and not just the customers, the guest designers. <laughs> yeah. You spent <laughs> hours sifting staff. through them. Yeah. It was, yeah. Everybody loves beadscape. Everyone. Because you can do so much with them. Yeah. And, you, you know, you have inspiration that you might not get. Because I think we do get stuck in a pattern of buying the same things that we're familiar with, things that we like, colours that we like. Um, and sometimes it's nice to mix it up and find find some new inspiration. Yeah. And bead scoops definitely do that. Guilty. I'm definitely guilty of doing that. We're not stopping at 1999. Um, and plus you do the, well, you do this bubble style necklace now, don't you? Lots of our, uh, lots of our viewers and our guest designers do this wonderful textured bubble style. Yeah. A bead scoop is a dream it's for ideal. that technique. It's ideal. I mean, you can imagine that, can't you? All of those clustered around the neckline or even on the wrist is like yeah. a nice jangly bracelet. That'd be gorgeous. You, know, you don't have to think about the colours. No. They just work, don't they? They choose themselves. Um, every pound, every single penny out of that price tag. In fact, we take it to a brand new low. Go on, a price that has never been before. You got oh, just shy of 500 carats. And we'll put the 60 second clock onto your screen. <coughs> um, if you love a bead scoop, oh, look at that. Look at that chocolate moonstone. Can you see that? How about. How about we half that price? That would be amazing. That's such good value. I mean, if you were to th strand that, I think you'd have near on three strands there. Yeah. It's deceptive, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I always think, I, I look at a strand and I cut it and I think, oh, that doesn't look like many gems yeah. now. So when you look at that massive pile of gemstones, I think you've probably got about at least two and a half to three strands. I'm going to say so. And you've got two and a half to three strands of variation. I'm loving. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that golden rutal quartz. That's a beauty. Um, we're going to half that price tag. Um, hopefully, we've got enough of these to go around. I'm going to say with... Oh, we've got almost 100. However, a bead scoop is always incredibly popular. I've said it now. Lowest ever price tag. We are going to half what is already on your screens. Don't worry if you've made your confirmations already. Um, everybody does pay that final low. Pre-night. When was the last time we saw pre-night? Oh, no. That's I love it. Stone. Perfect spring gemstone. Mm -hmm. Here it is, half that price tag, lowest deal by a country mile, an absolute country mile. Uh, Lorna, well done. Claire, Beatrice, hello to you. Claire, Suzanne, Alison, Charmaine. Another Beatrice, well done to you. Um, Anne in Nottinghamshire, Hampshire, Lorna, you're there too. I was saying to Claire McDonald yesterday that I'm going to start calling her Beatrix. Why? Or Beatrice, rather. Why? Um, because Beatrice Potter. Because she lives in a house now. Oh. Is it Beatrix or Beatrice? It's an ex. Beatrix. Is it an ex? Beatrix. Okay. Well, it's Gloucester, uh, where I live, is the birthplace of Beatrix Potter. Yeah, and where she wrote all the books by the cathedral. Ah, a lovely well, little shop you should take the girls to, actually. Yes. They've got all animated figures. And it's really oh, cute. I love it. Well, literally, if you could imagine Claire's house, it's like that. Is it? Oh. It's a little Beatrix Potter cottage. Oh, cute. So I'm going to call her B from now on. <laughs> um, lots of, it's a beautiful name, by the way. I love it. Uh, lots of you multi buying on this. Yeah, it's going to go such a long way. Look at all that selection. Have you got a favourite? Oh, oh, I do. That green onyx is just this popping one. out at me. So Beatrix with an X. Yeah. There you go. I should know yeah. that. I mean, I think I grew up on Beatrix Potter. Mm. Um, middle name's what? Beatrix is her middle name. The, her, her, her real name is actually Helen, apparently. Mm. Did you know that? Um, no. <laughs> no, I didn't know I, that. If I did, I didn't remember. I didn't know that. Has anybody seen the films? The Peter, bless you. Um, the Peter Rabbit films. They are really good, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I, seen them. They are really good. I took Willow to see uh, um, Peter Rabbit 2. She finished her popcorn and wanted to go home, <laughs> which I was quite disappointed by because it was really good. Um, a lot of you there. We had just under 100. Lots of you choosing to multi-buy. It yeah. does not surprise us in the slightest. No, no it's, a, it's a great opportunity to get all that, that lovely mix of gemstones and loads of them. 749, I mean, yeah. that's incredible. What is that? Per carrot, so it's 490 carrots. Somebody... That's right. That's a, that's a lot of... Uh, Value. Yeah, what are you I'm trying not, to work out? I'm not doing the math. I was like, I what was are you trying to work out? Signaling to them, like, do the maths. Not what maths? The how, how much, much, is, how much, per how much is per carrot? 
what you're paying Okay, yeah, let's work that out. I can't do that. Um, hello, Mandy. Good morning, gorgeous ladies and fabulous crew. Excited for your company while I work from home. Oh, well, we're, we're, we are honoured to have your company, Mandy. Yeah. Thank you for, choosing, uh, for, for tuning in. Um, what is it? Sorry, per carrot? Less than 2p. 1.5. Well, there per you carrot. Go. I don't that think is we've ever, ever gone that low, have we? No, <laughs> I doubt it. I very, very much doubt it. Rosary link in all of these would be quite fabulous too. Yeah, and can you imagine make ropes and ropes of them, couldn't Lush. you? Gosh, I love that idea. Hello, Mandy in Somerset. Borada, gorgeous ladies. Looking forward to the show as always. Love you all. We love ah. you too, Mandy. Borada, <laughs> shirichi. How are you? Oh, okay. How are you? I didn't sneeze. I went to watch the England um, Wales um, Six Nations. You did not on Saturday. The ladies. How on earth did you get tickets for that? Was, there was tickets. It was the biggest crowd ever for a ladies international. It was thirteen thousand something. It was absolutely brilliant. Oh, it was brilliant. I love, I love a good rugby game. Oh yeah, me too. Going back to my roots, that is. Hello, Chu Ted. Morning, ladies. Looking forward to a great show. Having seen a preview of Gemma's creations, they are beautiful, aren't they, Ted? Oh. Hi, Ted. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, you've got some really lovely uh, kits and demonstrations coming up, um, both in the 9 o'clock and also in the 12 mm. o'clock hour today. £7.49 pence only. Yeah, I, we all, I always try and get Tom tickets because one of my friends works for a brewery in Wales. Oh, uh, well, right. it's not just Wales, it's across the UK. But, um, and he used to be able to get, uh, well, he had a box mm. um, at the uh, Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. So... Um, yeah, it's awesome. So I used to go to a lot of the rugby matches and things like that. And I keep trying to sweet talk him into taking me and Tom, but, you know, you lose touch yeah. with people, don't you? And he's like, you only want me for my rugby tickets. And I'm like, I yeah. can't even deny. Can't <laughs> even deny that. No, he is a friend too. He is a friend, but yeah. Hang on a second. I've just got to scoop the 490 carats of beautiful gemstones into my hand um, at £7.49. pence. You can only get those for what? How many more minutes? 38 more minutes. Now, the most requested item is the Dalmatian Jasper. I can see why. Oh, it's beautiful. Here we go. You've been requesting this, so here it is. Here it is. Lots of you uh, messaging in. Apparently, we're going to give you a flash. All right, then. It's about three auctions time. That's gorgeous. I've never seen them that shape. But Ruby is next. Okay, we're just giving you a little sneak preview on that one. <gasps> Oh my goodness me. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh wow, they're beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Those of you that have already got these, well done. I'm quite jealous. Look at the quality of that Colour ruby. It's incredible. It's almost, it's almost magenta. Pink. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is amazing quality ruby. Yeah. You have clarity you have that perfect balance of that pinkish red color exquisitely faceted and you're not even just getting one what is that what is that price seriously four pound 99 for ruby um that's that is a pound per ruby what on earth so i mean i, I was saying to Gemma earlier on prior to the show it's like you know what i really should start selling jewelry again yeah. i really should get into it and you know because um, it's enjoyable and it is, mm. you know, it's a hobby and a passion of all of ours. But if you put one of those in a pearl, in a Baroque yeah. pearl, selling it as a pearl with a genuine ruby, yeah. immediately you've got a perceived price point, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. yeah. And it's not going to be £4.99. No way near. No, no or, way or, near. You know, a pound. <laughs> they've, yeah, or a pound, yeah, That's exactly. Sort of they've right. sold out. Well done. Well done. Let's... Assorted loose beads... There's another scoop, is there? Oh. Assorted loose beads. I don't see an assortment. No. It's on its way. I'll tell you what, we'll do the Dalmatian Jasmine now, whilst, whilst we're waiting. Yesterday, we had a strand of Magnesite that was, um, that was faceted rondelles, granted, but absolutely flew out the door. And mm. I think it is because, I mean, look, you could literally just restrand that, couldn't yeah. you? And that's a, that's yeah. a lovely piece of jewellery. It is gorgeous. It's so versatile, Dalmatian Jasper. You can put it with so many different things. You can put it with your things, things like ruby, and, and it oh. looks fantastic. It just sort of grounds everything. Cruella, that is. Yeah, and it's that, it's that lovely sort of monotone look, isn't it? So you can colour pop alongside it, like look at it with your nails, it looks fantastic. Yeah. And then, but you can also, you know, put it in with your earthy tones, and it looks great. I love, and I love the shape as well, because mm. it's, it, it's rondelle stroke uh, heshy. 
Yeah, yeah. It's kind of that in between, like a, isn't it? Yeah, like a rounded heshi. Yeah. A rounded half off heshi, but yeah. it's still really lovely and linear. Now, this yeah. is brand new. It's never been on your screens. I love this strand. Do you want to know how many there are? Mm. 50. It's not enough, is it? No. This is going to be one of those one show wonders that literally uh, is on your screens and then not seen again. Not saying you will never see Dalmatian Jasper, of course, but I think this will be an on screen sellout. Shall we what? Guaranteed under £10. Yes. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's definitely do it. Mm. If you got hold of the Magna site yesterday, I think this would look dreamy. Mm. I think it looked great with the sandstone, looked yeah. great with the mookite, looked great with the um, Christ Christ colour. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Isn't it's it? monochrome, isn't it? So yeah. it's going to complement absolutely everything. What about this? Throwing this one out there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I would, I would work it. It's one of those gemstones that I would pretty much <gasps> work with anything. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like. Wouldn't, wouldn't have thought of that. that looks, that's a great strand of I like. Isn't it amazing? That's Coming gorgeous. up within this hour. What about alongside, as you've said it? Yeah. See, I, I think that's lovely. Beautiful. Mm. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Mm. Oh my goodness me! It's fantastic, isn't it? And there's a clock ticking away. Totally and utterly natural. I love Dalmatian Jasper. It's the most aptly named yeah. variety of Jasper, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I challenge anyone to not think of that Disney film. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, every time I, I look at it, I think about, you know, all the puppies literally running over the hill. Yeah. Um, it has got that little, that beautiful little quirkiness, you know, quite sweet, I think. Mm. But at the same time, the kind of uh, gemstone that gents could wear, mm. ladies could wear. We're big fans of the stretchy bracelet. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect for stretchies. Yeah. Channel setting, macrame, seed beading, wire work, of course, bubble style. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, it, it's because it's a slightly different shape, so a round, so, you know, it would give you a different, a different look. Yeah, and I'm just, if I just double that over, look, you're seeing then more of the patterning if you actually look from that side of the gemstone. They are really cool, aren't they? Yeah. Beautiful and totally and utterly natural. Not even stopping at 7 99 Brand new premiere opportunity for you all. Wayne's not here, apparently. Oh, was he in the gallery? I didn't know. Was he in the gallery? Ah, stomping <laughs> around. I remember the times that Wayne, when Wayne used to say good morning. He's that busy now. Yeah. That busy now. He's off in meetings and whatnot. Busy, busy, busy person. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence only to get hold of these. Absolutely beautiful. And we had a, a deal of the day where you had those bundles of elastic, so something like the black elastic through yeah. this. Yeah, ideal. Yeah, or leather cord would look lovely tied, you know, yeah. either side of a sort of a cluster of five or so of those. Yeah, that'd be cool. Look really nice. That'd be cool. And if mm. you were doing things like your artisanal markets or selling online, or well, even if you sold them for five pounds. Yeah. Yeah, You're going to make a, a huge amount profit, of profit from that. Morning to you, Millie B. Hello to you, Elizabeth, Caroline. Hello to you, Alison, Anne-Marie, West Midlands, Jacqueline, Suffolk, Angela. Uh, Cambridgeshire, nice to be with you. Julia, two Julias, Julia in Cambridgeshire, Julia in Hertfordshire. Uh, Surrey, new customer, you're there. London, you've just got yours. We only actually had 50. I can't remember the last time I saw Dalmatian Jasper. No, we don't, we don't see it very often. It's when I always buy when I see because I, I love it. It's a, like, it's that perfect um, gemstone to go with anything. So yeah, it's, it's and so clothing. Good It'll go yeah. with all clothing, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it, that's it. All and it, clothing and And occasions. it's a nod to animal print as well. A lot of people don't wear animal print in their clothing, but mm. it's nice to have that, that sort of wild side a little bit in your, in your jewellery. Totally get that. And do you know what? This weekend, so I was off this weekend, I try and be, I'm trying to be a bit more brave with my clothing. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not succeeding. Um, I'm not succeeding. Um, but I did buy a new dress and it was an animal print. It's just li literally a full length dress with long sleeves, mm. tiger print. I had it on for about five minutes. It didn't feel comfortable in it at yeah. all. However, in, in accessories, yeah. that's different. Yeah, that's it. You can just have a little bit of it. I find I've moved a, away from animal prints to wear, but actually put them in my yeah. jewellery and have more prints and colour in my jewellery now. I knew I knew I wasn't I wasn't pulling it off when literally Willow was like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. That's what it? she said. <laughs> oh, that's a new dress, mummy. And that was it. That's all she said. So I was like, oh, I need to go and change it. I'm not pulling <laughs> off the animal print. I need to do it in my accessories a little bit more. Um, and this, I agree with you. That's the perfect way to do it. We can mm. be a little bit bolder. Mm. I'm feeling like a, a wonderful pop of red. Yeah. 
channeling your inner Cruella de Vil. Yeah, definitely, definitely red. It looks great. It looks great there with your nails, doesn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, but on the verge of selling out, getting quite limited now, um, as a lot of you choose to multi-buy on this, and I don't blame you, um, at £4.99. pence. Now, coming up in a few moments' time is your Chrysocola. This is last in stock opportunity. Um, it's amazing quality and it is going incredibly, incredibly low. So um, be quick if you're a big fan of that beautiful, beautiful gemstone. Um, we had only 50 of these. That's all we could purchase. So it's not a case of we deliberately bought less. That is literally all we could purchase. And the fact, like Gemma just said, we don't see it that often. Mm -hmm. And when it does, like you guys, we snap it up. We snap it up. Stay where you are on those phone lines. OK, it is time. Adore Chrysocola, a gemstone that you probably won't see, I'm not going to say never, but it's unlikely that you're going to see it on the high street. That is because of its rarity. Now, I always describe it in the same way. This is the most beautiful boutique gemstone that really defines our planet Earth itself, an abundance of blues and greens. I love Chrysocola and I know that you guys too as well because mm. it almost gives you the, the perfect balance of a multitude of gemstones. If you like malachite, you'll love Chrysocola. Yeah. If you like turquoise, you'll love Chrysocola. This is a gemstone which, like those two that I mentioned, form alongside copper, so it's very shallow forming, um, but actually only unearthed in a few locations around the world. Um, Chrysocola, make no doubt about it, is a gemstone that you find written about on the likes of Jewelry Editor. You've, I've seen it in Sarah Bennett bringing it closer to home in, in her wonderful collection that she, uh, that she used to do. Um, it's very much a boutique gem. And ultimately, much like your malachite and your turquoise, the more intense those actual colours and the more vibrant and delicious the pattern variety is, the higher the quality the Chrysocola is. And this, for me, is exactly what I'm aspiring to. Mm -hmm. If you can imagine yourself perched and sat on, uh, uh, sort of, uh, on the moon itself, looking down at planet Earth, hopefully you're going to visualise something like this graduated that balance of malachite greens and turquoise blues with the most wonderful patterning. Mm. Do you notice how there's no areas of dark, yeah. black murkiness? Yeah. And I've shown you PowerPoints before with Chrysocola where, you know, like I said, jewellery editor, lots of different designers. Um, and there was one in a sterling silver. It was a bracelet in sterling silver. I forget what the price actually was. £225. Now, it's nice. Yeah. It's not wonderful quality Chrysocola, though, because it is more black, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's got that. Well, it's got those markings that I'm familiar with mm -hmm. more with Chrysocola. These are very smooth. These are more like what I would expect from like a, a Sleeping Beauty turquoise, that sort of density and smoothness yep. and consistency of colour. So, I, you know, I'm used to the, the more included um, Chrysocola. This now, that's gorgeous. natural. Let's read just one paragraph. Colour decides the price of Chrysocola. Whether it veers towards the green or the blue side of the spectrum, a nice even colouring across the surface of the gemstone is valued the highest. There will be veins or patches of other colours, but if it creates interesting patterns or shapes, this can enhance the price, not detract. Yeah. Colour and patterning is mm -hmm. crucial. Yeah. It, this is textbook Chrysocola. Look at the one for look at this from Wolf and Badger. Textbook. Five hundred and three pounds. Mm -hmm. A one of a kind Chrysocola piece on the jewelry editor. Price on application. Mm. Yeah, this is pounds. yeah probably absolutely. Look at this one. That's Four thousand eight hundred and seventy pounds. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. And it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. You are getting that very same gemstone. And on this occasion, listen, yeah, I am comparing to those examples that I have just shown you. 
Um, I know that this is a strand, it's not an 18 karat gold, but I am directly comparing the quality of the Chrysocola that you're about to acquire. Because, here we go, look at this. Could you make something like that? I think you could be inspired by it. And I know, again, that'll be in your precious metal, which you have to source. But I am not talking about the extra components. I'm talking about the quality of the gemstone. And I don't hesitate in saying this is fine quality. Here we go. Look at this one. £225. There's a lot of silver. But look at the quality of the Chrysocola. And look at the quality that you are getting. This is last of stock opportunity. It's been on your screens once previously. It absolutely flew out then. Do you want to know how many I've left? 49. Um, 49, that's left within the vault. I feel like it needs to go with pearls. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Can you imagine alternating that, literally, in a beautiful over-the-head necklace? Yeah, I mean, that would be very pretty. Maybe with a pop of coral in there as well. Yeah, and the, the quality sort of says you want to put it perhaps with pearls or, you know, your more sort of coveted gemstones. Definitely. That's our first price gem. Oh, my word. <laughs> We're not stopping at £19.99. pence. Natural, not dyed, not reconstituted. You've got 24 minutes to make that confirmation. Remember, colour decides the price of Chrysocola, whether it veers towards the blue or whether it leans towards the green. Um, you will have patterns. You will have patches. There's a 60-second heads up for you all. 29 of these are left now from that 49 that we had at the beginning of this auction. Um, uh, yeah, this year we've had an amazing parcel of Chrysocola. This ram was launched once previously with myself. Rounds are always the most popular because I guess they're easy to work with. Yeah, yeah, they are. They, you, you can put them in almost any design you want. And it's lovely to have that slight graduation as well because if you did just want to restrand or pop a spacer in between, you've got that, that design almost already done for you. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a lovely, it's a gorgeous strand. I can't believe we're, we're even suggesting going lower than 19.99, but that's exactly what we're doing. Angela's got two, Caroline, Lorraine, Lorna, Ayrshire, Cambridge's multi-bought, Nancy, Louise, Karen, and Margaret's multi-bought as well in beautiful Swansea. Uh, Northamptonshire, well done to you, multi-buying, Nina, Lancashire, Carol, Catherine, Lorraine, good luck. New customer, good luck. Another new customer, good luck. Gabrielle, Debbie, Linda, good luck. <laughs> Everybody's paying that final low price tag. We're over-allocated on this one. That's incredible. And this is why I absolutely love Jewelry Maker. The fact that we can bring you 70 carats of exemplary quality Chrysocola at 15 pounds. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I've paid a lot more than that for Chrysocola and it's not been this quality. It's, you know, it's, mm. it's been me. that speckly, the speckly Chrysocola, which I, I love, I, I, I love, don't get me wrong, I do. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, this is, this is something I've never seen. I've never seen it like this yeah, in the flesh. You and me both, Gem, I've brought Chrysocola, which looks more like that bracelet. Yeah, I have. And I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Um, and that's originally what I thought it should look like. Yeah, um, but when you actually really start seeing almost your Sleeping Beauty blues yeah. and your real intense Malachite greens, mm. that's when you go, oh, hold up, hold on a minute. Yeah. I've almost underestimated this gemstone. Um, it's from the Congo, which is really like your argyle to your diamonds. It's regarded as the best in the world. Um, and this is a prime example of us actually showing that. Um, can I just go back to that paragraph one more time, just to read it for those people that have just tuned in. Um, we only had 49 at the beginning of this auction. Uh, a lot of multi-buyers on this. Um, Susan's multi-bought, Alison's multi-bought, Nancy in Bristol's multi-bought, Northamptonshire's just multi-bought, Carolyn Devon's just multi-bought. Um, here are, colour decides the price of Chrysocola. Whether it veers towards the green or the blue side of the spectrum, a nice even colouring across the surface of the gemstone is valued the highest. There will be ve uh, veins or patches um, of other colours, but if this creates um, interesting patterns or shapes, this can enhance the price, not detract. Is that exactly what I'm, you're seeing? Exactly what you're seeing, yeah. Wow. Michaela, well done. Anita, well done. We have the final few of those. Congratulations. There's literally, what, single figures? Oh, five. There we go. There's five left. 
And guess however, how many of the pearls we've got left as well? Perhaps you're thinking the same as me, Chrysocona and pearls. Mm. We've also got this coming up, by the way. Ah! Huh? Oh, it comes with it! Oh, is this the little bow? Is this the, oh no, the clasp. Oh, this is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, that's sweet. It's really sweet. It's and and clasp. not fiddly. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice, it's a substantial clasp and yeah. it's really decorative. You wouldn't mind that at the front, would you? No. Yeah. Because um, I get really infuriated by fiddly clasps. I've got like this much patience with yeah. little clasps and then I end up not wearing it. Yeah. That's almost sold out. The fact you should be paying 19.99 for the clasp on its own. Can I just quickly show you? It's parve on both sides, by the way. Parve on both sides. And look, look how easy that is mm. to open and close. Should we do a big bundle? Lovely big bundle. <coughs> I'd more call these rounds. These are amazing. This is an amazing bundle. I've had this bundle. We can't have many of these left either. Ten. Yeah. I had this bundle. It's, it's just fabulous. Do you have it in a kit? Yeah. I mean, where do you begin with all that? <laughs> where do you begin? I didn't actually. I had it on a challenge, I think. And we did. We, I mean, we made chakra jewelry. We made. Uh, I made combinations of different palettes. I did stack of bracelets. I plaited them. I. Stretchies. Them. <laughs> just use them as spacer beads. Your so earrings. Gorgeous. My earrings. Yeah, yeah. little hoops. Yeah. Look at all of those. Whoever took that photograph needs a pat on the back. That's amazing. Beautiful. Um, a Tucson teaser. So, <gasps> one, two, three. You've got spinel. You've got grand didyrite. You've got turquoise. You've got tourmaline. You've got garnet. You've got peridot. You've got neon appetite. You've got pink tourmaline. You've got sky blue appetite, you've got clear quartz, you've got labyrinth, you've got hessonite, you've got red jasper, uh, you've got smoky quartz, you've got uh, black spinel, uh, you've got strawberry quartz, you've got fluorite, you've got rose quartz, you've got jasper, and you've got tiger's eye. <sighs> if we were to offer these at £10 each, £200, that's pretty amazing. You've got grand didgerite in there. Uh, hessonite garnet, which is absolutely gorgeous. Red, they're all amazing. Have you got a favourite? I do, I do like this strand of Grand Did you right? I do, but oh, I, I, it's, the, it's the garnets. And Me too! I love, I love Those it. two are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Lo mind you, I have to say, yeah, that's that nice. neon, uh, look at that, the appetite. Oh no, that's the appetite. Which one's this? That's, that's the sky, that. sky blue appetite. Wow. They're all absolutely amazing. So hang on a second, this is working out at five pounds each. Five pounds per strand. We've only got 10 of these left. I don't think I'm ever going to say these words, but I will. How about we bring you this amazing bundle, which I've never seen before, at two pounds per strand? That's crazy. On what planet is it normal for us to bring you Grand Digerite at two pounds? It's, it's a, it's a, I remember the, the deal being absolutely ridiculous. Or I can't remember boys. it being that ridiculous. But. Any of the gemstones, clear quartz we shouldn't be offering at two pounds. Strawberry quartz we definitely shouldn't be offering at two pounds. Tourmalines, hessonite, labradorite, apatite, peridot, garnet, none of the above. Turquoise, coloured spinel, black spinel, none of these should be two pounds per strand. Yeah. I mean, seriously, if you're brand new to jewellery making, get this, get some of our lovely elastic. You do a 0.5 and a, and a 0.3, don't we? Let's just turn them into those kind of bracelets. Yeah. Pop a few spacer beads in between. Slide, How lovely that is. Slider bracelet is ideal as well. Yep. You know, they're beautiful. There are six of these left. Um, six. I'm going to put this alongside the appetite. Look how beautiful that is. There's so many lovely combinations. Just to play with the combinations of gems is, is, is lovely. You know, it's, you've got so many gorgeous examples of each gemstone. I want this bundle. That's gorgeous. Playing with combinations, yeah. Four of these left. Um, if you want those two in your baskets, maker, then I would jack, uh, definitely check out. You still only pay one postage and packaging per day. That's three of the strands. I'm happy at 39.99 for those three, mm. to be truthful. I've got to put that red garnet on the back of the hand as well, because that's amazing. Yeah, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. Look how beautiful these are. Slider bracelets, they're a dream come true. Um, little things like what, 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 what do you what do you uh, what do you call it when you do the when you wrap the gemstones with a point four around a thicker gauge of wire? Is that is there a certain 
So the te technique, do you know what like I mean? Like a channel. Like a channel you know, like set. if I wanted to wrap them onto oh. your... I know, I don't know if that's, that's called anything in particular, but when you just bind, bind yeah. them, you have them protruding from a frame. Oh. Yeah. That'd I mean, that's nice. lovely, yeah. That'd be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Um, how many left? One. There's Simon, there's Lorraine, and Mako who's got two. I've only got one. Only got one. Good luck. I'll leave that final one with you. Do you know, if it is available come the top of this hour, I might have to mm. yoik that one. I've, you've got 15 minutes to, make, uh, to take advantage of that deal. Um, OK, remember, it's viewer's choice this hour. What should we do now? The early bird, Amaz and I. Uh, I think every single person here at Jewelry Maker would regard this, I, I think, as one of their absolute favourite gemstones. And actually, if you look outside of these four walls, the popularity of Amazonite is absolutely skyrocketed. Now, I'm going to reference and show you a website of a jewellery house that I've got massive admiration for. I think they've won recently awards for being one of the most successful jewellery designers um, in the world currently that really are celebrating um, the beauty of this gemstone and possibly are responsible for putting it in the limelight that, it's, uh, that it so justifiably deserves. Mm -hmm. Amazonite is your early bird next. <laughs> Now, it's a little bit of a joke here at Jewelry Maker, and I, I, I can hear Adam like, tittering in the background. Zip it, Adam. <laughs> but they all go, Monica Vanada. How many times are I going to say Monica Vanada? And I know I say it a lot, but that's, and, and that really is a compliment to the brand. Mm. I love her designs. I think she's amazing, and I also she's a great. <coughs> Excuse me, source of inspiration for you guys. But possibly Monica Veneda have really helped put Amazonite in the limelight. Do you yeah. agree? Yeah, it's like an ambassador for, for you know, great raw yeah. gemstones and, and, you know, gemstones that haven't uh, been as appreciated as they should totally. be. Totally. Yeah. Well, they do a great write up on this gemstone, and that's exactly what I want to show you Amazonite, the stone of hope. Amazonite is one of the many reasons we love gemstones so much. They come with rich histories, uh, startlingly beautiful colours and a vast range of uses for everyday jewellery. And Amazonite is a, a undoubtedly a leader of the pack. I mean, look at that. They put it right up there. They're not talking... I don't believe they actually have the same kind of write-up for diamonds. They might well do. I don't know. I wasn't researching that. But they are putting it right up there as a leader of the pack. Let's read on. Because what is this beautiful gemstone? Well, it's a part of the feldspar family of minerals, um, or to be more specific, K feldspar in relation to the potassium K content. Amazonite, that's the gemstone bit to one side. Amazonite is a blue-green semi-precious stone that has seemingly been used uh, for medicinal purposes as much as it has for jewellery pieces throughout history. Its potassium content is believed to bring physical benefits of stamina to the wearer, uh, so it has been a favourite jewellery item um, to many different civilizations. Now, if you, don't, if you don't roll with that, that's absolutely fine. You, none of us can deny, I don't think, that it's a really pretty, pretty colour. And I really like this next section. So it's talking about it being a, a gemstone of hope. Um, as well as physical benefits of owning and wearing Amazonite, it is something of a, uh, it has, sorry, it has something of a divine appearance to it. Uh, the blue-green variation of it often resembles the sky and the heavens. So it is often regarded as a beacon of hope and faith. This isn't only applicable to its spiritual qualities either. Its very appearance as a variant of turquoise is seen as the bridge between the blues of the cold winter and the greens of springtime laden with life. No matter how cold the winter might be, there is always a springtime to look forward to. And the colour of Amazonite acts as a quite literal reminder of that. The hope that this gemstone represents is manifested in the idea that it allows the owner to see the full truth of all matters so it inspires confidence in balance uh, confidence in balanced arguments and helps us achieve uh, equilibrium in all walks of life isn't that lovely it is lovely yeah it's lovely it's, it's, it's just lovely to have that alongside yeah the gemstone isn't it yeah and when you think of those words if you've never seen Amazonite before 
I think many of us will be conjuring up images of this. Mm. That balance, what I take from that paragraph the most is it's the balance between the cools of winter mm. and the warmth of springtime. Yeah. Look at these. Gorgeous. Now they've been brought to you in each individual size. Premier, these come from Peru. It's totally and utterly natural. Now, one of the beautiful uh, traits that Peruvian, I think anyway, that Peruvian gemstones offer is a glow from mm. the inside out. Yeah. It's even the opal, opal does it. Yeah, it's even got that, it's got that opal-like feel, hasn't it? This, yeah. This particular Amazonite. They also say about this gemstone that it looks even better at sunset and sunrise. Mm. Um, so imagine if you're going out, I don't know, going on holiday or you're going, uh, uh, you're, you're sort of going out for dinner or something like that. This is a gemstone that's beautiful warmth radiates at uh, mm. sort of certain lighting conditions. I'm going to start with the 10 mil. They're a premiere, never been on your screens before. Um, I'll go back to what we said, Gemma, at the beginning of the show. Mm. Haven't seen Amazonite for a while. No, no, we haven't had so much of it recently, have we? I mean, it, it's always been one of my favourites. It's one of the first stones I worked with when I came to work at Jewelry Maker and I made a dragonfly with it. And I remember it still being one of my favourite pieces. Oh. It's just, it's just gorgeous. And it, like, like I was saying with the um, Dalmatian Jasper earlier, it goes with everything. Yeah. That colour just works with pretty much any other colour. You can pop it against reds, browns, it tones in. You know, you can have it with pearls like, like you've just got there. Just, it's just a gorgeous gemstone. I love it. It's, it, it's my, well, in my top three. I adore Amazon. It's in my absolute top three. £19.99. And, um, and yeah, I think certainly over the last few years, mm -hmm. um, certainly I'm thinking about my lovely jewelry maker colleagues. I think most of us say it's in our top three now. Yeah. Um, I, I, and I, I kind of overlooked it in the past. Mm. Now, maybe it's the quality, I don't know, but we're really appreciating those really wonderful, almost angelite-esque colours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's got a softness and a really wonderful appeal to this gemstone. 10 mils. I mean, those on simple stretchy bracelets or knotting maybe mm. in amongst some beautiful pearls. Yeah. There's just so much potential. Maybe a long line necklace if you've got all of the graduation. Yeah. What would you do? But I'd probably, I'd probably rosary link it, make it go a bit further and mix it in with other things like woods and um, nice. rubies, tiger's eye, that sort of thing. Ooh, Keep the, the earthy tones. Yeah, I rosary like that link. idea. Maybe, maybe some, some cords and threads and, yeah. Love that. Textures. These are brand new. Beautiful. It's the biggest carat weight of... Oh, yeah. Of the three strands. Oh, yeah. What are we looking at? No. <laughs> oh, wow. How about, can you just do a little bit of simple maths for me, Ross? Uh, and tot up those three. Can you do it? I could do it if I tried, but it's too early in the morning for my brain. Because I think we should make a price promise. So if you get all three, you could have three, I mean, you could simply have three graduated necklaces, couldn't you? Yeah. I'm going to guarantee all three, here we go, let's just make this simple. All three under £30. Well, we know it's going to be less than that, do we? Actually, how about I guarantee that you can purchase all three mm. for under £25? Yeah, how about, how much was that, was that pearl strand? I'm going to just put this one in there. How about if I said, you can get all of that for less than 60. And wouldn't that be a beautiful piece? Yeah, that'd be incredible. There's still a couple of these available. Now, the largest carat weight, the largest carat weight in your 10 mils, I'm just showing you that you have the 8 mil and the 6 mil to come as well. Brand new today, under 10 pounds for you all. Sorry, I just lost something, just rolled away from me. And we're not even stopping there. Um, we have got quantity. There's a total of 150 of these. Think Marla necklaces. Yeah. A couple of, uh, yesterday, actually. Yesterday, was it yesterday? Was it yesterday? 
Yes, yeah, so we did. We, we, we showed, uh, you know, the trend of beaded jewellery. Mm. It really sort of kick-started once again in 2020. Mm. And we were talking about sort of how nostalgic it is, yeah. you know, how um, it takes us to sort of uh, back to maybe our school, uh, school days, um, but how wearable it is as well. Mm. This is perfect for things like your malas. Yeah, it is, absolutely. I mean, you could, you know, have the smaller sizes perhaps for your, your main beads and these for your guru beads. Yeah. Or, yeah, or graduate, you know, that knotted style, look gorgeous. Anne and Sue make uh, make a lot of jewellery, don't they? Yes. And I know that you know certain ones they'll actually sort of uh, they, they they sort of keep literally on the on the shelves in their in their office. Amma's Night Marla necklace, I should have grabbed it actually, is one of those pieces that they've always actually got up there. Yeah. Um, and it's this wonderful quality, these beautiful tro uh, tropical blues, natural Peruvian Amma's Night. We're not even stopping at nine pounds and ninety nine pence. So, yeah, and you know that we've got the 8 mil and the 6 mil. So, yeah, I love that, Ollie. Something like that, that beautiful scarf. Yeah. Instead of it actually being pearls, imagine creating that look with Amazonite. How amazing would that be? So beautiful. I know you can with a little bit of know-how. We had 150 of these. They're absolutely flying out the door. People will be multi-buying on this, and I don't blame you. I remember when Amazonite used to be, at the very least, sort of £14.99 for this kind of size. But Minimum, yeah. Minimum. Absolutely. Yeah. And we don't see Peruvian very often. Um, what can we show? Sorry. Look at this. That's Amber's Night on a different designer, Ashley Clark. £60. And by the way... They're about four mil, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, two, yeah. two to four millimetres in their size. £60. Can you make that? It's literally on cord. I think we've demonstrated that in the past, haven't you? Yeah, we could do that. No problem. It's, it's not even macrame knotted, it's just on cord. Yeah, like a that's wish, simple. Wish style bracelet. That's simple. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. There he is, he stepped in. I was, I was just, uh, did you, uh, were your ears burning? <laughs> no, I would never do that. But I was saying, I remember when he used to come in and say hello to me in the morning. Oh, yeah. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Can I do something? There's your overhead. Put that there. Okay. Put that there. You know what I'm going to do. I would obviously half that here. Mm. But imagine this. We're doing the eight mils now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, you would put the half of the eight mils here and then the six mils here. Yeah. Imagine yeah, that. Absolutely gorgeous. Over. And imagine that knotted in between each piece as well. That's going to be even longer, isn't it? You could wrap it oh, around. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're doing the 8 mil. Now, we've promised all three of these are under £25. So that re means that these remaining two, across the two of them, needs to be under £17. Okay. All right, then. Yeah, I'm, I, I want to get this bundle. And I, I would team it with pills as well. I think some really lovely uh, white pills would be beautiful. The six mils are still to come. Um, you can shop ahead, but remember you only have three minutes as part of your viewer's choice. Not stopping at $29.99. Something so unique about Peruvian Amazonite in the fact that it literally glows, doesn't it? Yeah, it it's does. got, it's got, it's not quite as opaque as other sources. No, it's really soft. And it, even if you look at the, the camera and how it's picking it up, it even looks like it's slightly soft focus yeah because it's because it's so soft and sort of radiating isn't it it does it, it yeah. it's almost like there's a little light bulb in the center yeah. of each and every single one of these rounds um yeah and it glows it literally glows yeah. the gemstone of hope remember that lovely write-up that monica veneda shared um it's that wonderful bridge between the coldness of winter mm. and the warmth of springtime all full of life yeah I, I can totally visualize that the clock is ticking away suggesting that we are going lower now always when we start stepping towards your eight mil and your six mil um, they are that much more popular, I guess, because they're more versatile. Yeah, they, yeah, they are. And I think, you know, um, I think we see 10 mils as kind of bold and chunky. Yeah. Um, that's not for everybody. No. People like, like this size. It's, it's comfortable for around the back of the neck. It's comfortable for the wrist. You know, it's a, it's a nice versatile size, isn't it? Eight and six. 
eight and six millimeters. There are tons of you there. And now people multi-buying. Um, I have the set, ooh, just under the quantity that we had on the, um, uh, that we had of the 10 millimeters, but they're absolutely flying out the door, really. And justifiably so, Amazon Night is in that limelight, and it should be. It's a beautiful, almost tropical essence gemstone that is completely and utterly natural. Um, I agree, good call. Ross says, uh, what would look lovely with the, the Chrysocola? Yes. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Can I add to that? Yeah. That's a Gemma Crow kit. I love that combination, yeah. yeah. That's a Gemma Crow kit, if ever I, I saw I it. I saw some tiger's eye come out earlier. Uh, yes, you did. Ooh, yes, you did, Gemma. Look at that. See, I love that. You've got mixing up the shapes there as well. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Loving that shape. Um, the Chrysocola may still be available. Have a look on our website. I know it was getting very limited. Um, we are bringing you the six millimeter rounds. There is less than 100 of these. Well, significantly less, actually. Yeah. Helena, Denise, Liz, Agnes, Julie, Janice, Angela. Hello to you, Isle of Wight, Stirlingshire, Sue, Margaret, Yvette. Um, those of you on the phone, as I can see you there, well done. Stay where you are. Julie, Tracy, new customer, Northamptonshire. Sorry, Kalisha, what a pretty name. Uh, Valerie, Jacqueline, hello to you. Uh, Neris, congratulations. Make sure you check out those baskets, everybody, at £6.99. Uh, Constancia in Aberdeenshire. What a lovely name. Lovely nice name. name, Constancia. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, the six mil are coming up. You can actually shop ahead because it is viewer's choice. Make sure you check out. Now, so as we said, for these two, currently £14.98. Shall we? So Ross told us a little porky pie. Mm. He said under £25, didn't he? He did. How about under £20 for all three? The six mil. Mm. I mean, you do the maths. <laughs> that's, that's an amazing price for Amazon yes. Night. Um, we're doing it in one price crash because time is ticking away. Under £5, six mil. I mean, yeah, it's like we always refer to it as the desert island size, don't we? Yeah, it, it is. It's perfect for stacking. I mean, I think most of mine are around the six mil. It's perfect for stacking up and layering. And you can even do beady beads with these. You can surround other beads with them. Mm. You know, Kiss cross. Kiss cross, yeah. There's, yeah, there's so much you can do with them. Everything, really. Mm. Absolutely everything. Yeah, and they're nice. They're a nice size for a, quite a subtle necklace as well. Just a beaded necklace is a nice, subtle size. Yeah, really wearable. Yeah. Because actually sometimes... You know, I, I will, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Marlin necklaces, you all know that, yeah. Uh, and yeah. I really like what Alan and Sue do. They put the six mils at the back, yeah. so it's, a bit more, it's, more, it's more comfortable. Hello, Julie. Uh, these will sit well with both the blue and green angel I purchased recently. Mm. Absolutely. Oh, they'd be amazing um, alongside both yeah. of those. Yeah, they would. A perfect pastel palette. One price crash. We have, let me just double check the quantity. Uh, oh, 150. Mm. Or rather, we did. £4.99. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot to bring you today. Some beautiful pearls, which I think Amazonite works so amazingly well with. Yeah. And the kits, Your kits, kits, kits I was going to say. An Amazonite kit over there, you know, with the, with the feature Amazonite points. So alongside, that would be gorgeous. In, and the amethyst would look lovely with it too. And, oh. the, and the connectors, Gem, because you've yeah. got, what, little bees and dragonflies in there. So can you imagine little bumblebees and yeah, dragonflies? teamed alongside, all of which, by the way, are lovely pastel palettes. Mm. Um, they'd be beautiful with Gemma's kits that are coming up in the next hour and ridiculously amazing price tag on those kits. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines. We'll keep the graphics in for you so you can finish make, uh, making your uh, confirmations. Gemma's kits are coming up after the break. Am I going straight into it? Wall of Fame, after the break, we'll back off this. I'll go first. We'll go in order. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Starting us off this morning is Trisha. Good morning to you, Trisha. Oh, wow. uh, you're number 325. Wow. Beautiful. But a mixed yes. medium there. 
That's beautiful, isn't it? Loving that. Uh, and Trisha says, Dear JM, please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame, a chainmail bracelet featuring turquoise cubes. I hope you like it. We certainly do, Trisha. It's absolutely amazing. Number 326 is from Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. Ah, oh, loving that. Loving everything. The colours, the photography. Hello to all of the Jewelry Maker crew. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a Mark Smith-inspired spiral rope. His demo was so easy to follow. The copper clasp is from my stash, but all the beads and the green thread is from Jewelry Maker. A big thank you for your continued dedication, fun and bargains. Love and positivity to all from Yvonne in Sheffield. Thank you, Yvonne. That's absolutely gorgeous. Number 327 is from lovely Julia. Oh, wow. Wow, Julia. Blimey. Amazing. I hope you're watching today, Julia. Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame draw. A Jackie Kennedy-inspired simple three-strand pearl knotted necklace. This one is for me. I hope you like it. And that's Julia in the Ron the Cun and Taft. Julia, that is beautiful. And I don't blame you in keeping it for you. Make sure you're with us at 10, Julia. Over to you, Gem. It's stunning. Um, I got number 328, <coughs> which is from Mandy Cooper. Um, she says, good morning, JM. Please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Two pairs of sterling silver stud drop earrings, one made with tourmaline and the other is with labradorite and pearl. Fab holiday jewelry and simple makes. They're gorgeous. And that multi-bundle strand, is that, that's a sort of perfect, perfect yeah. um, jewelry to make with that. Thank you, Mandy. That's gorgeous. And then I've got um, 329 and it's Trevor Edgar. Oh, these are lovely. Mm. Um, hi, all at JM. My entry this week is two bracelets made with one uh, made with one gold set and one silver set of 80 seed beads and connectors. Hope you like them. Good luck to all the whoppers and best wishes from Trevor. Love oh, those. They're gorgeous, Trevor. Yeah. Amazing. Aren't really they clever? Lovely. Very clever. Aren't they clever? But they feel lovely too, those. Make, yeah, like a fabric. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the gorgeous Carol to uh, do the Wall of Fame draw. Um, because one of you will receive £100 credit to your, your Jewelry Maker account. Um, and another will receive 50 Now, um, we have amazing kits coming your way. Beautiful demonstrations, of course, with yours truly. Make sure you check out your baskets. That clock is ticking. We'll return after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. 
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Welcome back, jewellery makers. Now, there are a lot of kits to bring you. There's a lot, yeah, isn't there? A lot of kits, but boy, are they good. They're so good. So good. So I would absolutely recommend. You can shop ahead. They're all available on pre-order. They are going so low, Gem. I know, I, I'm really amazed. They're great value, great components. Absolutely gorgeous. Literally, I mean, look at each of these designs. It, 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 it's super, super commercial. Very, yeah. Very, very commercial. It is the kind of jewellery that is hot right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, just a bit of sort of simple construction. I'm going to start, they're, they're across different gemstones. So you've actually got um, Amazonite, you've got uh, Lapis Lazuli, you've got Labradorite, you've got some lovely uh, Amethyst and so on. But just before I dive into that, look at these amazing pearls that are coming up in the 10 o'clock hour as part of your deal of the day. These are high-end pearls and they will be a certain price point. Mm. But what I really enjoy, uh, what I'm really liking about this opportunity with Dave um, is they are effectively kits. Mm. You know, they are coming with... Uh, you know, a component so that you can literally put that together yeah. like a, a wonderful luxurious puzzle uh, so they're coming up um, at 10 o'clock today with Dave Troth now I'm going to start with the Amazonite and the reason we're doing that is because on the back of that beautiful star by um, your early bird um, Amazonite bundle I think this would be a lovely a really welcome addition alongside you're quite flabbergasted by the savings of these aren't I am. you I, I'm really amazed I mean they're gorgeous examples of the gemstone but it's the extra components that really help you you know yep. create these very commercial very simple designs so you know the the, the pieces that you're going to be able to create with them are, are, are going to be very very saleable you know yeah they're going to go down well at your craft fairs and they're really quick as well to put together yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's the thing as well. It's not a massive time investment no, in these no. either. Um, so here they are. You're getting a real selection of your findings, um, also additional charms and even mm. things like your earring hoops as well, if you wanted to look at them that way. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just run through it. Starting with your findings, you've got a length of your lovely open chain. Um, these are silver plated and the length of this is, let me just double check, let me double check. Uh, I can't see it, I can't see it, I can't see it. Ah, oh. mm, it's a meter, I think. It's, oh, no, it's 50. 50 centimeters? Yeah, 50 centimeters. 50 centimeters, over. thank you. Two of your toggles, four of your shepherd hooks, four of your uh, head pins. Um, then you've also got your jump rings, your crimps. You've got these really lovely, I mean, I don't even know how to describe those. What are they? Like little rings, I love Little these. rings yeah. or. Bezels. Rings, these are, they're, they're lovely. They give you the opportunity for a bit of negative space in your work. They're mm -hmm. great to connect things together. Wrapping onto as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, then you've got a lovely little heart charm. And then the star of the show is, of course, your Amazonite, which you have these beautiful little double, uh, double ended pointers. Mm -hmm. um, and you have your Amazonite in um, your faceted beads as well, a little bit like your satellite bead shapes, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. So in between a faceted round and um, a bicone. So all of this which you could literally just piece together yeah. in different, and make a suite, a full suite of jewellery. Yeah. I mean, you can see, Gemma, I can see an Amazonite necklace and matching earrings. Yeah. 
from this one one yeah. kit. Yeah, and I've used you know lots of the components all in one. You could split it up a lot further than that. Um, yeah, it's lovely. And you know when it's on, it's it's a lot longer than that. So that that gemstone falls in the middle, but oh, it, it can't on the bust. So it does it does fall nice. Fall nice and long. Yeah. So uh, again, something that will appeal to those of us like who uh, really enjoy crystal healing. Yes. If you go that way, fab. If you don't, also fab. Doesn't matter. It's entirely up to you. Um, beautiful examples of your Amazonite, completely and utterly natural. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. But we are no alien. I think there's going to be people who will probably, you know, mix and match the mm. kits. Yeah. Maybe to get the really beautiful colour palette. Yeah. They are all available on pre-order, so you can actually take a take a peruse and a schmooze and shop ahead if you wanted yeah. to. Um, this alongside maybe the amethyst or mm. or yeah, the labradorite. Yeah. Yeah. They all they, work, they, don't they? they? Mix them up. If I had them again, I'd mix them up. Yeah. Not stopping here. How many do we have then, Ross? One hundred of this kit. Perfect for somebody that is very established, but maybe wants to make quick makes. Yeah. Um, perfect for those people that are maybe brand new to the jewelry making sector. Mm -hmm. You know, great little co uh, confidence builder. Um, not stopping here. Everybody pays that final low price tag as well. Literally, it's it's great for uh, sort of uh, working with your findings. Which let's be honest, we haven't seen findings in kits for a long no. time. No, it's nice to have. You've got pretty much everything you need there. I mean, I'm going to show you a technique to wrap the points with some wire so i've added some 0.4 wire to, mm -hmm. to show you a nice simple way of caging these um, points but everything else is is in there for you so all complete yeah complete, all complete yeah. within the kit not even stopping there we've got six kits to bring you actually we've got more i think um but do shop ahead this is called peace yeah i can see that is a peaceful beautiful gemstone works so gloriously with the components £12.99. pence. Now, I remember the days when a findings pack didn't well, it cost more than that. Yeah, yeah we were... Yeah, we were we did, didn't we? £14.99 yeah. for one of our findings packs. Silver-plated yeah. findings packs. Yeah. Granted, but you're basically getting a luxurious findings pack in the fact that you've actually got these bezels and charms and yeah. additional components. And you're getting your Amazonite too. So, yeah, I mean, once upon a time, a little, little, little chiffon bag with, I think they were, how many was there? 21? 21 findings or something like that? Yeah. Or was it more? I can't remember. I can't remember the sterling. But they were silver. 14 95 yeah. weren't they? Or 14 yeah. 99 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. The, that the sterling silver ones, you had 13 in. <laughs> yeah. Look at, what, look at the savings for you all today. Dawn, Yvette, Ruby, Angela, Gabrielle, Josephine. Hello to you, Susan, Stephanie, new customers. Um, all the other kits are available on pre-order. And of course, as always, if you have any questions um, for Gemma, then do feel free to message in because we are live here in the studio. Hello, Gabrielle. Hello to you, West Midlands. Nice to be with you as well. £12.99 pence only. Um, next up, we're going to do the lapis lazuli. Now, this... I'm actually going to scooch them in your oh, direction yeah. and then Send maybe... Send them all to me, I don't mind. Paul can whisk them away because there's a lot of kits to have on this side of the desk. Just to talk to you a little bit as well about the <clears> crystal point and what, you know, so the gemstones obviously have got their, their own meaning. So the Amazonite is representative of the heart chakra and we learn all about what it means. But having the points means that the energy can flow through the stone. That's Doesn't it that's channel why, it towards your heart? Yeah, it yeah. channels it, but with the double termination. So it allows energy to flow. Ah. Through. So that's why there it's important why people love these points and, and why you know that this is when you go into crystal healing shops you see a lot of this shape gemstone. Yeah, here it is. So uh, lapis lazuli, this is all about sleep. Mm. So believe to help us with sleep. Right, yes, and communication. I always wear lapis when I've got like to, to pitch something or if I'm writing I, I keep lapis by me because it helps you communicate clearly. Love that. Absolutely love that. I mean, it's a, steeped in history. Lapis lazuli has been adored for, for literally thousands and thousands of years. But we cannot bring this kit to air without mentioning these gorgeous little components, which are, um, let me just grab my tweezers, little dragonflies. These are so lovely. And you get so many of them. They go such a long way. I, did, I had them in um, another kit where I've just used the chain and the dragonflies and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Got a whole necklace with them. Aren't they gorgeous? And you've got, you've got, I've picked up the worst tweezers, but can you see how you actually have that sort of aperture running through the centre of where the body would be? I'm also thinking about that bundle that we had earlier on with those faceted rondelles. Yeah, perfect, because you can have them like a more dragonfly body rather yeah. than a bumblebee. 
but yeah. Look at those. And you're getting the crescents. Love these. There you go. Look how substantial they are. They're, so, they're such lovely components, those. So really well nice. Drilled through the sort of the, the fullest part of the crescent too. You've got two, um, two drill holes, which makes oh, them yeah. really versatile for um, piecing together. No, we're not stopping here. Not stopping here. Um, we're going to match the price of the previous kit. So I think there's going to be a lot of multi-buying across the different kits uh, this yeah. morning. Lots of you are shopping ahead, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, because the faster we work together, the faster we can dive into the demonstrations, of course. That's, that's, a great, that's great value because you've got even more components in there, haven't you? Yeah, that's you've right. got three crescents and ten of those little dragonflies. Yeah. Which could also be little bees, couldn't they? Couldn't could. they? they could also be deemed as little, little bumblebees there. Um, yeah, uh, in terms of quantity, I love that, Gem. Yeah, Absolutely I was in, love that. I was indulgent in this one because I, I, I used them individually, the crescents in another kit. So this one, I thought, I'll just see if I can put them all together. And it, it reminds me of like lunar phases or something. I'm not quite sure what it reminds me of. But um, yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. I liked how they worked. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely love that. Oh, the guys in the, in the gallery are seeing little face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see it now you've said it. Yeah. I can see it. it's beautiful, Gem. Absolutely stunning. And you're going to be demonstrating that technique as yes, well um, with the uh, 0.4 wire. Um, half the stock of these has gone already. Again, so many names. Well done, Jackie. I can see you on the phone lines. Carol, Jenny, Angela, Debbie, uh, Joan, Gabrielle, Sharon. Hello to you, Suffolk, Yvette, Susan, Alison, Melissa. New customer, Rachel, Stephanie, Fiona, Susan, Alison, Alison, Tina, Catherine, Isabel, another Stephanie. I can't keep up with you. Yeah, a lot of multi buys. This was always going to be popular because it's lapis. Mm. Um, but also you've got both the crescents and the dragonflies. Yeah, yeah. this has got it all, this one. It's got it all. It has. <laughs> it's got it all. Lovely to see these components again, you know, because our kits... Actually, recently, we haven't seen that many, uh, that many sort of findings, so it's a nice little yeah. addition, isn't it? Um, I think that one's been swooped and swiped by our Gemma. A demo with this You're going to demo with that yeah. one. Okay, fair enough. Keep on dialing through. So, should we do the carnelian? Bear with. <clears throat> go, go, eh. Go, go, gadget arms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Sorry about the sound effects. <coughs> oh, goodness me. Um, <laughs> okay, right, and we will, uh, you are shopping ahead, which is wonderful, so we'll uh, dive into the demo in a few moments' time. Now, this includes the 0.4 wire. Yeah. Um, so, again, if you wanted to mix and match, Carnelian's been very popular, but it's also got a metre of a different lovely. chain. Isn't that gorgeous? That chain's really lovely. It's like a, a nice chunky flat curve, but it's looks always diamond, like cut. diamond cut. Yeah, so it's yeah, so it looks gorgeous. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Look how beautiful. Um, so you get a meter long length. Then you've also got those lovely crescents that we had a few moments ago. So you get three of those. You get three of the circles, pendants, bezels, whatever you want to use them as. And of course, you get the warmth of carnelian and mm. um, this is proving to be very 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 popular um, on the pre-order so this is all about dream carnelian quartz points um, you get three of the uh, almost like satellite bead shapes you get the lovely double pointer as well a meter of your very diamond cut s chain which is silver plated and the spool of your uh, of your wire mm. loads of you multi-buying 12 pounds and 99 pence. That's awesome. It is awesome. Yeah, it is. The, the components are gorgeous. The gemstones are gorgeous. That chain, it just sits so nicely as well. You, even when I'm presenting it on the bus earlier, it just... It, yeah, it draped. Just, it drapes beautifully. Yeah. And because it's a larger link, it's easier, I suppose, to sort of attach to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much easier. And it's easy to, you know, cut up and make into sections and... Yeah, it's gorgeous. Wow, loving that. Um, again, we've got a hundred of this kit, but they are proven to be very, very popular. Carnelian, I have to say, is uh, certainly maybe it's the turn of spring moving into summer, of course. Mm. I start reaching for Carnelian a lot more. Yeah, it's I the warmth of it. I love the hot oranges and yeah, it's, mm. yeah, it's gorgeous. It Sahara. has. 
that Sahara sort of warmth. Sunset. And love it. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Um, okay, we will bring you the kits in a few moments' time, but you can, of course, uh, shop ahead and pre-order online all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, but Gemma, mm. your demonstration. So you're going to show us how to do this beautiful... Uh, um... Net, almost. Yes, it's yeah. a great room. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to show you how to do that so that you can see the gemstone, but you sort of set it um, securely as well. Okay. So I'm using... I'm just using some wire that's sort of... Um, that I've got handy over here. So I've just got some... Um, 0 0.4 millimeter wire you get the silver in in some of the kits you get that and I've cut it into three short sections so about um, 15 or 20 centimeter sections so we've got three little sections here I'm going to take two of them and I'm just going to find roughly the center and just come back from it slightly so just off center I'm going to take two wires and I'm just going to give them a couple of twists together and I want these twists to be quite tight so they're not too um, bulky or get in the way. So two twists, two or three twists there with those two. And then I'm going to take that third, that third wire. I'm going to bring it in um, next to those twists. And all I want is a little space in the middle where my point is going to sit, my gemstone point is going to sit. So I want to leave a little bit of space, just a thumbnail, or actually you could put your pliers um, sort of in the way so that you get that space consistent. So I can perhaps hold with my pliers. So I just leave a little gap. And then I'm going to twist two of those wires together. So it, it is easier to hold it with your fingers. Um, two of those wires together here, same amount of twists as you did on the other one. Okay. And then you've got the last two wires to twist together. So again, we want to leave that little gap in the center where our crystal point is going to sit. So I'm just going to take one twist out of here, actually. It looks a bit, a bit too twisted. OK, so like this. And then we're going to keep that space. So use your fingers over the top to help you keep that space. And then we're going to twist <coughs> them together. And we're going to try and keep the same, roughly the same amount of twists on each side. So can we see that now? We've got this little triangular shape. Now our point has got six sides, so we need to just adjust this slightly so to accommodate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each of these three sides I've got here because I've formed like a triangle. And I'm just going to give a little twist out so that we put sort of a center bend on, the, on each of those um, sides. Okay, and this then forms a little sort of hammock for our point to sit into. So if we pop that over the top of the gemstone, we can see that that point just sits into there quite nicely. Okay, so then I'm going to push these, the, these sort of twisted sections down over the gemstone like this and try and make sure that they're evenly spaced. Okay, and then I'm going to, whilst holding them, I'm then going to then take the two next to each other. So we've got the twisted, two twisted here and two twisted here. I'm going to take one of those wires from one side and one from the other, and I'm going to twist those together. Okay, so just we don't want to, we want to make sure that we leave enough space. So I'm just going to hold that nice and securely and give that a couple of, couple of twists, maybe three. Okay, three twists. So that's that one done. And then we're going to turn it. We're going to do the next one to it. So Come over to the next one, bring the two wires closest to one another together and twist them. And when I'm twisting, you see I'm trying to twist both wires together. So I'm pulling on the wire and keeping even tension as I, as I pull and twist. And that gives me a twist rather than like a helter skelter. So we don't want one wire twisting around another. We want them both to twist. Okay. So we've got that one done and now we've got our third one third set to do here so coming round again it's easier if you hold your thumb over that point it stops it slipping and then we'll bring these two together and give them a twist so again I think I've done three on each side so I'm going to do three twists here as well keeping that even tension so that they do twist rather than wrap around one another okay so you can see that coming together now um, and we can then do the same again. So we're going to repeat all the way up along. So I'm now going to twist two together. So I've got the wraps here and the wraps here. I'm going to take the two wires next to one another and wrap those together. 
Now you can spread this out more than I have here. Some of them I've done the wraps, the twists further apart. Some of them um, I've done them quite tight together, but it's, it's really up to you how, you how you distribute these. But you wanna try and keep them as even as you can. Okay, so we've got two and then three, and then the third pair, two, one, two, and three. Okay, so then we can see now we've got this nicely, nicely caged in here. So to, to make it even and look nice, I would do, a th I'd do my last ones up near the point at the other end. So I'm just gonna quickly do those and I'll draw them all together and show you how to finish the threads. Okay, so we're gonna take these, this pair. Once you get going with this, it's, um, you can see quite easily what, which ones you need to wrap. So, and I think even if you've never done any wire work, you can do this. Okay, so that's that pair done. And then we come to the next pair, twist those. and twist those. Okay, and then we should be able to nice, they should sit nicely up onto the top of the gemstone. So that's nicely caged in there now, and then we can twist all of them together, just a couple of twists, and then we can slowly start removing some of these wires. So just take out uh, a couple of wires at a time so until we've got maybe two wires left to, to take into the rest of your jewellery. So I'm just going to find the ones that are sort of the lowest down on this twist and trim, trim them off. So I'm trim those off there. And then I've got two wires. So you could cover that with a, um, with a bead. You could um, take one of your one of your little dragonfly wing sets here and um, drop that over, over that twisted area. Might need to take a bit of time to really crimp that twisted area in a bit more. I find a little spacer bead is, was ideal to really get over that twisted area. But yeah, you could drop that on there. Let's, we might as well use all the components. We can take then a bead, one of these lovely sort of satellite-esque beads, pop that on the top, like so. Okay, so then we've got this lovely component. And then if you, you want to, you can then work this into perhaps your crescent. So um, you might want to add a bit of chain there so that you can you know, let that drop down rather than add it straight in um, to give it a bit of space. But you can, you've got two holes in these, so you can go through, through this one um, to attach your components. But then the top one is left free then to attach, you know, your jump ring to go onto a chain or a cord. So these are really versatile. Um, and then all we can do, let's just finish this one off and then we can um, use, you can use this component however you like. So I'm just gonna put my pliers in the way to make a little neck to wrap my wires around. Bend the wires off to a 90 degree angle. Then take your round nose pliers, turn a loop. And then the tails here, we can then just wrap around that sort of neck area we kept and then trim them off once safe, once they're secure. And yeah, so that's how you um, cage those, <coughs> those lovely crystal points really simply for, you know, nice, simple designs. Ah, oh, I mean, Jo, that's, like that's like a beautiful little angel. Yeah, it does look like an angel with those wings, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's absolutely amazing. You could literally just do this. I don't know. They could be bag charms as well, yeah, couldn't they? As well yeah. as pendants and things yeah. like that. Key rings. You know, they're, yeah. they're substantial gemstones so, and they're strong, you know. So, yeah, you could use them like that. And they're slightly protected as well with this wire layer over the top. Mm. So, Could you do that technique, maybe caging some rounds in the centre as well? Yeah, you could. Yeah, this technique will work with most with most shapes. It works really well with this because of that elongated yeah. body of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can do that even if you've got not much wire work skills. Wow, love that. Thank you so much. Um, well, more kits. We've got loads of kits to bring you because I think that you know that technique. Lots of you are going to be uh, replicating. So, those of you that have shopped ahead. Well done. We're about to bring you the amethyst, which I love. You've got half an hour just under. 
um, until we bring you the deal of the day, these beautiful, natural, high-end pearls. Um, I love this kit. I think that's absolutely yeah. beautiful. The fact that you actually have um, two wonderful charms, one of which is your lotus flower, and one is, I don't even know. Your om. Your om. Om. Aha. So your meditation. It's yes. all about meditation. Your vibrations. I see. That's that one at the bottom just mm -hmm. there. Can you see it? Um, so you're getting two of those charms alongside, of course, your natural amethyst, which totals 20 carats. I mean, that's a 30 by 8 millimeter stone. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a huge stone. I mean, they're so gorgeous. They're so tactile. It's nice to have them where you can, you know, you can touch them and use them. So mm. it's nice to have them in these long necklaces because you can you know, be really a close up with them. I would mix these up together because I actually think this alongside the uh, Amazonite that we had. Yeah, look gorgeous. Well, look so lovely. Lots of combinations that would work well. Rose yeah. quartz with the, the Labradorite, yeah. <coughs> well, take a little look at uh, uh, Gemma's designs. You know, um, you've created again that same technique of wrapping, creating mm. that really beautiful long line pendant. Mm. Um, and you've put, is that the lotus flower or the om? Uh, it's the om. It's the om charm at the bottom yeah. there. Look at that, that's so gorgeous. Yeah, it's very simple, isn't it? But yeah, expressive, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, here we go, £12.99 pence only. Um, just so you know, you get a metre of that beautiful diamond cut chain. Uh, you're getting um, a, a 10 metres of your 0.4 silver plated wire, two of your silver plated charms, and obviously all your beautiful amethyst. Hello, sorry, saying uh, the universe is talking to me. Uh -huh. I saw a similar design um, with knotted cord. Yeah. So I definitely need to make them. Thanks, Gemma. Fab tutori tu tutorial as always. I'll learn how to talk. You're very welcome. Um, and yes, I was going to say this this sort of technique first came from looking at macrame and how that works. Uh -huh. So because the macrame potted baskets is the same sort of thing. So you could do it, you know, in a very so a like tiny hemp cord. And a I, nylon cord. Yeah, the nylon, the the very fine eslon. Yes, yeah. it's like the one. 0.1 yeah. millimeter yeah. on or even nymo thread or something would work as well but it's, it'd be very fiddly with what with yeah. tiny thread maybe master it with your yeah. 0.4 wire which I'm you're go, getting I'm within sticking this with wire <laughs> yeah i can see that because it's a bit more forgiving isn't yeah, it it yeah, is yeah. a bit more forgiving um 12 pounds and 99 pence only for the amethyst now um amethyst is always one of the most popular and i think especially when you have the connections between the components and yeah. the kits as well yeah yeah um it's quite a powerful gemstone isn't it is it, is it is it the third eye chakra amethyst? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. Text in if you know the answer. I don't know. Um, yeah, but I know it's in, incredibly significant for, amongst crystal healers. Yeah. Because it's yeah. always within those boxes, isn't it? Yeah. It's you know I think it's used for sleep and relaxation. And yeah. Yeah. I get that. It's a it is quite a calming colour, yeah. isn't it? It is, and it's really popular. Everybody knows amethyst, mm -hmm. don't they? They immediately know it's a gemstone. Familiar with it. You grew up with amethyst. Yep. It's in the jewellery shop windows, isn't yep. it? it was, absolutely, you know. absolutely. Make sure you check out those baskets because we had 100 of those and they're very, very popular. Um, let's bring you now another one that's going to be incredibly popular. And all I need to do, because, eh, <laughs> is not knock everything over. There's your little heart charm. Here are those beautiful wings, dragonfly, angel, bee, whichever you want to look at. Am I missing a stone? I think I am. Yeah, it's on the desk. Is it? Yeah. There. All and off. There they are. This has got a, a lot in. Yeah. That's all I need to do. There we go. <laughs> Probably would have been easier for me to just... Just right literally there. switch the board side. <laughs> Paul's looking at me as if to say, what are you doing? Mm, <laughs> made that really hard for yourself there, Al, haven't you? Um, OK, let me just move that out of the way so it's not so confusing. Um, so just to recap, hopefully you're getting everything that's on your screens right now. Um, you have a metre of that lovely, we're saying diamond cut. It, it, it doesn't say that in the specifications, but it's got that quality, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a lovely chain. A beautiful, beautiful amount of luster. You're getting 10 metres of your 0.4 wire, which you obviously saw Gemma uh, demonstrate with a few moments ago. You get your little heart charm. Can I stamp onto that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Yeah. Good stamp really. or um, F colours. Yeah, or engrave. Yeah. All the above, um, and you also have ten of those lovely wings, angel wings, dragonfly wings, bees, whichever you wish. 
Um, the wings are proving to be very, very popular. And I think particularly as you've just demonstrated yeah. this, they're just so lovely. And, you know, just popped on the top of a gemstone. It just suddenly makes, makes the design, you know, um, I don't know, just much more interesting. And yeah, appealing. totally. And, uh, There's and, sentiment to it. And some of the, some of the one necklace, I've literally just used the, the dragonflies. I was about to say that. It looks really pretty. I was about to say that. I, I was about to say, uh, have a little look. Look, that's what, just a few around the front. That's stunning. That's Absolutely so stunning. £12.99. And the little rose quartz, you know, with the almost satellite bead shaped earrings yeah. at the bottom. They're really sweet, aren't they? Yeah. They do look like little angels because you've got the spacer bead on top. Yeah. That's it. You can, you know, you can really add to these, like that bundle of the of the little rondelles that you said. That'd be they'd make gorgeous dragonfly tails. Yeah. And you know, a, a, maybe a larger bead for, to make the head of the dragonfly. See, so, you know. Mixing these, not just in this, in these kits, and you get plenty of them. You can. And the fact this is rose quartz. Yeah, rose quartz. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? The love universal symbol of love. Yeah, exactly. Love yeah. that. Now I've got one more kit to bring you, and it's all about labradorite. Now labradorite is always up there, isn't it, in terms yeah. of popularity? Um, I've got a hundred of these. And ooh, big statement from Ross. Ross is my producer, by the way, saying natural labradorite. Under 10. Under 10 pounds. Ross is the boss. Don't, aren't you, Ross? In a way. And you, Adam. <laughs> and you, Ollie. They're all the, they're all the boss of me. What, what about me? I mean, yeah, you are. You I clearly you are. I mean, it does it goes without saying, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Um, oh, I love these. <laughs> then you got your findings back. Oh, this is going to fly. Yeah. Absolutely fly. I'm going to put just, I'm not even going to try taking all those findings off that board because there's so many. Um, you get your jump rings, your crimps, your, cri your head pins, sorry. Yeah, your head pins, your toggles, and two pairs of your shepherd hook earrings. Then, probably one of some of my favourite charms that we've actually had in these kits the star and the moon. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's, again, there's like stories to be told with these. I just really, I really like this, this kit. And then I set this stone a little bit differently. So um, you'll see it's, I've set it sort of long ways, uh, yep. width ways, and just wrapped wire around the centre. Now I did pop a little bit of glue under my first couple of wraps of wire <gasps> and then just went over bound over it just to make sure it stays secure. That's a secure. great idea. But you, you, can't, you can't see it there in it, you know. It's Do you know what? It's it nice and secure. We've almost got this, like, uh, it's, it's like glue is a dirty word, haven't I, we? I know, we do. We do feel like that. But, you know, the, this is, you know, this is an even simpler way of, um, of, of wrapping this gemstone. Just, and, and the glue is completely hidden. It's underneath. It's just going to make you feel like you're nice and safe to wear it. There's nothing wrong with it. No, nothing wrong with it at it's all. It's a pretty standard, it's industry standard thing to do. It totally is. Yeah. All the high-end jewellers uh, use glue, uh, you know, and they don't gasp when we say no. the word <laughs> glue. <gasps> you. We always think, you always think Dirty you, so and so. You think you're cheating a little bit, you know, but you can't solder onto a stone, you know, so... You know, it's the way it is. Yeah, it is. I like that technique. Yeah. I like that one. that one. Like really that easy. one. You're all chuckling. You're all chuckling. <laughs> we know it's true, don't yeah, we you? Do, we do. We, we almost, we, it's, it's, it's like a naughty word. Nine pounds and 99 pence. This is hugely popular. I love your designs, Gemma. They're absolutely amazing. And I particularly like the Labradorite design. So you've actually had it, uh, so what is it? Vertical. No, horizontal. Landscape. <laughs> Landscape, yeah, it was horizontal. That would have been the easier <laughs> way of saying it, wouldn't it? Um, there was a hundred of these, a lot of you choosing to multiply. Well done. Yvette, Marie, hello, sorry, Maria, Abby, uh, Vivian, Susan, Ali, Jean, Pauline, uh, hello to you. <laughs> Genuinely, there's an Ali and a Jean next to one another. <laughs> Genuinely. I didn't just say Ali, G. But there is an Ali and a Jean who are next to each other on the, uh, on the phone lines. All I need now is Julie. <laughs> uh, Pauline, Gabrielle, Stephanie, Denise, Elaine, Judith, Debbie, Bibi, hello to you, Alison. Merseyside, Will uh, uh, William, uh, Nicolette, Bernadette, Elaine. I can't keep up with you all. Well done. Beautiful. Yeah. Labradorite and then the, 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 the crescent and the stars. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, great price. Amazing. Yeah, fabulous price. Amazing price. 
You got quite excited prior to the show, didn't you? I did. Ooh. Yes, yeah, see, see, I wasn't supposed to be here today, so this... this you? No, because um, I'd been put on the show for my birthday, and I was like, I don't want to go. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so When's I your birthday? Next, next week. Next, next week? You don't want to work on your birthday? No. Oh, fair enough. No, fair enough. Fair enough. So, um, so I was given this one, and these kits were in the show. I was, I was like, yes, I've got these amazing kits. So, yeah. They were, they were specially so reserved somebody for somebody else's birthday. birthday. <laughs> uh, Sorry. No. I've got 20 these, of these. These are gorgeous. I mean, wow. Yeah, absolutely. You get your leather cord. That's nice. Is that a two millimeter? Yeah, it's a lovely it's leather nice cord, thing, isn't yeah. it? That's nice. um, length, two, two meters. meters. You get your leather cord ends times three. All I need to do, I'm going to say that dirty word again. Glue. Filth, absolutely. <laughs> it's true. Literally, you glue it in. That's yeah, all you do, isn't it? Yeah. There's no other way around it. That's no, what you do. Just glue it in. Glue it in. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. No. Um, and then you also have... It's so lovely. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's got a little crescent on the top. That's lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's the master healer as well, isn't it? The clear quartz. The clear quartz. That's 16 carats. Oh, I read about this actually. Isn't the moon female and the uh, and the sun male? Yeah, is that true? Yeah, I think but, uh, apparently, yeah. Apparently, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a masculine <laughs> so they, energy and a so feminine they energy. Say. Yes, one's like the giver and the taker. There we go. That's what I read. That's what I read. It's true. It's true. Which way it's around? true. It's true. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'll leave that one there, shall we? Yeah. Um, we've only got twenty of these. Uh, twenty of these left. It's true. I read about that. I don't, I don't know, that's about as much as I can say on that conversation. Though. Um, beautiful quality clear quartz. Uh, in your prism, again, uh, they believe that it directs the energy of the gemstone towards your heart. Is that right? The point, yes. Yes. Yeah, the point. Or towards whatever you're, you're, you know, you're aiming it at. It looks like a, like a little laser. <laughs> Point it wherever you want it, <laughs> so, by letting the energy flow. Yeah. So, yeah. I love it. <laughs> but you wonder I've got that sound effect. <laughs> like a mini lightsaber. Yeah, my, little, my, my, my inner child is doing the pachoo pachoo now. You, you know, Ollie, you were thinking it too, weren't you? Like a little mini laser. Pachoo pachoo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not quite with it today. There were 20 of these. It is looking like it's going to be a sellout very, very quickly. Um, I do have a citrine variety coming up. Mm, um, I mean, the fact that you can make three beautiful necklaces or leather cords, that will work with things like your jade out as well, won't it? Yeah, absolutely. I, we did, I did a show with just the leather cords the other day. And there's so much you can do just with the leather cords, yeah. different knotting and tying techniques that create really decorative effects. Well, the so, kits that you've just had. Yeah, ideal. My sister used to have um, a leather wraparound watch. Yeah. Uh, it used to wrap around her wrist and then you had the sort of the dial on the top. It looks so cool, so yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so you could do that. Maybe you've got an old watch that needs replacing, the strap needs replacing. Mm. Um, okay, let's now do, love this one. Love this. Love yeah. this color. I, I need this one. Oh, there's 20, Jen. Oh. Look, mm, a beautiful lovely. tan leather. Again, two millimetres in its thickness and you're getting, sorry, three millimetres in its thickness and you're getting uh, two metres of. Here are your leather ends. And then this is the one that's grabbing Gemma's attention. I love citrine. Me too. I wanted to wear something citrine today, but I couldn't get my necklace off. <laughs> it's too fiddly. Those, those fiddly clasps <laughs> yeah. again. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? That's so what beautiful. Beautiful crystal, that is. The fact that it's got the pooled yeah. colour in the bottom has cut, you know, wonderfully colour zoned. It looks liquid, doesn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. £16.99 pence only. That's real leather, uh, and that's a beautiful, beautiful quality citrine, which is 17 mm. carats. 925 sterling silver. Each of these components are a 925. We're not talking about, you know, base and metal. The ends as well. Oh, yeah. I didn't realise. All 925 sterling silver. That's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is going to be one of those, even if you said, I'm keeping the pendant for something else, I'm going to put that on a longer line chain and use the leather. Um, maybe, I don't know, you might have... 
some uh, donuts. I'm thinking uh, jadeite because we've had mm. jadeite recently, haven't we? So how perfect would that be? Yeah. Leather cord is often actually used. Yeah. Um, well done. There was only 20 of those. At the moment, you stand a little bit. Yeah. I'm. Uh, it's disappearing there. Oh. You might miss out on that. We're 12 minutes away from your beautiful pearls. I can't wait for the showcase. They're absolutely stunning. Um, and this is quite a unique deal of the day in the fact that you've got a whole hour of deal of the days, but also they are almost luxurious mm. pearl kits. Brand new, coming up today at uh, 10 o'clock with Dave Troth as part of your deal of the day. Now, ooh, I know, ooh. Let's do some ooh. pendulums. Midnight. Oh, blimey, these are nice. Sandstone. Oh, they're lovely. So, I mean, you could turn that into jewellery very easily, but I would also use this as a decorative item around the home. Absolutely, yeah, just hanging somewhere. I, just, I was just thinking about, you know, I was saying about the macrame pot hangers. My son bought me some, I've got a few now in my kitchen. My son bought me some little chimes for, my, for Mother's Day. Oh. Little bells that you tap together like Tibetan bells. Yeah. And I would have, I've got little things like that dangling from all my pot hangers. That would be ideal. And I could just ask it questions as I went by. So what do we use, or traditionally, what's a pendulum for? For divining questions, you know, divining answers. So um, you can ask it a question. So you, you have to tune into your pendulum. Yeah. Um, you sort of sit, ask it to tell you what yes is, and it'll go one way or the other, or round and round. And then you ask it to tell you what no is. It'll give you a different symbol, and you can just ask it yes, no questions. I love that. Mm. I love that. So when I don't know what to do, I ask my, ask my pendulum. Yeah. Love that. Um, in your sandstone, I mean, even if you're, again, if that's not your cup of tea, if that doesn't float right. your boat, this is a really lovely pendant. Deconstruct it if mm. you wanted to. Um, you get the two of your midnight blue. I, I'm going to put this one out there. I think it's the most popular colour of sandstone. It's, uh, yeah, it's gorgeous because it is like the night sky, isn't it? We always, talk, we always call it, uh, Gem, this crew, we always call it the Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah. yeah it's I the starry that. night, isn't it? Yeah. I had that song on the other day, actually. You know, we were, we were singing it, guys. It's beautiful. Yeah, Don McLean. I had that song playing the other day in the house. It's one of my favourites. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. So things like your crystal grids. Yes, and yeah. those used alongside those. I know Natalia, angel lady, mm -hmm. who comes in um, and shows us her, her beautiful things. She's used pendulums. Um, she, she did a session one of my my mojo birthdays yeah. recently and she yeah she used told everybody how to use a pendulum and so that's I know amazing. she does I know she does workshops on that. That's but cool. But it is it is really cool. When I when I was growing up we lived in a a, a bed and breakfast. My mum was a landlady and we used to have lots of it was in the eighties when um there was a big recession and lots of people were homeless. So they come and live with us and um there was a lady there she was with us for years, maybe eight years and she always used a pendulum and she used all the all the ladies that would come in and were pregnant and have the, because they had lots of babies born in the house and um, she would divine the sex of all the babies and she was always right oh Gemma that's a lovely story yeah, yeah how wonderful yeah how wonderful to have uh, sort of experienced all of that you know we're not stopping at 9.99 then mm -hmm. go even lower even lower so how many babies did you see born in your house oh it's hard to count 60, 70, I don't know. More 60 or 70 oh, it's, babies? Well, it's less, 17 years, yeah. So, Were you? Yeah. So That's awesome. Maybe more, maybe more. I mean, Did you actually help during the, well, the labour? They weren't always born there, but, you know, they were born. They were born living, into the house. Born into yeah, yeah. the house, yeah. We, we, did have, we did have a birth at the house, yeah. Most amazing thing ever. Uh, that's mm -hmm. fabulous. Um, six pounds and 99 pence only. It is, uh, yeah, baby's been born, wow. Love that, absolutely love that. Six pounds and 99 pence. Nicolette, Fife, Susan, Jean, hello to you, Elaine, hello to you, Cheshire, Janet, Diane, new customers, Pauline, Laura, Pat, Makers and Jean. If this isn't something that you really know about and maybe you're interested in, mm. is it something I can easily uh, learn? Is there a yeah. lot of information? Oh, there's, there's so much. I mean, YouTube's full of videos of teaching you how to use pendulums. People use it for all sorts. They use it to... To find, they use this. They usually use these for dyeing, you know, for finding water or finding gemstones. Yeah. You know, ancient ancient traditions have always used pendulums to divine, um, you know, different things. So basically, they, they they just 
Well, there's a, there's a theory, isn't there, that we know everything already ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have like the universe inside us. We know it all. We're just not tapped into that. And there's evidence to, to suggest it. And what, what the pendulum, I suppose, is, is a way of um, externalizing what we already know. And so actually, we're probably telling the pendulum what to say or how yeah. to react. But we don't necessarily know that knowledge ourselves, but our bodies can tune in. <coughs> there's lots of... Awesome. There's lots of theories around just it. Just awesome. I but find that fascinating. It's, it's a nice piece of jewellery as well. You just yeah, it exactly. On I would Love wear it. it literally like so, you know. Yeah. We had the, we had the gold stone earlier on, mm. didn't we? Mm. Or maybe this on the bottom of the Amazonite. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Or your kit. Yeah, or on the leather cord. On the leather cord. Yes. Mm. That would work. Don't forget, you've also got the little bead at the bottom, um, which, uh, of course, has got your uh, jump ring, effectively, that you can attach to. Um, but yeah, it's a, what would you have? How would you finish it off? What would you hold at the top, or would you not? You probably just, you'd, if you were just using it hold as a pendulum, you'd just hold the bead, yeah, because it, it means you're not interfering with the chain. Ah. That's what it means. You're not you're you're not interfering with the chain. The chain is free. Let's ask it a question. Somebody we, give me a we, question. You have to you have to know what the answer is first. You have to know what yes and no looks okay. like. Okay. Which way is yes and which way is which way is yes? <laughs> I, as you can tell, I'm, I think I'm... We need to spend a bit of time on okay, this. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I need to perhaps practice a little bit more. £6.99. pence. Look at that. You can't deny that even if you are not into, you know, everything that we've discussed so far, that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous piece and it's beautifully cut. It's, you know, it just looks good. I mean, imagine, just as a key ring, that would be gorgeous, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. I love the bale on the top yeah. of that. Yeah, it's lovely. Gorgeous bale. So I'm going to put this one out there. I'd probably use it as a pendant. Mm, I, I, I probably would too. And then I could just, you know, whip it out and answer questions for people. <laughs> <laughs> whip your pendant out? Yeah. You would? I would, Why absolutely. not? Well, then you're wearing it. So, you know, it's, not, it, it's on you all That's the time, just, then, isn't it? Just whip hold it, it up. And hold it up. Turn it into jewellery that, uh, you know, actually has... A, a practical, well, a, a, you know, a use behind yeah. it as well. Yeah. Loving that, absolutely loving it. Lots of you are too. How many do I have of these? Oh, um, these are very, very popular. We're down to the final 50 of these. What a lovely gift as well. Mm. Um, one of my friends, I noticed, actually put something up on Facebook about, and again, I, listen, I get it. Some people go for this, some people don't, but um, had gone for sort of tarot readings and that kind of thing as well. Yeah. And, and there was a sort of a group of my friends all going to that. Um, so it, it's kind of in those realms, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a spiritual. It's Different a, but same. Yeah, it, but it has, it has been, they have been used, you know, Throughout, throughout history, I suppose so is tarot, so is divining any future has been, hasn't it, or yeah. outcome. Interesting. There's, there's so much, I mean, there's so much to know about, about divining answers from pendulums. It's just interesting. It's just interesting, if nothing else. Now, mm. your kits mm. absolutely flew, didn't they? Yeah. Do you know what would be amazing to go alongside it? An extra double point. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, is that, is that black or blue? That's Midnight blue. Oh, that's gorgeous. 15 oh, carats. Yeah. This has never been on your screens. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in a beautiful... That literally is Don McLean's Starry Night, isn't it? Yeah, that's... Cool. Um, it is... I'll, I'll say it again. It's the most popular colour that we bring you um, in sandstone. I, if because you're gonna you only have one point in those kits don't you yeah. so yeah you've got potential to add more absolutely yeah you've got plenty of wire and other other sort of components in in most of the kits yeah so the technique that you demonstrated mm -hmm. yeah the you technique with that. the labradorite yeah you could buy this to go along with the leather cord kit you know, oh yeah to, you know make extra pieces you've got plenty of necklace um, plenty of length of cord uh, how many have we got of these? 200. But I think, I personally think, people will come in and multi-buy on this massively because, uh, you know, as, as, as a cut and as a shape as well, very, very versatile. Yeah. That could be a ring. It could, yeah. That would look lovely as a ring, wouldn't it? <coughs> you could bracelet. literally wire wrap center. it around the centre. Yeah, centre of a bracelet would look lovely. Oh. Yeah. And that technique I showed you, you know, you can do both ends the same. 
So, you know, I started um, with this open section at the, at the end. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to start like that. You can start with both ends open. So you, you've got basically got this end and this end, so then you can use it as a connector rather than Beautiful. You know, uh, to suspend. So you, what, you'd have the middle bit sort of exposed? So you'd, um, instead of twisting three wires together at the beginning, you'd probably start in the middle, mm -hmm. twist these, then twist towards the end and twist towards the other end. Um, and in terms of doing the labradite technique, so it, it's literally just a little dab of, uh, of what, what glue? Just glue. I, hypo I just cement. Hypo cement, any jewellery glue. You know, and I it love just, that. You wrap your first two wires, you know, wrap around twice, pop your glue on and then bind over the top. Yeah, with the crescent and the stars as well, how yeah. apt would yeah, this, uh, with, with the midnight blue? It'd be perfect, yeah. So anybody that got involved with Gemma's kits, and I do think it goes across the board as well, because it could be, ooh, what do they call them? Um, uh, the one, the, 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 sort of the, the dragonflies that light up at night. Night fireflies. 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 fireflies, fireflies. It would, it would be that, thank you. Yeah. Um, it would be that as well, incorporating yeah. that midnight blue. Oh, it's going to work perfectly alongside each of Gemma's kits. People are stocking up and multi-buying on this yeah. massively. So the clock is ticking away, suggesting we're going even lower than £6.99. It is always the most popular of your, of your uh, sandstone. Um, look at that. We sh always show paintings by uh, Vincent van Gogh because for me, it takes me there. It takes me to that, the perfect palette that he captures. Mm. It's almost like sandstone was inspired by Vincent van Gogh, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, gorgeous. And £4.99. Oh, wow. Yeah, you might, that's a multi-buy, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely, like Alice in County Durham's bought six, mm. uh, like Josie's multi bought, Nicolette's multi bought, Merseyside multi bought, London's multi bought. Um, we had 200, that 200 quantity is not going to hang around. Um, whenever we bring you sandstone, particularly in the blue, it flies out the door, but I don't recall actually ever doing uh, one of your double point stones before. Again, uh, you know, it's not just pendants, whilst that's mo probably what most of us would immediately think of. Yeah, but you know you can use them anyhow. Any you know, like you said, rings, chunky rings, bracelet centers, you know, um, what else? Key rings, you know, uh, bag charms. There's so many ways you can use. Loads them. of potential. The yeah. clock is ticking away again. Um, we've got, we've got. Well, or rather, we had 200. Purely because we've that got that quantity. I'm absolutely on the back of Gemma's awesome kits. Um, those of you that maybe have chosen to get twos, threes, fours, five, sixes, I think are probably going to up the order again. Mm. Because it's easy to work with. It's actually yeah. got a, um, a grip. Does that sound strange to say? But sandstone is quite one, is one of those gemstones that you can almost... It's got a, it's got a grip behind it. You know, yeah. like amber, for example. Yeah, it's like a, yeah I don't know. I, I haven't worked with much sandstone, to be honest, and, until um, I think I had one or two kits a few months ago. But, yeah. I haven't, I haven't worked for a while. Have you ever it. seen it in this shape? No, never. That two, uh, that two hundred quantity has flown out the door. Three pounds and ninety nine pence only. Yeah, when I had a showcase of sandstone only a few weeks ago, literally it was across the emerald green, the blue, and the terracotta, and again, ooh, um, it is it is one of those that always skyrockets, and I totally understand why. Look at people getting tens, threes, mm. fours, fives, sixes, sevens, um, a hun uh, two hundred quantity, not hanging around at all. If you're inspired by Gemma's amazing creations um, and simple wire work, it's kind of stepping into the uh, the wire work medium. Yeah, it's a very I kept it very simple just to make make it you know very accessible for everybody because. I think everybody's going to want these points and just a few techniques of how to put them together can really sort of break down that that fear of using them can it oh, particularly alongside the crescents and the yeah. stars gem yeah. but i think the simplicity of your uh, you know of that uh, of that sort of netting mm. you wouldn't want to overcomplicate it because actually then that would mean covering the gem yeah that's it and you know i've 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 done sort of three or four wraps at the side of the one I showed you, but mm -hmm. um, you, know, you can do less and it will still be secure. So you can just literally wrap at the top and the bottom, you know, do those and just to make sure it's secure. You can use more wires uh, and do less wrapping. What so about creating caps? Yeah, you could, yeah, if you had um, sort of um, either bezel wire for, for later, so I'm going to be using that later, you can do that. You can make little caps. Or you could do wire work caps for them. You'd cover the little point on the end, which would be a shame. But um, 
You could, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Using them like a carrier bead, like Mark Smith. Yeah. You could seed bead around the sort of centre, around the waist yeah. of them. Um, yeah. They're flying out the door. Um, it is looking like it's going to be an on screen sellout. Make sure you stay where you are. Uh, Gemma, you're joining us uh, once again. You're coming back for the masterclass. For 11. I'll be back with you at 11, I think. 11? Is it yeah. 11 o'clock? Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So you've got beautiful kits coming up and I we've have. got so much more treats. So yes. um, you go and uh, enjoy your deserved little break. I'm going to have a little coffee. You have a coffee yeah. and a break, but do not go anywhere. I am super excited about your deal of the day. We have the wonderful Dave Troth joining us for, without doubt, some of the most exquisite pearls you could possibly ever see. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, it's always such a treat 
to welcome Dave into the Jewelry Maker Studio, especially, Dave, when you bring beautiful pearls like this. And um, just want to be uh, open with everyone. This will be the last time that we bring such pearls to you guys. That's not to say we won't bring you the fancy colors, the fancy natural colors, but at this size, this is the most exciting uh, natural colored pearl showcase that we've ever had the pleasure to bring to the group. Um, so I've done, uh, about two weeks ago, I did an incredible papaya pearl showcase on uh, GEMS, on GEMS TV. You guys might have tuned in. Um, we had one strand. It yep. was about uh, a fifth of the size of the, the pearls that we have on offer today. Wow. And that's because, to, and I just want to be honest with you guys, Gemporia, we have a, a wider viewership, okay? Yep. Um, we understand that what we do here at JM is quite niche, you know, people who want to create their own jewellery. Um, we have people in the trade that watch here, of course, but over at GEMS, people just want to buy finished jewellery. So we have, it's, it's, it's easier access. So we have a wider consumer base, mm -hmm. which means we have to get bigger quantities. So these, there's no big quantities today. You guys know that there's like, I think the biggest quantity we have is double figures still. Whereas next door, we need like 300, 500. Yeah, exactly. So if you want a strand and you want 500 of them, then you need to go a lot smaller, a lot more uniformed. What we're offering you today is the elite. It is the elite pearls, the, the finest pearls we've ever acquired um, as a business. And, and remember how we're positioned. When we, this, we're not new to this. We've bought some of the most incredible pearls in partnership with Charlie Barron, who has you know, allowed us access to some of the most incredible pearl farms in the world. I myself have, have been to the Paspali Pearl Farm in Western Australia. I've been very fortunate to have been there with Nick Paspali, mm -hmm. you know, and they produce 90% of the world's uh, wow. South Sea pearls. So you know, that, that's the kind of access we have. When Hong Kong is on, we get to go to invitation-only auctions and get to acquire <coughs> some of the world's finest pearls. And we've, we've sold necklaces next door, you guys will be aware, for 100,000 pounds, not yep. dollars, pounds. We've sold another necklace for $50,000. We routinely sell necklaces at five or $10,000 when we do the Charlie Barron collection. When it comes to fresh world water pearls, there's always been a disconnect, okay? You know, from the likes of even the Akoya pearls and whatever it may be, then to when you go to the salt water, when you go South Sea, when you go Tahitian, they're always usually at a premium. Mm -hmm. But what's happened, and, and I want to explain this to you guys, you might already know, but in the industry, kind of behind the scenes over the last two years in particular, so under the guise of COVID, so many of you might not know, for the first time in like 100 years, of, of cultured pearls, you know, globally, there has been a shift, paradigm shift, huge shift. And those that saw it coming are well positioned. You know, we've seen the likes of Yoko in London, who are an incredible a pearl atelier, who have made a big play for pearls from the same kind of pearl farms that we're talking about today. And we're talking natural colors that the world of saltwater pearls could only dream of. Um, and this happened. You know, you're seeing these are the big colors we're going to bring you today. Now, they are 100% natural in their color. There is no bleach. There is no dye. There is no enhancement. That's the color as it came out of the, the oyster, okay, as it came out of the mussel. And like I said, over the last two years, these are commanding not just more than Tahitian, which is groundbreaking within itself, but I'm talking many, many times what people are paying for the pistachio um, pearls from, from Tahiti, from you know, French Polynesia, from even the pearls out of the, the Golden South Sea waters of Indonesia mm. or Western Australia. Now, that's massive news. Yeah. The, the problem that the market faces, and you guys will be aware of this, because I know many of you personally subscribe to the Gem Guide, and uh, you know, it's, it's extremely handy. Like when we were in Tucson, Al, oh. you know, we carried it around. It's the Bible, yeah, it's your Bible. Well, it's your rounds. guide price. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you go to an auction, you have the brochure, it gives you the guide price, right? What you're expected to pay. Mm -hmm. And you need that, otherwise you're in, you're, you're in the dark, you're, you're buying blind. So we'd go around and we'd go, okay, um, if, we, if we're looking at this garnet, if we're looking at this diamond, if we're looking at this um, incredible pearl, you know, if it's this grade, if it's this size, this is what we're expected to pay. For this material right now, you're expected to pay huge premiums. And the, the problem that the whole industry faces is that the handful, and I mean the handful, of pearl farms that can or are known to produce these sizes and these colors have only got a handle on it in the last five years. And COVID meant that their whole operation was compromised. You know, we're not talking about the likes of Paspali that produce literally millions of South Sea pearls a year, 90% of the world's supply. We're talking about very small family-run operations that due to the effects that COVID had, decimated what they're about to do. And we know about supply and demand. 
Many of you will be tuning in this weekend for our final ever Argyle Diamond Showcase. We know the Argyle mine disappeared, and guess what? The price went up. That, that's what happens. These pearls came along, and even when they were producing, they started commanding significant premiums over the already well-established monopoly that South Sea and Tahitian pearls had over the market. You know, when we used to go to Bond Street and we'd go in there for like 10 years, like I said, with the likes of David Norman, with the likes of Charlie Barron, uh, meeting in the offices, talking about the kind of pearls that Cartier are buying, we'd go in there and we'd see these beautiful, incredible saltwater pearls. And now for the last two, three years, people are talking about these pearls and they're talking about them at extremely high price points. And for the first time ever, we're going to bring you what the likes of Bond Street want, what the likes of Fifth Avenue want. Now, if you join me on... Uh, I mean, that is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous It's amazing, isn't it? It is. It's, like the, it's a world-class pearl. So if you join me on uh, Gems TV, where I can bring you these colours, or have, <coughs> have been known to bring you these colours, what I'm bringing you, essentially, is the, the high street version of this material. Okay, that's just the way it works, because the high street needs volume as well. They have many different branches along all the high streets in the UK or America. They're you know, huge corporations, and that's what they buy like we buy for gems, you know, big volume. Today what I'm bringing you is the high jewellery pearls, bringing you the pearls of high jewellery. And I was very recently in Idar Oberstein, and we were talking about the effect that the closure of Hong Kong has had on the market. Mm. And those kind of uh, jewellers, those kind of wholesalers that only operate solely in the high end, like the guys from Edor Upstein, like the Jadeite dealers, they're at a different bracket. Those guys are now migrating to the Munich Gem Show, which actually took place just after I turn, returned from um, the, 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 the Edor Upstein. And all I've heard from the guys that were there, from my friends in Edar, from my friends in China, is that these pearls right now, they say, if you have them, you're the lucky few. Because the prices that these were commanding, these exact pearls wow. were commanding just a couple of weeks ago in Munich are ridiculous. And no one's seen anything like it. So let me just quickly, we've only got four auctions for you today. That's it. You know, it's not like, like I said on Gems, I'll bring you 12. I'll bring you a two-hour showcase, and they'll just be on and gone, on and gone, on and gone. But let me set the scene for you, okay, so you can understand why these are commanding such significant premiums. For 15 years, we've been going to Hong Kong. Okay, that's where the finest pearls on earth are bought. Okay, that's, that's where you buy your South Sea. It's where we buy our Tahitian. It's where we acquire these beautiful pearls in the likes of Hong Kong. Now, for 15 years and for many years before we were even a company, people have been going to Hong Kong. And it's invitation only when you go into this. It's kind of like a warehouse uh, for, for incredible pearls. And you walk along and you see all the different gradings of Tahitian pearls. And this has been the, the same way for like 100 years. You see all the different grading for the South Sea. You see all the different grading for the Golden South Sea. And then you have a different warehouse, a different unit for freshwater pearls, okay? So all your fine, high-quality you know, saltwater pearls are in one um, warehouse. And then on, in the other warehouse is your bleached, your dyed, mm -hmm. your beautiful freshwater pearls. All different sizes, all different strands, baroques, rounds, near rounds, you know, button pearls, marbe pearls, whatever it may be. When these pearls came along, they were in the saltwater warehouse. Wow. They, they were, they, that's how they were positioned in the industry immediately. And you can imagine, you walk in, it's always the same. You see uh, the Tahitian pearls, you see the Golden South Sea, you see the South Sea, and occasionally you'll see a vendor who has an apricot pearl, a single apricot pearl or uh, a, a conch pearl. Mm -hmm. right? And that, that's just the way it is. Extremely rare, 100% natural, $10,000 per carat, sold by the carat weight. That was it. The only way you got color, you see Tahitian, you have your guide price for that. You see your golden South Sea, you got your guide price for that. And then you'd see someone with a conch pearl or a mellow mellow pearl from Vietnam. And it would be, you know, price and application. There was no trade price. It's the only one in the show. And it could sell for, you know, could sell for $100,000, could sell for $750,000. That's just the reality mm -hmm. for something that rare. Then the year prior to COVID hitting, these pearls appeared. So you had your Tahitian pearls, your pistachios, your beautiful colors. Then you had your incredible golden. Then you had your white. Then you had like the, the, the natural pearls. Then you had these naturally colored goldens, apricots, purples, purple flash. They set the world alight. And then COVID hit. So when I went to Tucson with you, Al, 
I caught up with the, the editor of uh, the Gem Guide, Mr. Richard Drucker, the founder of the Gem Guide, and I asked him, you know, what's happening in the industry, you know, what, what's taking place, and all he wanted to talk about was the pearls that we're about to bring you. And I'm going to play that clip of film for you, and then we're going to get into these incredible auctions. Take a listen to this. You can have three different booths for three different prices right now because no one knows where to settle in because the new stuff is so expensive. Right, okay, yeah. You know, so it's hard. I mean, I talked to a pro dealer that I know really well. I talked to her a couple days ago, and she said, she goes, some of the stuff is coming into me now. It's two to three times what I was paying. Really? So two to three times. I guess that's because the toll farms, with COVID, yeah, with COVID, a lot of them have been wiped out. Right, COVID, the processing, labor, all these factors. So, so things are like two to three times. I said, well, yeah, but she's got tons, you know, some of these booths, you know, you see it, it's got thousands of Yeah, stuff. yeah. I said, so what are you doing? She's like, I don't have time to change all my prices. So she said, anything new that I'm getting in, I'm putting all of these prices in because I have to because it costs me more. Yeah. But some of this stuff I'm just still selling because, you know, listen, if she sells it at that price, she's, she's still making a profit. Now it might be dumb because you got to replace it at a higher price. But the point of it is that, you know, that, that so how do you do a market right now? Because, it's a market. Because normally, because normally over time things go up a little bit. Now you got this like thing like this, you got something spike. up like that, you got a spike that's up, but someone's still here, some are in the middle, some are up here. It's really yeah. one, one thing that it's really unique. Yeah, it's really one, one thing that you and I have noticed is um, we bought some naturally colored uh, pearls before COVID. Uh -huh. We've gone to try and get the same today. Oh, the prices are unbelievable. There you go. But I've got yeah. the purples, the, the apricots, it's crazy. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Yeah. You heard it there. I mean, they're, they're, they're talking about some people selling their pearls that bought before COVID like we did. And he says, look, they might sell at a profit, but it's dumb because they can't replace it, the price they're selling it for. Yeah. It's exactly what we're about to do today. I'm trying to be honest with you, we're making a profit because we bought it at the right time. But to replace these is impossible at the price we're even selling them at. So if you, if you want the finest pearls in the world right now, the pearls that we can no longer get, then settle in for the most incredible collection of pearls you're ever going to see. And I'm saying that in light of the fact that I've seen 50,000 pound pearl necklaces sell next door. Yeah. Like next door we bring you the apricots and the purples. Today we're bringing you papaya, which is the finest grade. If, if, if I can take maybe five more minutes of your time so you can understand why these are so valuable, I'd love to do that. So when we talk about the papaya pearls, when we talk about that color in the industry, naturally colored, the reason it commands a premium is because our only frame of reference is the mellow, mellow pearl. Okay, and, and you know, Christie's and the likes will tell you this, the rare pearls were once a sign of royalty in Eastern cultures. Even then, they were unknown to the rest of the world. Believed to be droplets that fell from a dragon in the sky, mellow pearls were worshipped as holy objects. Because of this, they were never drilled or worn, so they were never defiled, they were never drilled because they were so valuable. And they talk about the, the, the factors, the, the value factors of these. And I just want to come on to color. Mellow pearls can be orange to tan or brown in color with a bright papaya orange distinguishing a top quality pearl. These are all certified papaya today. Wow. Like I said, next door you can tune in for the big volume auctions of apricot pearls, but today the very small quantities of papaya pearls, which is the most prized color. And they talk about pearls like this measured in carat weight because they're so valuable. And you see them sell for $60,000 there. And that's a bottom. So you can see they say the present pearl of a very large size exhibits a desirable spherical shape and a classic rich papaya color. Papaya again is of course undrilled as all mellows are. First time ever the industry has been offered naturally colored papaya pearls that can be worn. Because no one will wear a mellow mellow pearl. Too valuable. They won't drill them. Again, here's another one that sold for three quarters of a million wow. dollars. Again, it's that papaya color. Uh, again, it is undrilled. You can't wear it. They are just always put into safety deposit boxes. The world doesn't get to see them. And, and you see, all of these pearl farmers are, f are flocking to China to learn these secrets of how these, this handful of pearl farms are actually managing to do what we're bringing everyone today. But the problem is, and I want you to understand, they can't do it right now. A lot of the most recent harvests aren't producing these colors because they didn't have the same care and attention due to COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are the messages that were exchanged with um, our, one of our head buyers here who deals with you know, the, the pearls that you're about to acquire. And they talk about the, the 100 pieces is all that you can kind of get. And they say good quality pearls sell like crazy here in China. Again, you're talking about uh, strands of pearls at 2,250 pounds. 
that's wholesale. That means wow. we'd have to sell it for three, four thousand pounds after you know everything has been factored in. Taking and and that's margin. us working on small margins. Yeah, I you mean know. the rest of the world is ten grand. Yeah. Exactly. It's 10 grand. Yeah. You know that because you come from that world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you look at the likes of the JCK articles. And right in the middle there, Stuart Robertson, vice president of Gem World International, recently told JCK, when it comes to the organic gems, <coughs> you can anticipate a shortage of finer material developing until about 2025 because two harvest seasons were partially compromised because of COVID. And they give advice to buyers just underneath that. Keep your eyes peeled for fine quality goods and don't hesitate to place orders. You've got to get them now while they're, they're around. And they talk about the different grading criteria. And this is what I saw myself, and you saw it, Elm, was in yeah. Tucson. A lot of the pearl vendors weren't even there because they the, they paid you know, thousands to have their booth in Tucson. And they couldn't even exhibit because so many harvests have been compromised. They couldn't bring the kind of pearls they wanted to bring. So they just let it go. And, and that was like, it was like a ghost town for pearls. You can't find them. There was no Hong Kong either. And the only place that had them that, that, that I saw was a, 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 an invitation only event at the GIA. Myself and Jake were invited. Uh, it was you know, some individuals and then the alumni of the, of the incredible corporation. Uh, of the, and they had a museum exhibition. It was called Somewhere of the Rainbow. Mm. And it was an anonymous couple. They wouldn't say who they were that had amassed this collection over 50 years, and they finally exhibited it uh, uh, in Tucson. They took over a museum, and we were invited to go and see it. Top left is a naturally colored freshwater pearl necklace. And just to, uh, it's behind glass, the security guards, priceless. And I want you to understand the value of that. The, uh, the um, coral choker, the double-strand choker to the right, yep. that was owned by Sophia Loren. That's the kind of noteworthy jewels that were on display, and that pearl necklace top left sits there perfectly and then you see these and i witnessed it in tucson myself you know we bought you that incredible strand along the top and the closest people could get to it in terms of color <coughs> was yeah. the, the pearls along the bottom which is they, they, i mean they're beautiful but they're massively different well they're white yeah let's be honest they're white there is yeah. no color and that was like nearly two grand wholesale and you think about the single baroque that we have for you today with that mellow mellow color it's ridiculous and then we see things like this. This is Salim Mansouri, who is David Yeoman's pearl guy. Um, and he messaged me to say that if you want anything with color right now, this is wholesale. $2,500 if we take that whole lot. $4,000 if we want to take selection. And it had already sold. You can see this lot is already sold, my friend, in a matter of three hours. Gone. It was offered yeah. to me and it was gone. And that was the pearls that we're talking about. And to get anything like the colors we'd have to see today, it's only a very small percent, like 1%, 2% of the entire lot that will bring you the colors we're about to bring to you today, the quad A grade. Again, $7,000 wholesale for material like this. So, I mean, that's like... Okay, Elle, I'm not, I'm not misleading detail. anyone. I'm not misleading anyone. What I'm saying to you is, don't worry, we're making a profit. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. We're making yeah. a profit because we bought before COVID. But as you heard from Richard Drucker, as you've heard from Stuart Robertson of Gem World, it's irreplaceable at the prices we're about to do it for. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, though, because that's how we work. We, we're only here to make a very small profit and bring you these incredible auctions. But the reason I stood here at the very beginning and said to you, Al, look, I'm not saying I'm not going to bring you apricot pearls, papaya pearls, or purple pearls, again, that are naturally colored and beautiful. But if you want the largest and finest goods, there's one showcase today. It's four auctions, and I'll never, ever, ever get the chance to replace these for you. Certainly not in the next five years. No. Certainly not in the next five years. And, you know, something like this. This is, we've got you know, this kind of material for you today. And the price on that is, I think, north of $10,000 wholesale. Those beautiful wholesale. colors. And there's one strand on a booth in the so, whole of Tucson. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then you see a Baroque pearl like this. This was at Bonhams. A single Baroque. It's not even an attractive shape, let's be honest, to wear. A natural color, apricot pearl, okay? It is... Um, an, an incredible freshwater bivalve mussel that has produced this, just like your material. It's got that papaya color, and that's sold. It's not just estimated. That single pearl sold for $5,600 very recently. Single pearl. It's bottom's auction. Thank you so much. Look at what we've got for you. Yes. It's a joke. It's actually a joke. Same mussel that produced that produced this. And Amazing. we're about to bring you a collection of these. And then I want to show you the pearl source. And I'll tell you right now, I even say to friends of mine 
if they're after pearls and we don't have them, I always send them to the pearl source. Because look, we deal with everything. We, me and Hell, for instance, we bring you jadeite, yep. we bring you uh, garnets, we bring you sapphire, we bring you sandstone. Yep. And only a very small proportion of what we bring you is, is pearls, okay? Pearl source only deal in pearls. So they get the best deals, and that's all they buy. And to get anything like we're about to bring you today, remember I told you it's hold high jewelry material. You're looking at, well, let me show you this one straight away. It's 9.5 to 10.5 mil, okay? Uh, peach, fresh water. And it's on sale for 859 pounds. But if you want to go, our first strand that we're bringing you today, for instance, that big Baroque strand that we're bringing you. Amazing. Which is probably the finest pearl necklace I've ever been in the presence of. And I'm yeah. so thrilled to be here. They're much larger, okay? Significant. They're 9.5 mil. And once you go up in size to say 12.5, which is what these are, even at the pearl source, it went from 859 pounds to $2,379. Wow. Because you're going up in size. And then I just want you to hear from uh, the guys that made this a reality before COVID. Because I always like to get my facts right before I speak to you guys, because I'm not a pearl expert, so I speak to the people that are, the people that are responsible for putting these auctions together, for, for getting hold of these pearls. And I just said, look, I'm going to speak to the collectors this week. What, you know, just tell me. Can we get these again? Has the price gone up? Can we not get them again? Are they coming out of the pearl farms? I just want to know, because these people are based over in the Far East. Mm -hmm. They know what's happening. They're way mm -hmm. more connected to the source than I am. And they, they said this about that strand that you've just seen, the strand that I'm bringing you. To replace a strand like this in the current climate isn't impossible. It's very expensive. This is likely to retail for around $10,000 <coughs> today. Next year, you could be looking at double that with the way the farms have been affected. Okay, you could be looking at double that. And they say there isn't many strands like this in the world as it's more valuable to sell these as singles at this size. Yeah. So look, there could have been. Had the market not been affected, there might be many of these strands around. People are saying, well, we saw that Baroque at Bonham sell for five grand. You've got a number of Baroques in this strand. Let's break it up and sell them either as singles or doubles. That's what they're saying. There's no strands in the market because no one's mad enough to do it. And then they say, <laughs> we won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years. And even then, it wouldn't be financially viable. That's the last sentence they say. So give us five years. We might be able to bring you something like this again. But it's not going to be anywhere near the price. Yeah. And you can see that because there was a pair of earrings that I saw um, that, that had two Baroques, you know, like this. If I don't know if the, the clicker's working. Um, and they, there you go, they're 900 quid. They're beautiful. For, yeah, oh, stunning, just for two. 900 pounds. Just for two, and that's why it makes way more sense to break these up, either sell them as pairs or sell them as singles. And yeah. remember what our guys are saying who are there. Next year, you could be talking double that. It's 10 grand necklace, essentially. And we're not going to do that today. We're going to, I'm going to give you the best deal that I've ever done. I've done some of the most incredible deals, I think, ever on Jade. But big, you know, big, the fact that we were in the right place at the right time for the most exciting pearls that have hit the market since, and I stand by this, since Mickey Moto discovered how to culture pearls, I think this is the biggest breakthrough ever because no one's had the chance to ever wear papaya pearls. Naturally colored, bleached, yeah, all the time. You've seen them. But naturally colored was only mellow mellow. No one's drilling them. No one's even offering those. I'm about to bring you a strand, it's going to sell out in an absolute second. Let's bring you these incredible pearls. Let's get into it. Um, wow. Thrilled that you guys joined us. Thank you for allowing me to, to talk to you about this. Now, Dave, yeah. you've seen the piece made up by oh my God. our amazing designers. Mm -hmm. But I understand, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, it's, can't, this opportunity has come and complete with the precious metal. Yeah, oh well, I mean, I didn't know that, but that's amazing, okay? The fact that we're throwing all this in, like, it's ridiculous. I know. So we're doing a clasp as well? Clasp. Okay, so you, I mean, and to be honest. If you wanted to, some spaces. Okay, uh, uh, let's be, I'm telling you, we're going to make a profit, right? We're going to make a profit. The normal profit we make, which is quite small, we take small margins, you guys know that. That's why we're cheaper than everywhere. Yeah. But we're doing it essentially at a loss because we can't replace this material for that. It made more sense actually, I'll, and this is just the way that it goes, for us to have made those necklaces up mm -hmm. and just sold them on gems. I know. Yeah, because the value proposition is much easier to understand in a finished piece of jewellery. There is some purple flash at play here as well. These are the, yes. the, the highest really grade beautiful. pearls that exist in the world, essentially. They are stunningly They're beautiful. They're huge. 
They're, yeah. they're beautiful in their form. They all have the same shape and structure, which is almost impossible to do. Mm. But you saw the one piece at Bonhams. It was like a flat, um, yeah. but incredible, sizable uh, Baroque pearl. To have these shapes, these shapes that lend themselves either to singles in terms of a single pendant or a pair of earrings is phenomenal. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to reiterate what you said. I've never seen pills like this. No. With such a beautiful colour. Yeah. Do you want to know how amazing this is going to be? Um, let's, let's go back to... Can, can I just have the clicker one second, Ross? Is that OK? I just want to go back to what our friend said who helped us uh, obtain these pearls. And the second paragraph or the second sentence there that says, this is likely to retail for around 10,000 US dollars today. Mm -hmm. OK, let's go half that price straight away. Amazing. Yeah, so we'll just come in and we'll go, right, even the pearl uh, vendor who supplied us this is saying these are retailing for 10 grand today if you can find them because people are just breaking them up. Let's just bring it you straight away at $5,000, which you know no one can do. The vendor's saying you can't do that. And we're going to do it because that's how we operate. We, we talk the talk, of course, but we're going to walk the walk. So I'm coming in and saying, I know I'm half the price of anybody in the world right now. I'm going to offer you this at five grand. Wow. And I'm not done. Buy them all at five grand. Everyone's going to pay the low price, whatever. But I'm going to offer you right now. It should be 10. We're going to go to five. That's uh, incredible. Um, and obviously, this is the kind of thing that, you know, you, Oh my you God, get these are 12 value. to 18 mil. Yeah, they're huge. The 12 to 18 mil. What were the ones before, nine and a half? Nine and a half to 10 and a half, and they were uh, nearly a thousand pounds. And we also had the, the other ones that were, you know, 12 at the top end, 12.5, and they were two grand. Wow. And we are 18 by 12. Wow. They come Take a look all at these. completely boxed. You get your class, you get your spaces. But the reality is, actually, I'm looking at this personally. I mean, that's stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Uh, give me a minute clock, please, guys. How many do we have out of curiosity? 43. Even that's I have. It's amazing. That. Yeah. So I've just been informed. So Wayne, our salesman, just came out. And I said to the guys, go to £5,000, that's to be cheaper. And he said, we can't even go to £5,000 because we bought these at such a great price that we won't even, our system won't even allow it to be that expensive. Oh, really? That's a joke, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to give you 40 seconds to get on the front lines. I'm going to go to the most incredible deal on the ultimate strand. The ultimate strand. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. The, the strength of colour, yeah. the consistency of colour, the orient, the nacre, the form, the shape. You've got 23 seconds. There's only 43 of these in the world, by the way. There's, do you know what I'm loving? This recording, even at the distance, I often quite look be, like, you know, be, almost beyond the image. Yeah, the pinks. Can you see? Yeah, the pinks and the neon greens. Yeah. All completely natural. Yeah. Uh, These 44. are the pearls that everyone wanted three years ago and now no one can get. Patricia, Lorraine, Bristol, uh, anonymous maker. Bring it to two grand then if you can. If we can go to two grand, come in at two grand. Wow. And our vendor's saying... These are retailing today for $10,000. And we're putting a whole finished piece of jewellery for, for auction here, which I had no idea about. I thought we were just talking about the pearls. £499 on split pay. Yeah. The best deal jewellery maker has ever seen at this price, and I'm still not done. Mm -hmm. If 20 of you multi-buy right now, it's sold out. Yeah. And I would multiply because, look, I don't know how many... I don't... You know, I'm, I'm not... Um, I'm a jewellery maker regular now. I come on, like, once a week, but you've been here for years, Al. I don't know how many of you are in the trade. I don't know how many of you have stores or an online presence. Oh, gosh. I'm going to give you the advice that my own vendor's giving me. Break this up, for goodness sake. Break it up. Sell them as singles. Certified, natural, beautiful papaya pearls. Uh -huh. 12 by 18 mil. Yeah. With that incredible colour. Sell them as singles. Sell them as singles for the price for on your those. screen if you want. Yeah, for sure. Um, a, big, a big percentage of our audience, uh, uh, you know, uh, have turned what it may, may have started as a hobby into a, a very, very, very accomplished career. A lucrative career. Yeah. If you're getting deals. And um, this is the, 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 you know, the, Look the, at the purple flash on these pearls as well, which is just outrageous. Yeah. To have this yeah. incredible apricot colour, to have these papayas, to have the golden colours, to have that, that incredible, beautiful orient. In the current climate, in 2022, oh. we're being told this is impossible. We can't do it. We are doing it. And once these are sold out, by the way, this is a quarter of our show gone. Yeah. There's only four incredible auctions today. Yeah. 
and you're getting a whole uh, opportunity to make a finished piece of jewellery, which, again, I had no idea about. They come all beautifully boxed, as you would expect. Oh, really? This calibre, yeah. Everything. Oh, Everything that I have here. And the, and the magnetic clasp. And the spacers. Wow. If you want to put them together, that's fine. Personally, I'd go for gold. Yeah, no, 100%. I would, Personally. I always love what, what you say, um, Elle, about yep. going and getting like a, an antique clasp. Going to buy a piece of jewellery for £200, maybe you fall in love with that piece of jewellery, but you guys are jewellery makers. Take it apart, use that clasp, and, and give this some character, give it some life. Yep. Um, and I, I love that. But to have the opportunity just straight out of the bat to create a piece of jewellery is incredible. Let's do one more minute clock. This is going to be the final deal on these. I can see you on the phone lines. I want to congratulate every single one of you that is coming in. It is, a, is our gift to you guys to offer you this. Our, our sister channels have never had the opportunity to work with goods like this, to have the, even to be able to own material like I this. I know. And I'm about to give you our largest and most impressive Baroque that. pearls that we've ever seen. And we've got everyone, every authority in the industry telling us that no one's doing this. Yeah, don't do it. If you can it. find anything similar for a similar price that we're about to do today, send this back. Truly send it back. Because I know for a fact no one will beat us even at five, six times the price I'm about to go to on this. Uh, absolutely. Um, definitely one of those opportunities that we always say it, Dave, when you're getting this kind of, uh, this, this, this grade, yeah. the best pearls we've ever seen. Absolutely. You need to get them insured. Yeah, you do. I know it costs money. Oh, if it costs you £200, trust me, you're saving thousands today, but if it costs you £200 to go and get this valued, mm -hmm. so you can put it on your household insurance for the correct replacement value. Yes. That's why um, we get it right, valued. Just, this, uh, this is my final deal on the, the first incredible auction. Then we have three more rapid auctions to bring to you. Nothing has big quantity. That is what happens when you step into the world of elite jewellery or, or elite collections of jewellery. Take a £1,000 off this price. Take a £1,000 off this price. And I know for a fact, and you guys know for a fact, that we've just saved you thousands on, on the most impressive pearl acquisition a jewellery maker has ever offered to his clientele. Like I said, whatever is left wow. after this, if there is any left, we will make into jewellery and we'll bring it to our... We'll give our collectors on Gempori, our global collectors there, the opportunity to acquire this as well. It is something that I think should be extended to everyone. You guys are getting first refusal on this and we've put together this incredible package where you get whatever it is, the spaces, the magnetic... Yes. Yeah. We're at... Triple figures, yeah, for a what a five figure piece of jewelry, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, this is sure. multi by territory now, even across the group, even across uh, all of our channels. I don't think a thousand pounds could ever be spent better. No, I agree, thousand pounds. And we will have people who will tune in, literally, will follow you as well, uh, oh, Dave, yeah. uh, from our sister channel. channel. And you know, maybe get hold of this opportunity and then just physically take it to someone if they haven't got the skills to not take it oh, to 100%. somebody that can. Yeah, I mean, go to London, spend a couple of hundred pounds getting this strung, uh -huh. I, certainly have it individually knotted because the value Definitely. of the is so high. Yeah, but the opportunity on your screen right now, the value proposition is impossible. And uh, you know, as a buyer myself, I couldn't replace this. Well, I'm being told by the vendor, maybe 10 times the price on your screen. Yeah, but like I said, we are making a profit. We got an incredible deal on this because we bought prior to COVID. And this is how we operate. We never look at the market value. You guys do. That's where we get so much amazing feedback. And we offer you collections like this. But they are extremely you know, fiercely competitive on the phone lines. And we get that. As long as we, uh, you are recognising uh, the incredible, the true value and worth to these. And that's why Dave is suggesting possibly... Um, if it's if you're looking at this as as, as an income, then right, guys, I've got I've got collectors who have multi bought. Patricia, you've just bought two of these. Congratulations! Can I ask for a one minute clock? Let's get these gone. Let's get the rest of these gone and move through this incredible collection. I'm going to take some more money off this, just because of the confidence that you guys have had in us. You're on the phone lines early. I know it's secure. It's a free phone number. Use the web. Use the app if you can. But when you've got multi buyers, when you've got collectors, you know, the, the length and breadth of the UK yeah. joining us for this, whatever's left, even if there's just 20 left or whatever, we're going to give you one crazy deal and then we're going to move through the collection of pearls that we have for you today. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I mean... We shouldn't do this. No, I, I'm already thinking that's an incredible... It makes zero commercial sense, but, you know, that's not how we look at things. Look at this photograph here. Yeah, I love it. The distinguish, you know, the separation between those 
peachy, yeah. uh, peachy golden colours with the pink tone. Yeah, yeah, and the purples and the lavenders coming through. These yeah. are legendary papaya pearls with those flash plays of colour. It is um, a measurable beauty. You know, we've seen one strand like this before and we had two of them. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Just take take it to seven nine nine. Take it to seven nine nine. I hope that 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 is better for you guys. For those of you that want to multi buy, for those of you that are getting involved, I, I hope that even just removing that much is helping. Um, and uh, you know, we wow. appreciate you guys joining us this morning. Two hundred pounds back into your pocket, but the reality is, it's far significantly more than that, Dave. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? Uh, well, significantly we've told, we've been more. told, you know, by the vendor of these who is situated in the Far East, who you know, has worked with these pearl farms for the past five years, saying, look, no one's selling these strands right now because they're far too valuable as singles. Mm -hmm. you know, to sell these as single, beautiful papaya baroque pearls at this size, 18 mil. But if you want uh, to offer a strand, then you're looking at maybe $10,000 retail. And he said, you know, next year, you could be looking at double that price, a $20,000 a collection of pearls. And it is strand. all in the colour, really, isn't it? The fact And the size. And the size. You know, you, you're talking about some huge pearls here to get this kind of size. You're getting that incredible, beautiful miracle that is the Baroque. There's something alluring about it. We've seen an explosion in the value of Baroques over the last uh, five years as well. And to have the, mo the world's most elite Baroque pearls on your screen right now. And, uh, and such an affordable price point. Now, I know it's considered price point. You know, 799 isn't you know, a throwaway price to anybody. But in terms of the saving, in terms of the value, then this is, you know, next level. It, it really is. And I'm just looking at them. I mean, these are, yeah, hang on, 23 upwards. Yeah. Huge. Millimetres. Absolutely huge. Absolutely gigantic. There's, literally, you can see it on your screen. I know sometimes it's a little bit that, trickier. That's why you would sell that as a single. Yeah. That's why you would sell that as one incredible pearl. Look at the sheer scale and size of those. £799 only to get hold of these. Um, again, whether you want to, uh, whether you want to uh, sort of put it together in the most amazing, amazing heirloom piece or separate them out, I'll count them for you so you get an idea of how many, if you are thinking as individual pendants. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, right. 19. How many, how many do we have left right now? <clears throat> we had 43. How many do we have left? Currently 30. All right. So, so what? We've sold... But there's uh, 23 in baskets. sold 13, there's 23 in baskets or whatever. Let's sell them all out today. Yeah. Let's not leave here and bring them back another day. I'll take them to Gemporia. I'm going to take... Wayne, I'm going to take a, a load of, of money off this, okay? And I apologise, but it's going to happen. Yeah, I know I am. I am. Because I'm mic'd up and you're not, and I'm on screen and you're not, so... This is the, this, you give me this opportunity and sometimes, you know, there's people in their baskets, you're not checking out, maybe that's because we're at the wrong price. I know we're at an incredible price. Let's, yep. let's have a 60 second clock and we'll get these gone right now. Okay, it's, it's something I shouldn't do. I don't even know if I can do it. I know we bought these at an incredible deal. Yeah. Like I said, we, we got Pre -COVID. it. Pre-COVID. Yep. Uh, and we're being told that retail, not wholesale, but retail these today are going for $10,000 in the stores. Yep. If you can find a strand of this size, what was it, 23 mil? For yeah, single one of as a, yeah. You got a strand of them with this beautiful, remember that color's natural. Well, There's how only a handful of pearl farms in the world that have done these, but I'm going to sell them all today. They're all going. They are going to find homes today. And at the price I'm about to do, I urge, what, the 30 of you or whatever on the phone lines or with any baskets to multi-buy. When the price comes in, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, a fight on the phone lines. So I'm telling you now, I'm telling you, I've got 15 seconds to tell you, the price I'm going to go to is ludicrous. And you could put, uh, when we take this to gems, if we take this to gems, you could put a one in front of the price I'm about to do, or a sure, two in front absolutely. of the price I'm about to do. And that's, that's because we're offering a finished piece of jewellery. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, there's not enough people, says. Another clock? Yeah. Get another clock on then. Okay, so Wayne is, I don't know how it works, but Wayne's telling me, if you're going to take this... Uh, money off, if, if they're going to allow me to do this, then I need your help. I need all of you on the phone lines. Want these all gone, right, Wayne? All of them. Okay. Yeah, he's he's going to allow me to do it. Deal he seems of century. A deal of this century, Wayne's calling it. And he has no idea what I'm about to do. Yeah, I and love it's that. It's about to be crazy. But you, now at you've got... This price already. Yeah, at this price it is the deal of the century. It's about to be the deal of the millennium, Wayne. Okay, we're at 799 right now. And it's incredible. We've got multi-buyers on the phone lines. You've got 30 seconds right now. And I need... Well, I need 100 of you, 200 of you on the phone lines. There's only 43 available or 30 available, whatever it is now. 
23 seconds, 22 seconds. Um, use the app, use the web. The, 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 the call list right now is off my screen. I can't see how many of them there is. Dave, I 14 mean, seconds. Bonhams themselves, one individual. Yeah. Now, one individual of these of is $5,600. £5,600. £5, yeah. £5,600. You've got an entire strand. Uh, right, Wayne, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make you happy. Don't worry. I'm going to ask for another clock. Yeah. Another minute clock. Okay? Ten more people. Ten. Okay. I can't see how many of you are on the phone, but Wayne said we need ten more people. I okay. quite like this game. Um, it's fun, so isn't I, it? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. extremely fun, but it's not going to be fun when I do this prize. We, we want them all gone. That's why we're here. We like to make it busy. If we're not going to make money, then we want to make people happy, happy. And we want to make it extremely busy. So this is, by the way, Wayne, I'm not doing another minute clock after this, all right? You, there'll be 10 people on the lines when I call this prize. There's going to be more than 10 people on the lines when I call this prize. Don't worry about it. I think he's concerned that you guys aren't going to come in or whatever. I know you are because the deals are missable at the, the price range screen right now. It's going to be unimaginable at the deal. I'm about. Do you want to know how many people have got it in their baskets? Go on. 100. Okay, 100 people got it in their basket. It doesn't really matter. There's only 30 available right now. And by the way, uh, Carolyn, Caroline, Carol in Midlothian, Patricia, Jill, uh, County Durham, you guys, you're all going to pay the final low price. Whether you came in at two grand or 999 or 799, we are reactive. We're a live uh, TV channel. We do reverse price auction. Are you ready? You've got to be happy now. There's 100 people. 499. Four nine nine, and uh, like there's a possibility I might lose my job <laughs> uh, doing this, but uh, we are doing the most incredible deals today. We are That's being told four nine nine. We've got to do it. I've said it. Congratulations! To well done. I did tell you to multi by Patricia. You have now. You had two. Now you've come in and got three. Oh yes. I mean, you got three for fifteen hundred pounds, which is incredible. That strand alone That's is retailing rope. around the world for ten thousand dollars. Right now, so and the vendor talking? is saying, oh, going forward, you could be talking double that. Who knows yeah. what might happen in the next five years, six years? £499. £124.75 on the split pay. We sell pearl rings for £499 routinely. Yeah, one single, door. one single. Single pearl. Look at that. Look, have you I, I, I'll be honest. Seen... I, these are going to sell out, of course. You were worried about having 10 people on the phone lines. I think you know, there's what? 100 of you trying to get through now. Yeah. One thing I will say is it's going to have... A massive effect on the rest of the show and whether we do the rest of the show now or we don't is up to Wayne and Ross because we are going to be 19. in a little bit of hot, hot water with this there are 19 individual pills um if we do the maths I don't know if I want to don't 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 do it okay again for, for you guys who are in the trade for you guys who are in the business of making jewelry I would separate these. Yes, it's stunning to have a rope like this, a strand of incredible pearls like this, but I'd sell them singularly or, or, or match pairs for earrings at this price that you're doing right now because you, you're going to make more of a return than selling it as a strand. Yeah, I mean, amazing. But if you are thinking for your own personal collection yeah. uh, you know, and for your family's legacy, wow, not it, absolutely. There's a reason why pearl strands are not in particularly These are the of this pearls quality. that changed the market. Yes. The pearls that changed the industry. You know, pearls like this didn't exist five years ago. And then they hit the market, and then all of a sudden we've been compromised massively by the COVID-19 pandemic, which means that a lot of you weren't able to, to get these pearls, and those that are in the market right now mm -hmm. are going through the roof. The, the, the harvests have been compromised significantly. And there's only like a handful of farms that have been known to be able to produce these wonderful natural colours. Anything else like this really in China is dyed or bleached. Yeah. This is like the top 1%. Yeah. And we've got a, a full, incredible strand of them. And we've given the opportunity to, to include the, the clasp and whatever they, the space beads or whatever they are. Yeah. For £500, which is just absolutely ludicrous. It is. It, it really is. And £124.75 on split pay. Plus, this just popped into my head, Dave. I mean, I don't know anywhere else. There's another way, another angle, if you like, of how we're so unique here at Gemporia. We basically will say to our viewers, yeah, get this home. So take 30 days with some of the most valuable yep. pills that are physically out Absolutely. there. And if you don't love them, you can send them back. That's fine. What other jeweler allows you to do that? Take something that is potentially five figures. Yeah, yeah. And, and you say, can do that for £124.5. Yes. What other jeweller does that? Well, none. None that I know of. No, no. Maybe no. you guys know of them, but I don't. No. Nope. Uh, to have what you've got here for 499 is just a crazy auction. 
A gold collector of Caroline from the Channel Islands says, thank you for these amazing pearls and the unbelievable price. I'm making two pieces, one for each daughter, beautiful pearls. Oh. Beautiful girls. That's beautiful oh, that's to hear, lovely. Caroline. And that's, that's why we do what we do. It's amazing to hear testimonies like that. Isn't that wonderful? You know, putting the, the most valuable pearls of today in people's family collections, in their heirloom Love collections. Love that, Caroline. Well done, Caroline. Do you want to know how many we have left? I don't. 12. Okay, well, can I just say, um, can we make a deal right now? Whatever is left or whatever isn't left, we will uh, create jewelry and we'll, we have to offer it to our other collectors. We've offered you an incredible deal on these. Um, and, you know, those of you that have got involved, I'm absolutely thrilled for you. Uh, for those of you that haven't, we've still got three incredible auctions to, to yeah. uh, introduce you to. But we have to, we're giving you first reviews on, on some of the finest uh, gemstones and, and certainly organic gems like these that we've ever acquired. Absolutely exquisite. This is the kind of piece of jewellery that you can create mm -hmm. or you can put your wonderful uh, talented twist on it. Absolutely. It's ultimately about the finest pearls we've ever seen and they really are. Mm -hmm. it, oh, 82 of you have the final nine. In, in, well, look, if there's eight left or there's five left, what, what we will do to, to make it a larger auction for the next door is we'll just sell them as singles like a pendant. Yep. A wonderful pendant of this. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Guys. Um, yeah, much like all those earrings that you saw earlier on for what, a thousand quid. pounds. Yeah. Um, just shy off with the tiniest amount of 18 karat gold yeah. as well. It, the, all the value was in the pills. It and was that, just the prong, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and so. that was actually not a bad price. Well, exactly, yeah. I mean, we're talking double the price next year because we know it takes two, three years to produce pearls like this. And those pearl farms, some of them are out of business and some of them have been, you know, um, compromised significantly, like we said. And here's the, the earrings in question that we were talking about. You know, two of these with the same sort of colour, maybe not even the same size, because ours are 23 mil as we measured them. Mm. 900 pounds. 900 pounds. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, there's final six of those available. Uh, good luck and well done. I mean, absolutely. That's that's an achievement. Yeah. Well, I mean, like my problem that we now face is the auctions that we're about to bring you are about to be crazy because yeah, I know for a fact that there's. Uh, a pearl strand here that should be the price on your screen right now. Mm hmm And we have to go lower. Ah. You see what I mean? So he's had like a knock-on effect. A knock-on effect to this. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, space, space beads, beads everywhere. Space beads. Um, but that was that. They're not the pearls. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, we can get more spacer beads. Yeah. That's no one's talking about spacer beads running out. No. Uh, but, no. But in terms of pearls, of course. This, oh this my is... goodness me. But the problem is, as you guys well know, when you get rounds, pay a premium. I, I prefer Brox, but I'm just saying in the industry, when you're getting rounds, you pay a premium for it. Mm. We saw rounds earlier at what, $2,000. We saw these in the GIA, and here you get the mixture of colors. So you get the papayas and you get the purples. Um, Ross, how many of these do we have? How many? 11. Oh, God. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness me. Look at these. That's how it should be offered. That's exactly how it should be offered. You open this up and you've got an incredible opportunity. This is you know, an inc beautiful piece of jewellery. Wow. Yeah. Oh, natural. Natural colours. The myriad of colours. This is the rainbow neck. Look at this. Can you see on this one here? Can you Look see the, the size of them. Look at the spectrum. Yeah. My God, this is probably the, I mean, just it talk about rarity. That alone would have taken two or three years to put together. Just one of those. That's why we only have 11. Oh, wow. I can't believe we're doing this. I don't think we should because we've messed up big time in terms of the pricing. You've got every color imaginable and every single one of those colors is natural, by the way. They're beautiful. Yeah, papaya and purple, but everything in between. You've got some of those pistachio greens, you've got the goldens, you've got the wonderful apricots, you've got the, the beautiful intense lavenders, you've got blue pearls, which are the rarest colour on earth. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is the piece that you can make. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's get a minute clock on. I'm just going to do one price on these. I don't... One incredible price. 58 seconds for you to get these, only 11. Oh, my goodness. Straight away, we're down into single figures. Um, they're beautiful, aren't they? The only rounds that we actually have in these colours. Yeah, so I'll just be straightforward with you guys, if that's okay. Um, the first necklace that we bought to you at our own price, because we bought it at the right time, was meant to be uh, £999. Okay, that's, that was meant to be our price, but we're reactive, and we ended up going to 499 This necklace should be 699 mm -hmm. 
okay, at our price, very low margin, and we bought at the right time. They are the rounds. This commands a huge premium. You've got the papayas, you've got the purples, you've got the blues, you've got the goldens, you've got the peach. All of those colors are natural. They all came from one incredible pearl farm, and they've been put into 11 incredible strands. In the world, by the way, we bought every single one of these that the team put together in China. Every, we fell in love with them so much, we said, we'll take everything you've got. And they, at the time they had 10, they managed to make one more. Uh. So we took all 11. It's graduated as well. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. It's meant to be 399. Nine, three nine nine. 399 for every single one of you right now. It's the, it's the most incredible deal that I can do. I've gone way too have low. Have you literally just plucked that price point? I, I mean, what? I have to, this is what I said to you. And, and Ross and, and Wayne are in the gallery, our sales manager and our senior producer. And I've just said, look, we can bring these auctions if you want, but we have to, we have to do what we've kind of done. We have to follow the same kind of structure. And look at So it would be better to save them for another day. But you guys <coughs> said no. Nah, I was admiring. You said about our sister channel. Like, uh, I, I'm good friends with Lindsay, who's uh, who's on air next Lindsay door. Right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and she had the other day uh, one single papaya pearl. Yep. I loved it. I was obsessed with it. And I was like, have you got many of those? And she was like, no, of course not. Um, which had a halo of diamonds all yep. the way around on gold. Love that piece of jewellery. I did the show with her. Oh, that piece, Dave. Yeah, I know. One was... single pearl. How much was that piece of jewellery? It was three figures. Mm. Right. That's and, one and they, pearl. Look, when they presented us, cheers, Ollie. When they presented us to this, and, and we saw it, and we said, as many as you can make of these, we'll take all day long, because we've never seen anything like it. And it was presented to us like this in a beautiful box, and they opened it up. It's graduated. Never seen this before in That's the world. That's amazing. Never seen anything like this before in my life. And we said we'll take all of them. They had ten at the time. They managed to make one more, which means there's eleven, oh. and they're all on your screens today. And we're like two, three hundred pounds lower than where we should be. There's two, literally. Comes in this box, uh, look at the size of them. They literally look metallic, don't oh, they? They yeah. literally. All look. of these have got this incredible nacre, the Orient. <coughs> They've got these, these wonderful, intense colours. Mm. That's, That's unbelievable. Amazing, incredible opportunity for you guys. Eleven ever in the world. There are three of these left. You can get it home for less than a hundred pounds, which is just ludicrous, frankly. Um, on your split pay, again, we have to say it. Get these insured. Um, in order to do that, you need to have them valued, granted. And I know they, that costs money. Listen, I used to be one of the people that used to book in the jewellery to pass it over to the valuer in, in, in my old workplace. It does cost money. However, how much would it cost to replace these? That's what I don't know if you can. Well, I don't know if you can. I don't know. If you won't be able to do it at £399. No, but I don't know if anyone's put anything together like this with all the colours. They'd usually wait longer and create a whole strand of purples, a whole strand of yeah. purples. But like that to, one that you saw, that collection. Absolutely. From that couple. The, the, um, the actually, GIA this, alumni night, the night of the museum. This, this is very similar. This very is similar, but this was Exactly. So you've, their whole <clears> um, <throat> collection, their whole museum exhibition was called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. This is that in a necklace. You know, it is the rainbow myriad of colours. Look at that. Well done to every single one of you. Four split payments of £99.75. Um, there's only two left. I've got a couple of you on the phone lines. If you press your option one, Trisha, you can get yours. Um, it will be allocated on a first come, first serve basis. We cannot say any yeah. fairer than We're that. We're only this taking confirmations on this jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. No good in baskets. No. So I've got uh, a whole host of you on the phone lines. This is your final price on the priceless, beautiful rainbow colours. Look at that. That's such of, a. Of the naturally coloured pearls. Oh, uh, green, blue. That just blues. looks too good to be true. It looks unreal. If you saw that anywhere in the world, you think that's going to be, what, five figures? They're yes. huge as well. True. And it's graduated. And that's literally photographed in our light box yeah. in the production office. Absolutely. This very same strand that, uh, that you're seeing on your... I'll tell you who's on the phone lines for the last two. Jacqueline, Sarah, Brian, Patricia, Heather, Maker in Bristol, Bristol, Anonymous Maker, Caroline in the Channel Islands, Lorraine in Essex, Nicolette in Surrey, Maker in Hertfordshire, then it goes off my screen. These are the ones that haven't yet confirmed. Yeah, and there's two left. There's two left, so good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh my goodness me, the one. final one. Well done, we've got multi-buyers, of course we have. Well done. Amazing, absolutely amazing. London, you can get it on the app. Um, you've all got that same chance. You just need to uh, sort of be, well, super reactive now. Essex, you're there as well. Literally comes presented, as well, as you can imagine, the finest quality pearls. Yeah, I'm so glad that we're doing this. I'm so glad that we've 
bought you the, the incredible packaging. Yeah. You get to create one of the most perfect freshwater necklaces I've ever seen. Isn't it beautiful? So it comes packaged like so. As you can see in this beautiful plush velvet. Imagine opening that up. Oh my. Imagine that. that, that, that. Uh, one thing's for certain. Uh, the next five years, you're not going to see anything like that. No. You're not going to have the opportunity to see anything like that. And if we ever, you know, say if, imagine in seven years' time, eight years' time, we managed to bring one collection of pearls like that, and we've seen the explosion in terms of the price that they've had in the industry. And you see the price, and you just think, I remember like five years ago, eight years ago, mm. when they were selling those for £399. No, it's, it's crazy. Crazy. We, we, we see that quite a lot. We see... We see All the time. Alexandrite. Yeah, Brazilian Paraiba. Brazilian Paraiba, absolutely. We, we've seen it with a whole host of incredible gemstones that we've brought you. We've, we've been in business for nearly 20 years um, from, from Gems TV. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, we've had many of those anecdotal experiences, those first-hand experiences with some of the rarest gems on earth where we got a great deal. Like I said to you, we never look at our replacement cost. We just look at making a small profit. If we get a great deal at the right time, we bring you that, even though we know, and we knew with, Bra with uh, Russian Alexandra, we knew with Brazilian Paraiba, that we would never be able to get them again. We've got two them. more. Two more auctions. Half the, half the whole showcase is gone. These are gonna go wild. I hope we've got bigger quantities. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes. Oh, we have, okay, great. We've got a hundred of each. Okay, so you can imagine how good the deal's gonna be. We had 43 of the first one, you saw the deal that I did. We just had 11 of that one, you saw how good the deal it was. And now we have a hundred of each of these. I'm obsessed with these. Yeah. Which one do you guys want to start with? Uh, the Strand. Okay. So, uh, oh, look at that. Mm. Perfection, isn't it? It really is. And I, the colour, I've never seen colour like this. These wonderful drop-shaped pearls that we have. Again, it would make more uh, financial sense for you guys or commercial sense for you guys to take these apart and set them as earrings, set them as pendants, because that's what this shape lends itself to. We've put a strand together, a rope of these pearls, and I'm gonna do the craziest deal as you can imagine. A deal that we shouldn't do. Does this come packaged as well? Yes. Well. Yeah. So you get the same velvet plush packaging with the button top as it, the bifold opening. Mm -hmm. and you get presented with an opportunity like this with these wonderful colors that we get to see. Look at that, that's such a pretty color. Wayne, I'm gonna make all 100 of these disappear today. Oh, we've love already, it. you've, you, you and, and Ross, guys, you, you, fair enough. You guys have said no. We're gonna, we've promoted this showcase, and <clears throat> we've gone too low on the first one. We could have pulled the other two auctions. But you guys have said no. We're gonna do them. Well, if we're gonna do them, we're gonna do them in the same incredible value, which means that I'm gonna go wild on this auction. Even though these, like, I mean, you've mentioned it about the rounds earlier on. Yeah. It would have, and that's somewhere over the rainbow collection. To match the colours when they're natural yeah. is incredibly challenging. Yeah, it is. I mean, th th there's a reason that these, like, like our vendor said, there's a reason material like this isn't sold by the Strand today. Yeah. You know, one, these pearls you can't get anymore, so why would you put so many of them into one incredible auction? You shouldn't. Two, we should sell them singularly because they're so valuable. And three, you know, it means less, you know, less matching. Isn't yeah. It? They're so pretty. It's, it's that little... It, it, it's, it's the warmth of pink that it's comes It's extremely through. wearable as well. Yeah. And like you said, you've got those warm tones coming through. Remember that he's all naturally coloured. You know, in the last 10 years, the only experience we've had with colours like this has been bleached mm. or dyed pearls. This is the most exciting thing that's happened in the industry, for pearls anyway. Yep. Um, there's a hundred of these, though. Yeah. There's the hundred. last strand. Yeah, and they are the papaya colour. So you've got their intensity. I mean, wow. They come beautifully presented, as you would imagine, of this grade of pearl. Right, let's play a game. Ross, I want you to come in at the price that, on your sheet, it says we should be selling these for, right? Hmm? And then we're going to do the crazy deal. That means that uh, if, if, there's, if there's 100 people watching, these are going to disappear. Yeah. That's my promise to you guys. So we're going to come in at the price that, you know, if we'd have been a perfect day, and you know, it hadn't been like it's been, what these should sell for, and then we're gonna do the wildest deal on these. Okay. Okay, so here, here's, here's the price that we should be at. Remember the first strand should have been 999, the next strand should have been 699. This should have been 349. Yeah, because okay, these are still auctions. large Baroque pearls. And the color, it's papaya. Yes. The intensity of color, right. We're gonna do that thing that I've never done before, but I quite like it. 
I need 100 of you on the phone lines. Love it. Yeah, so yes. we, we're just going to put a minute clock and a minute yeah. clock and a minute clock. And the web? Until there's 100 of you on the phone Across lines. the phone lines of the web. Yeah, well, yeah the web, basket, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So this is your first minute clock. The price isn't coming in when this clock ends until there's 100 of you. Yeah, love yeah. it. But Absolutely trust me, it'll be it. worth it. We're already at, oh, there's four split payments. Is that right? £87.25 on split pay. I'm about to go crazy on these. The pills that you shouldn't be able to get. Remember you and I talked about one papaya pill that myself and Lindsay brought to you guys mm -hmm. um, not too long ago, about two weeks ago. And it was just one pearl and it was three figures. Okay? Yeah, this that really whole strand of these wonderful shapes. Um, 26. How many people are on the lines? Uh, 25. Not, no, it's enough. not enough. It's not enough. Not enough people. Yeah. I told not you I'm going to make this deal worth it. I just want to see you there so you can. Yeah, well, this is how we trigger. work differently, isn't it? Because, like you said, you know, and I, and I know it's a question that's been raised by customers in the past. Well, why do you sell them at these affordable prices when you could sell them at this? Um, we are not the same as your average retailer. We don't want stock sitting in our in our vault nope. for decades. Another minute clock, please, guys. Yeah, um, that's. Also, not we don't have the the same. Um, Overhead. Cost, right? Mm. So we don't have a bricks and mortar store on a premium piece of real estate like Bond Street yep. um, or, or Place Vendôme. So we don't have that. We, we also buy large volumes of gemstones because we're live all the time. You know, not just here, but next door, 24 hours a day, 365 mm -hmm. days a year. So we need to get through. So we make these huge acquisitions, which, as you know, in any you know any scale of economy, drives the price down. Of course, we're not buying one or two. We're buying well. everything. That, that, that example you showed earlier on, you know, talking about scale that we buy. You, yep. If you bought what that one lot, um, yep. a, a selection was four thousand. Yes. Um, if, if, if you bought, you bought the, more, the whole lot, it's two thousand five hundred. It's a big difference. Yes, it's a huge. big, big difference. Now imagine amplifying that. However, there it is. There it is. There it is. You are talking about some of the finest pearls, mm -hmm. naturally coloured, that I've ever seen. Uh, do we have a hundred people here? All right, let's have another, no. another minute clock. It's down to you guys. You know, if you want to see the final price that I'm going to go to on these, I need to have 100 on the front lines. And that's, you know, that's Wayne, that's Ross telling you that. I love it, I love it. Look at that beautiful peach apricot colours. Papaya, they're, they're referred to in the industry. Um, and they're all natural. Now, we can offer you something that looks similar. I, and I say that tentatively oh, yeah. but it would have been bleached and dyed yeah 100 percent. this is 100 percent naturally of, colored uh, and in terms of percentage of the rarity would you oh, say what like less than one percent less than a percent maybe in terms of the volume of freshwater pearls that come into the market and those wow. are naturally colored like this yeah it's actually less than one percent wow these are the top top pearls now i don't know how many of you are on the phone lines but in 15 seconds i'm going to give you an indication okay of what i'm about to do okay Okay. I'm excited. Oh, I'm worried. I'm nervous, but it is. It's what we're about. Yeah, we're making making dreams come true, quite literally. I and mean, I love that, Caroline. You messaged in saying about um, right. Can the you best just take this to daughters. take this to one nine nine for for every single one of you that's trusted us, that's been with us this morning, and then give me another minute clock. You're taking that, it straight to one hundred nine. I'm taking it to one hundred ninety nine pounds. That's not our final price sale. That's the reason not. I'm asking for another minute clock is I'm going again. No, no, Ross is the, no, the best deal we'll ever do on papaya price. pearls. It's not our closing price, mate. It's not. But I wanted to give you some indication. Now wow. we're going to get 100 people on the phone. Now you can get this home for £49.75 on yeah. split pay, but it's we're not to get stopping there. Oh, nowhere near. Really? Yeah. It's, ah. Look, and this is, again, this is a decision that has been collectively made live on air. Uh -huh. I said to you guys, I said, we can pull these auctions if you want because we've gone too low. You guys said, no, no, we, we told you there's going to be four auctions, we're going to bring you four auctions. Great. So literally that ring I was admiring, seven. Yeah, I love it. Oh, it's beautiful, so beautiful, beautiful. It's literally had a halo of diamonds around the base of the pearl, and then it was set in, I would imagine, probably 18 karat gold. I saw it in, uh, so they set up prior to the gem shows. I was like, oh my goodness me, naturally prepared. So on our sister channel, three figures yeah it's a finished piece of jewelry and that's one and individual we, uh, pearl but there was more than a hundred available ah and they all went i bet and i'm asking for a hundred of you on the phone lines right now and uh, like i said it goes off my screen i can't patricia again you've multiple you've been uh, extremely um on it this morning we appreciate you joining us um go to 149 and then give me another minute clock this is silly no yeah, it is what it is you know we we, we are live and reactive we're going to give you the deals that we're going to bring you. This is a reverse price auction. We for, want them for, to sell we're, out. We're talking about less than 
one percent of the world's pearls yep. will have and this pearls that we we said at the very start of the showcase we can't bring you going forward yeah we just won't be able to bring you going forward 149 right now and, and we've got another minute clock and i'm saying to you get on the phone lines that's amazing we're not even stopping there um and if you think about and i am going to make not a comparison as such, but if you, the, what, what makes uh, a South Sea Pearl as attractive as it is? Yes, it's size, but it's colour as well, that golden colour. Yeah. Um, these are rarer, potentially. Well, they are, aren't they? Yeah, rarer they are. in their colour. The, yeah. the volume that's yep. available to in the, the world. Yeah. And you're talking about a fraction of the price full, of what you would full pay. full endless strand that we have here. That's absolutely amazing. And you can get it home. £37.25 on split pay. The reason you've got four split payments is, like we said, we should be at 349 There's 85 in baskets. We need 15 more people. Okay, so it's probably looking likely to be another so like, minute clock. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is that right? Or do you yeah. want to just go to it? Do you, what, I don't know. I, I what do you want to do? Just... Oh, Wayne said another clock. Uh, Wayne loves the clock. He needs 15 more people. Uh, he's, Let's he's, do it again then. Thank you, Adam. He sticks to the rules, does our way. Oh, God. He's a Sticking to the he's rules. A stickler for the rules. Yeah, absolutely. 15 more people. That's what we said. Right, Fair this is enough. the final clock, Wayne. I don't care. When you see this final price, there'll be 100 people. There'll be yeah. more than 15 people joining us. It's going to go crazy. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Right. You've got <coughs> a lot of multiples now. Beverly, Linda, Karen, Jennifer, Toy in. You've got two. Patricia, you've got two. Zoe, you're in. Belinda in Surrey, Maker in the West Midlands. You've got um, a lot of you on the phone lines. Angela, Elaine, Claire, Helen, <coughs> Louise, Karen. Yeah, amazing. Don't know how to pronounce that name. Kathy in West Yorkshire, Elizabeth in Lanarkshire. Well done. Um, beautiful, and you haven't yet confirmed, but we can see you there. People also choosing to uh, this is the queue. to multiply. Yes, yeah, is the queue. Um, twos, threes. Can you see those quantities? Mm -hmm. Helen wanting two. Um, we need three more people, apparently. Three more Don't to join us that. on the web and on the phone line. No more minute clocks. This is no more minute right. clocks. Let's do it. Uh, right, I'm going to do it. Something that we should never do. We're going to go to double figures. Going ninety nine pounds uh, for for every single one of you. It is our final strand of this showcase. Then we get to bring you the giant barot, which is nuts, and I hope we do have a big quantity of those. Dave, that's twenty-five pounds on split pay. Because it should, like, like Ross said, you know, on an ideal day. Yeah, Fran. Fortunately, you guys, not you particularly, but everyone's forced my hand. We are reverse price auction. That's how it works. Yeah. Exactly. You know, had we been the other way, you know, we'd have one of these, and then <coughs> I don't know, eighty-five of you driving the price up. But we're not. We're saying we need a hundred of you, and we're taking the price down. So we're now at £99, which is £24.75 on split pay. All you guys along the bottom of the screen are safe. You've got it. You own it. It is yours. But um, Love for those of you, you know, on the phone lines, we don't know who's going to be successful. Do you know what I've just got? And I know this is very decadent. I, and I know, um, you know, it's still an investment price point. But if you are in a position to do so, this is the strand that I would go for the rope. Oh, yeah. get like three Can you imagine yeah. three or four to create a beautiful navel skimming rope? How amazing would that be? It would, it would be amazing. And, and you know what? We'd have got our team to make one of those up had I known that we'd be going to this price today. Mm -hmm. But at 3, 4, 9, we were like, no, no, no. That's like, you know, no one's going to buy four of those. But you can today right now. Yeah. Because what if you... This is how it works. We've got Belinda who's bought two. Well, look, Gilly's Maker, same two. four. Patricia who's bought two. Maker who's bought four. Um, it is, the, the opportunity is there right now because the price is there. I can get it home for less than 25 pounds. Yeah. Well done. If you see your names um, on your screens right now, you have been successful. And I, I for one, am very jealous. Very, very, very jealous. Um, it goes off the bottom of the screen. We've still got people on the... He's in the queue, guys. Yeah, if you're in the queue, you need to make those confirmations. And um, by the way, we can't physically see all of you on those, uh, on those call screens. Um, a lot of multi-buyers, which basically means 50 people buying two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's all it is. We, we, sound, we said 100, it sounds like a lot, but it's not a lot. You know, we, we know we have a, a big reach here at Jewelry Maker. We have thousands of you tuning in, watching yep. this this morning. Um, and we're trying to bring you these incredible deals. Well, look, across three customers there, there's eight tied yeah. up with Helen, Elizabeth and, and Hampshire. If you make Which your confirmation. Which is almost 10% of the stock. Yeah. Just between four customers. Yeah, three. Three, yeah, you're right. Three customers. Um, so it's not going to hang around. Good luck. You, uh, New York, getting involved as well. Hello to you, Alla. Hello to you, Alison. Hello to you, Jennifer. Hampshire, you know what to do. These co the colour is so distinctive. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's reminiscent of the most expensive and rarest pearl on earth. And those are the pearls that no one's ever worn. 
They've never worn them wow. because they didn't defile them, they didn't drill them. And now you have the chance to have a whole strand of these in that wonderful drop shape with the, the incredible Ori. And that's the one thing that you wouldn't get from a Mellow Mellow Pearl because it's, uh, it's not a pearl in the sense of, it's not created of an acre, it's mm -hmm. created of a, a calcareous uh, concretion. So it has a yeah. flame, but it doesn't have an Ori in it. <coughs> so it doesn't have what you're getting here. It's almost an improvement. You're getting these different wonderful colors. Yeah, you don't have the same luster, do you? You don't, it's a different thing. That's why the finest pearls on earth are only measured by caraway, not mill size. Wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The final few of these, um, mm. there's 20. There's literally 20 left within the vault. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Again, they do come complete, um, sort of within the box itself, and obviously the toggle clasp. Um, personally, and I'll say it again, I know I've said it before, that would go in my stash. And I mean, just, I'm actually looking at it and I'm mad at myself. Why are we at £99 for that? You know, let me see the finish. Can I? Sorry, I'm just yep. going to step out of shot. I just want to see this. Like, you, you see that? If I, if I walk in, in to, to London and I see something like this, which is where are you going to see it? It's high jewellery showcase today. It's not the big quantities. And I see this incredible strand and I see these, sorry, Ollie, and I see these wonderful colours. I can't believe what we're doing. No, I can't either. And um, with that toggle clasp, which is very Tiffany, very Plum of Castle, and we're Beautiful. double figures, which yeah. is just ridiculous. And that's 25. why we've got so many multi buyers today. Yeah. So yeah, maybe going for that rope. Uh, Caroline, OMG, thank you so much, Dave and Elle. Uh, had to buy the girls uh, a strand each. Oh, wonderful. I know they'll appreciate and love them as much as I do pills. Our natures, or oh, treasures, I'm guessing. Yeah. Most beautiful treasures, they certainly are. I totally agree, especially these pearls, Caroline, as well. So, uh, Caroline, you've been with us uh, throughout this morning getting... Uh, th these acquisitions into your collection, joining so many of us around the world who've seen collectors as far as field as New York, and like I said, the length and breadth of the UK getting involved. Now, for me, anyway, I said to you at the start, you know, we talk about the rounds, talk about that, I said my favourite are Brock's. I love those wonderful, natural, organic shapes. I'm obsessed with Does this. Does this come like that? Yeah. Please open that up again on, on screen. I'm absolutely... Is this, that, honestly, if you walked into an office just off Bond Street right now, because of how rare these have become, because of what's taken place over the last three years, and you said, I want a large papaya uh, Baroque pearl. They might just say, we've got one. They'd open up a safe, and they'd bring out a box like this, is how it would happen, mm -hmm. and they'd open it up, and you're about to see what would be in there. I don't know if we should play this. That's incredible. There's purple, it's a purple flash papaya. And it's massive. So it comes within the box. Um, a single pearl. I don't think we should play this one. Please do, because I really want this. You can get it, Al. But I don't... Hey, look, it's just been a bit... It's been a bit of a strange morning. And this is something that I'm, I'm not prepared to just take a hit on. Because I know how rare that is. It's the largest purple flash Baroque pearl we've seen. No, okay, well, we're going to cut to a quick break. Yeah, okay, and we just have a discussion. And if we can't, we can't. We will bring it at a later date, maybe, but that's just crazy. It is, and it has been a strange morning, and that is a miracle. Oh, no. Everything is a miracle, I get it. They're all Mother Nature's treasures and whatever, but that is how that should be presented. Yeah, out of a safe, in an office, a single acquisition. And uh, it's been a strange morning. We've dropped the prices and everything. That shouldn't be... It shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't do it today. Fingers that. crossed that we can. And if you do love yeah, this piece as much as I do, this is how you'll buy. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I'm holding okay. my breath as well. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. We're going to do it. Um, 
That's the size of it. It's the largest purple flash. And do you know what? I had to take it off you for a second now, not because I don't trust you or anything, but I wanted to see it with my own eyes. <laughs> and, and before we even do it, then, if we are going to do it, let Al, Al have one. You know, let, let her acquire one because these... Please. Can you, you just do me a favour, Al? Yeah. I want you to hold it like that and I just want you to turn it. Sure. Because, OK, I'm calling it purple flash. It's, it's an understatement to this. The reason it's a miracle isn't just the sheer size of it, because it is huge. It is the biggest and largest Baroque we've had. <gasps> you can see that. But as this moves, there's greens, oh, there's wow. pinks, and there's a purple sash that runs across this pearl. You do it however you want, but I'm telling you now. It's special. It's a special pearl. Look at the colours that are going to dance. There's those greens. Yeah. I mean, that's nuts that you're getting the opportunity to own that. We saw one sell for $6,000 at Bonhams, one, and it wasn't that shape. There's blues. Yeah, there's blues, which is the rarest colour you'll ever find in a naturally coloured pearl. There's uh, pinks, there's this, purples, I love apricot this. apricot body colour. And I'm just going to go back to the Bonhams, because I, take size out of it. I know which piece I would prefer to own. Me too. OK, because there's this, which as a curiosity is interesting. It's the same pearl, it's a natural colour apricot pearl, sold for $5,600. OK? And they talk about, you know, it's got this rainbow orient which hovers over its exotic yellowish orange or apricot colour. But it doesn't lend itself to jewellery. No. It's a curiosity. It's a specimen. Then you look at what we've uh, managed to attain here with the colours dancing across it. Gosh, that is absolute. Look at this. The, uh, just the folds. Yeah. Look. Wow. I mean, we are in that category today. I told you it was a high jewellery showcase, and this is that. Um, just so you know, you do have a half drill hole for you to attach your bale. Perfect. Um, all you basically need to do is uh, acquire the bale. I'll tell you right now, it's a single pearl. This is my favourite pearl I've ever seen. It's beautiful. It's actually it's the, the pearl I won't forget. You know, just this one pearl has such character, has such life, size. It's impressive. And it comes within... Should do. It absolutely yeah. should do. It really should. And I kind of feel about this pearl, like, uh, you know, the Vietnamese and the Chinese feel about the Mellow Mellow pearl. I almost feel like we shouldn't be wearing it. It's that special. But I understand it's that you may want to. Absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to... It's been such a strange morning. Um, Ross, we're going to bring in the graphics, and then I'm going to ask you to come in at the pre-agreed price, the price that we should be, the price that I am not prepared to move from, and we're just going to give the... We're going to give the opportunity. It's all I can do. I'm not going lower on this, because, yes, everything's irreplaceable at the price, but they may never find some of this again. That's interesting. It's only the rarest pearls on earth that are measured in carat weights. They've, 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 they've been sold to us as 23 carats. It is um, a 13 by 20 or 14 by 25 mil baroque. But they've weighed it, and it's a 23 carat pearl. That, yeah. In, 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 in they my, never do that. They never in my do 10 it. years, never seen a pearl measured in carat weight here. Right. And, and by the way, because it is a, 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 a nacre uh, a pearl origin, it shouldn't be measured in carat weights, but it's interesting that it has been. Wow. We're going to give you one price on this. There is no drama, there's no pantomime, we're not doing anything. If there's 100 of you that want to own this, you're going to get an absolute steal but I refuse to go lower. I really do. So would you go into that price, Ross? It, it, oh, my goodness me. Right, and you might think, oh, OK, but, you know, we've gone lower on everything today. It's £74.75 on split pin. I tell you right now, I know I wouldn't replace that pearl with a zero on the end of that price. Mm -mm. I couldn't. So that's impossible. That's off the table. I can't do it. And then even, I'm going to go even further. I don't think they'll find another pearl like that. They won't find another pearl like that. Do you, know, do you know how perfect that pearl is? It's beautiful. Yeah, we talk about the 1% and this and that. That is a miracle. Yeah. The sheer size of it, the myriad of rainbow orient colours, it's an auction house pearl. Yeah. And I'm offering it to you right now. It's if there's 100 of you that want it, I didn't want to play this. I didn't want to bring it to you. It's been a weird morning, like I said. Ross and Wayne said, no, we need to. We've shown it. Our team have made up that pendant. We have to offer it. I said, okay, but I'm not playing the game today. The deal's that good that I refuse. I refuse to, 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 to play the game. 
if there's a hundred of you that want to own this, if there is, I'm offering it you at a deal that is impossible to be beaten on. But I'm not going to take anything away from that. I'm not because it's. There's a, there's a moment where you devalue something this, this rare, this exciting. Yeah. It's the find of a lifetime for the people that found this in their profile. It really is. That's how special it is. Well, 40% of those of you that have been successful. Well done. And do you know what? We'll bring it back another day. That's fine. I'm, not gonna, yeah, ever, yeah. I'm, no, I'm never going to increase the price. But I am saying to you right now, for something that magical, mm -hmm. that much of a miracle, I'm not messing around. I can't, I can't see myself do it. Okay, I can't. That's a deal. I'm happy at £299. I'm absolutely happy, the quality of that pearl. You've just seen one which I think is less beautiful, still beautiful, but not as beautiful, on Bonhams for five grand. Uh, you know, all right, give us a minute clock then. I'm not, I'm not going to ask for a hundred of you to come on the phone lines, because to me, I'd rather not do this. <laughs> I'm going to take, take something off this price, and I shouldn't, but you're here for it. I understand 40% has already found a home. It comes in that wonderful presentation box. I'm going to do something that I shouldn't do. It is actually sacrilege, and I feel guilty already even just entertaining the idea. You've got 40 seconds to see what I'm about to do on this. And I shouldn't move. No, that's, I mean, yeah. Well, they may never find pearls like this again. That it's is... that perfect. It's that huge. It's got that many beautiful colours. It's yeah. the first time we've ever used, as a description, a carrot weight. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is how it came into us. It was weighed. Um, you're talking about a 25 mil pearl. The, the most perfect Brock I've ever seen with every colour you could, one could ever imagine to own. Oh, wow. Six seconds, the clock is ticking, and there are so many of you uh, uh, there. If, if I get the chance, I'm joining you on this. I've decided immediately. what I'm going to do. I've actually decided what I'm going to do. And for a moment, I was like, I'm going to take... 20 pounds off or whatever I'm not now. And it's, can I do something, and I shouldn't do this, give me another minute clock, please. I am going to do it. I'm going to do something ridiculous for you. And I want you to understand that I shouldn't do this. I cannot be in my right mind right now. So Tracy who's multiple, Sarah, Sarah who's multiple, uh, Gloucestershire, Lancashire, County Durham, Cambridgeshire, South Yorkshire, Essex, Surrey, Devon, West Midlands, Cambridgeshire, Dorset, Tyne and Weir, Perth and Kinross, New York. It's about to get wild. We'll never find more pearls like this. I've never seen no. them. No. We did uh, one strand before, it was thousands of pounds, and it was incredible. But to have one large, impressive pearl like this... <coughs> Excuse it's, me. It's, like I said, for the pearl farm, it's like I'm, a find of a lifetime. It's my final auction with you guys. We're going to go out on a high. I'm absolutely obsessed with this piece. So much so, Dave, do I have permission to go and ask what's going to happen of this pendant? Literally, I'll oh, buy yeah. this. Oh, yeah, do it. It might be your only chance of getting it. Yeah, probably. Look at the. That's the what I'm thinking. We've got someone who's just bought four of these in South Yorkshire. Yeah, why You're wouldn't extremely you? Smart. And, oh, and my. Because of that, I'm going to half the price. Get half the price. Look from here. Look. We are. I mean, we shouldn't. We're going to do it. I've just had a collector acquire four of these. Awesome. And I'm saying to you right now, because of you, I was going to take a hundred pounds off, but now I'm halving the price. That's absolutely amazing. So you can get this home today for a staggering. If you quit. What? Hang on. Yeah. Thirty-seven pounds and twenty-five pence. Yeah. And I can't believe I've done that. I really can't. You know what, you can go on to, I'm going to say something that you might, you might like, you might not like, Dave, but you can go on to Monica Veneda, buy one of their Brock pills, which are bleached, by the way, lovely, absolutely beautiful, uh, in uh, gold-plated sterling silver, and they're about £250. Yeah. By it's the way, like I said to you before, coloured. like I said to every single one of you before, I said, whatever doesn't sell today, don't worry, I'm going to bring it back at the, the same price. I'm not going to bring it back at this price. If I bring this back, it'll be the correct price, 299 Yeah. This is just one of those weird days, weird, wonderful days for you guys <laughs> tuning in. Uh, we had a collector in Yorkshire who bought four of these, and I've just, uh, on the whim, I just said, let's just half the price, give you the opportunity. Well done. That's this how comes we back. Have... If there's 10 left, if there's five <coughs> left, if there's 30 left, I don't care, we are coming back at 299 because it's the right price. Absolutely obsessed with this. It's, look, look, have you ever seen green? A green and blue flash. Blue and purple. And the body of apricot, the oranges, and the sheer size. So beautiful. Um, half the stock has gone already. The fact that you can get this home for £37.25, I find absolutely amazing. I do too.
Um, absolutely amazing. And again, just literally secure a bail. If you don't know how to do that, then you know, just get, get in touch with our help team, our guest designers. They're a fountain of knowledge and they'll educate you on how to do it. Literally, even I can do it. It's basically secure a bail of choice, much like our in-house designers have done. Showcase the quality. How of many have bail. left? How many have you got left? 50. All right. Um, I'm not even going to ask for a clock. I'm going to do something before I leave. I'm leaving right now. Um, you don't have to. No, I'm going to. I'm going to. Wayne's saying don't. Sorry, Wayne. Um, You're saying don't do it. <laughs> Phone lines are off the hook, he says. Right. Give me a minute clock. This is my final thing, and I'm out. 58 seconds you've got to get on the phone lines. These are all going right now. And we're like, we know that. Wayne's just shouted, phone lines are off the hook. Um, and then he called you naughty. Yeah, that's me. Um, <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. Look at that. Have you ever seen luster like this? You'll never see it again. No. You'll never see anything like this again, I don't believe. You know, we've been told that by our vendors. Maybe they're certainly not at the price we're about to do. That luster is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that certainly Charlie mentions the fact that lust is the most important of the five virtues. Yeah. Uh, prime example, really, right on our screens right now. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it is, like Bonham said, it's hovering above the surface, isn't it? Oh. It's like a mirage. That's so beautiful. I can't believe you're going even lower. Um, a huge, huge size. Comes again present uh, in the velvet box itself. Wow. What an acquisition. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say a massive thank you to everyone for joining us this morning. I don't want to keep, take too much of anyone else's time. £99. Nine. £99. Even Just took £200 off where we should be. Our lovely made a little... Mm. Yeah. It's kitchen, £200 lower than where we should be. Um, mm. well, absolutely. £200 lower. Oh. Now, I do know that the only chance of me getting hold of this is actually... Uh, Stealing that leave. pendant. Yeah, basically. Stealing yeah. it. Just taking it and leaving. That's it. That's your only chance. Um, £24.75 on split pay. Um, and again, I want to say a massive thank you to you guys that have joined us this morning. It's been extremely busy. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, I got to talk to you about these incredible pearls, which might be the last time I get to do that uh, with this quality. Oh, my goodness me. Well done. Well done. Well done. Congratulations, Kath, Heather. Oh, yes, Tracy. Look how many Tracy's bought of these. Well yeah. done to you. I don't blame you. This is the thing. Caroline's multi-bought, Toyin's multi-bought, Heather's multi-bought, Nicolette's multi-bought. That 100 quantity is not... Well, if they... Right. Tracy's got six now, but yeah. I'm just saying, if that doesn't disappear, then they, I, I don't know what's going on. I can't believe that there would ever be any of these left at that no. price. It's so ridiculous. So we're at £99. Look, ah. Oh. Patricia's just bought two of these as well. I don't Nicolette, blame you. You've got two. Congratulations, Kat. Teresa. You've got two. Uh, Heather, you've got two. Well done. Marion. Uh, oh, goodness me. And you are off the bottom of the call screens. Um, we can see you there, Patricia, um, waiting to be answered. Anne in Aberdeenshire. Good luck to you, Lorraine. Good luck to you, Erica. Good luck to you, South Yorkshire. Good luck to you, Nigel. Good luck to you, Caroline. Good luck to you, Alison. Cheshire, Kath, and sorry. Good luck, Lola, if you want those three. You have to check them out because they will sell out. Absolutely. It's, sure. it's busy. You're going to be in a queue. It is a free phone number. I would always recommend using the app if you can. Using the app or the web just gives you a better chance of beating that queue. And there's a lot of you in the queue right now. And a lot of you that are getting answered are just snatching two or three of these. Why uh, wouldn't you? I'm so jealous. But you can get three of these for the price one of them should have been. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it, that's why it would be ridiculous not to, if you have the funds. You know, if it's never want to um, overspend your budget. But hello, Caroline. Saying what a morning. I don't even care what the price is anymore. I'll never be able to get them at these prices again. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, exactly. Th that's my thought right now. That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that what a morning. I don't even care about the price anymore. I've just took it to 99 quid, and I know I can't get them again. So well done, Caroline. And then when you step out the studio, that you have that moment of realisation. Yeah. yeah. When I just get a rollicking from Wayne. But it's fine. It's uh, all you guys that have messaged in, all you guys that have managed to get this, those of you that have multi-bought. That's why we do what we do. Yeah. Well done. Well done, well done. Um, still to come, we've got clearance and we've got an amazing, amazing masterclass. Um, we're just going to cut to a very short break, but not before we say a huge thank no, you. Thank you, It's always a lot of fun to spend the, the, some time with you and with you guys as well. Absolutely love it, and it won't be long before I'm back 
with you guys. I'm definitely back with you next Tuesday, maybe Wednesday as well. Just keep your eyes peeled. We've got something really exciting for you. Oh, we're looking forward to that. Don't go anywhere, though, because uh, your masterclass is coming up. And who wants clearance deals? Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Friday at 11 a.m. we have a one-off spectacular show for you guys featuring one of the finest emeralds that you can find on this planet. That is that of Panchia Emerald, the emerald that is gaining so much traction in the marketplace right now, but more importantly, the emerald that is gaining so much in terms of price. What I aim to do for you guys next Friday is bring you one of the most affordable ways of securing Panchia Emeralds on our planet right now. So come and join me this Friday at 11 a.m. for a super show of Panchia Emeralds. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, I'm excited about that. I was just saying, I was listening to Toby then. Um, I experienced Panchia emeralds for the first time when I went over to Tucson at the beginning of the year. Mm. And 
How do I word it? Not in the same way that I d just did, but um, more broadcast friendly. They uh, massively put Colombian emeralds in the shadow. They did. Oh, I tell you what, they're amazing. Um, so that's this coming Friday. But right now, ah, she's back. It's Gemma Crow. I came in for the last half hour. Yeah, you did. To watch, yeah. Did you see those pearls? They're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Aren't they? Yeah. I think they're gonna have to pat me down, I think, <laughs> on the way out. It's a beautiful piece. Oh, amazing. It's it's gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Well done to anybody that managed to get hold of. Um, and can you hear me? Ah. Um, any of uh, any of those beautiful papaya pills, what an amazing acquisition. Now, shall we bring you a little bit of clearance? I'm going to start with some gemstones. The candles are coming up as well, which smell beautiful, by the way, these. Um, I'm going to start with petersite. It's a full 360 strand. Petersite, also known uh, um, a, a gemstone to help you go through turbulent times. And actually, when you get close to this beautiful gemstone, which is completely and utterly natural, you can appreciate exactly why. Because you have this wonderful chaotic chatoyancy. If you can imagine and visualize like a satellite image, of a storm, that's what it looks like. Um, okay, 20 minutes of madness, says, uh, says Ross. Pardon? Stop, what? Is, is that Wayne? Dad, did you just say Wayne? <laughs> is, that, is that Wayne? Hang on, I've got to do my Wayne impression. It's a pound. <laughs> How, no, 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 Peter Sight, it shouldn't be a pound. <laughs> says I know it shouldn't. All the minuses on the dashboard then. That's coming from the sales manager, by the way. <laughs> Peter Sight. I remember launching Peter Sight at Jewelry Maker. Do you remember how expensive it was? Yeah. 69.99, Ollie's saying in my ear. I bought some cabochons. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. But It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Wayne, what did you say? He's turned down a parcel of Peter Sight because it was too expensive. Yeah, it is expensive. And now, right now, a pound. Guess what? It's gone. Do 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 do. <laughs> you just yeah yeah. Just chuck him in, Paul. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't make you feel uncomfortable then. <laughs> He's trying to be all subtle in the in the wings. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's Paul there. Uh, let's do. Oh, Calcedony in your two mil. Sorry, Paul. Uh, here we go. Beautiful Cal Sedney. Love it. Oh, this alongside. What strand am I thinking of this Amazonite. morning? Amazonite. I thought, as soon as you picked them up, I thought they'd be gorgeous to space out those Amazonites. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? they? Are very pretty. They are. Lowest ever price, about to appear on your screens. Love Cal Sedney. Again, you get this really beautiful, it, it kind of plays with light in a very similar yeah. way to uh, the yeah, Amazonite like that we said. Waxy, sort of opaly yeah. way. Never been lower than three pounds ninety nine. Well, if we say clearance, we absolutely mean it. We're not going to stop here. Sixty second clock on your screens. Think beady beads. Think uh, channel setting. Think bubble stars. Oh. Uh, crochet. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> Think looms. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't really see beading. Yeah. yeah. Think Gemma Crow earrings. Yes. You know, literally where you frame them round a, round a, 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 a kind of bale or something yeah, like that. Yeah, a, a ring like we had in the kits earlier. Like, like the memory frames. wire. Memory wire, yeah, stretchy bracelets, spacer beads. That, I mean, they're so versatile, aren't they, that size? <laughs> There's an alarm going off in the gallery, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I can. There is actually an alarm going off. Because the prices are crazy. <laughs> Uh, I mean that is I love I love the technology in our gallery now. It gives it gives our producers alarms. <laughs> One pounds and ninety nine pence only. Unbelievable! How many did we have then? Fifty five of these tassels, tassels, tassels. Oh, absolutely. I shouted then a bit loud. Sorry, <laughs> got really excited about the idea of blue calcedony tassels and macrame. 
gorgeous and tiny macrame. What's that technique that you've demonstrated, Gemma, where you've got the two bits of leather and you kind of wrap them round? Yeah, the channel setting, but with leather. That's, Love that. Yeah. Did you say that already? Channel, yeah, I said channel setting, but I did mean wires. Okay, that's yeah. all right. Then. Channel that's setting all right. with leather and cord. One ninety nine. Yeah. Um, on the verge of selling out, I'm going to bring you next... Mm. Tubes! Lapis lazuli tubes, no less. Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're beautiful. Now, I'll show you the should-be price. I, I genuinely don't remember the last time I saw lapis lazuli in a tube of this size. I don't think I've ever seen them. They're no! They're gorgeous. And they've got, they've got really nice drill holes. There's 30 of these available. The alarm's going again. Should have been £5.99. What actually is that alarm? Is it is it? it we're testing alarms. We're opening friend. Uh, opening friends. Sorry, we're making friends. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we are making friends. That's uh, it's all that. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Should we do the magnesite? Big junky monkeys. Oh yeah. Junky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that, Gem. Lovely, isn't it? That's gorgeous. I mean, those tubes spacing those out would be fantastic. It's not Sleeping Beauty turquoise. No, not at all. It's Magnesite. A stunning gemstone in its own individual right. It is. Should be. No, you didn't just say that, Ross, did you? Should be. They're big. They're whoppers. Do you want to see another price that you're not going to pay, says Ross? Lowest ever price tag for 510 carats of Magnesite. Here's a gemstone that only yesterday, during our viewers' choice, literally sold out. Mm. Not £4.99. We've got 100 of these. Think gurus to your malas. Think tops of your tassels. They're just, that's amazing. I love it. I love, I love those. I've, I've got a couple of strands of those. And I would definitely be buying more. Look lovely with your price. outfit today. Yeah. Already at lowest ever price. We're going lower, though. Um, amazing. Bonkers, says Wayne. Yeah, put a big... Look, I've got coral Ow. nail varnish. Imagine that with a little... Yeah, beautiful. little pop of coral, maybe your Heshies. Um, £3.49 pence only for 510 carats. Uh, yeah, we're literally at 0 point naught naught six per carat. <laughs> which is crazy. It is a gemstone. Yeah, okay, it's more plentiful than that of your turquoise, but it's still beautiful. You can't it's deny that. Gorgeous. Yeah, I mean I love magnesite. And if you, you know, if you're buying turquoise at that size and that carat weight, you'd be <coughs> thousands. A couple of zeros on the end of that. You'd be price. talking thousands, but you've got the look of it there, you mm -hmm. know. I went over there was a there was a um a Sleeping Beauty stand. We've got I think our um our sister channel have actually shown a VT with them. Not going quick enough. Oh, Can you I'll put my name? Down? Yeah, I'll have just, some as yeah, well. I'll take the rest. Just let's move on. Oh. We're already at minus, but we're going to go minus minus apparently. Um, yeah, I was chatting to a really lovely guy uh, who 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 is from Germany, and he specialised uh, in Sleeping Beauty turquoise over in Tucson. I'm not saying this is Sleeping Beauty turquoise, but it looks remarkably similar. And he he had a bowl, a little bowl um, of individual spheres of Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and I held one up, had matrix patterning like this. And I said, yeah, out of curiosity, how much is this one? It was thousands mm. for one individual turquoise. Can you imagine the price of this? What's that? Two ninety nine. Goodness <laughs> me, that's amazing. What would you do with these then, Gem? Well, I, I put them in like multi gem strands, and I often team them with woods and um, mm. unusual shapes and colours, or made components like copper beads or nice, you know, because they, they're lovely and they add such a lovely weight as well as that gorgeous pop of colour. So, yeah, I would definitely put them with Mookite. That's, that's the sort of colour palette I love. That pop of blue with all your earthy tones is gorgeous. Nice. Mm. I like the idea of it with, like, a tangerine. Yeah. With, like, a tangerine or a coral yeah. in colour. Yeah. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. Um, there was a hundred of these. They're flying, and lots of you are choosing to get multiples. Why wouldn't you at the end of the day? Um, you've got your masterclass coming up at 12 o'clock today and some beautiful designs and demonstrations, of course. Um, leaving that with you, good luck. Garnet saucers. Oh, look at that. So pretty. 
They're so pretty, aren't they? They're beautiful. Price, do you want to see a price tag you're not going to pay? There are 70 of these available. <coughs> this with some pearls. We had some lovely white pearls at the beginning of the show. Mm. What? Four ninety nine. dollars <laughs> It's hard to believe. There's no... That, that shape really enhances the sparkle, doesn't Every it? gem. It's absolutely Every beautiful. single gem. That I prefer these to rondelles. Isn't my favourite? Me too. And me. The space of shape. That is gorgeous. Imagine that with the jade, with jade eye or with um, oh. the Amazonite from earlier. Oh. Like, that would look gorgeous, spacing those out. We're not even stopping there, Gem. It's, this is crazy. I shouldn't have come back in. I should have stayed out with my app. <coughs> <coughs> That's, all, of, of course, a brand new note. I launched the saucer cut alongside Claire McDonald. Yesterday, she was wearing that black spinel stretchy. Mm. I launched it, and I remember both of us went nuts for them. We made, she made that stretchy bracelet on air. And it was, I'm sure it was £14, but £2.99. They're like a little, they're almost, they're not a, a rondelle, they're not a bicone, they're that in between, but they complement every single gemstone, don't they? They do. They do. They're, they're perfect. That's nuts. It is nuts. £2.99 is ridiculous. Do you, ever, do you ever think that we make it difficult for ourselves? Yeah. Uh, Wayne's saying, oh, yeah, I couldn't buy them for that price, so why are we doing it? Oh, birthday. Mm. I did see Carl yesterday. Carl's our warehouse manager. He gets very stressed this time of year. <laughs> and it's nothing to do with the tax man. <laughs> nothing to do with the tax man. It's all to do with jewelry maker birthday because he needs, it's gone. He needs those locations. So I did see him yesterday. So, oh, this is stunning. That's cute. Is this Peruvian? I knew it. I knew it because we were speaking about it earlier on. Yeah. Look at that. Natural. We've got 80 of these um, opportunities. Ah, this is fun. That's just so summer, isn't it? It's, um, I remember that. I, know, I remember we used to describe this, this strand and this colour of opal as like an instant tan strand. It's like it it's instantly true, actually. makes you look browner. It's true because yeah. I'm like literally a natural shade of blue. <laughs> um, Yes, and it does complement yeah. my it, it, it skin tone. Yeah, That's be. natural Peruvian opal. Um, a very rare anomaly of nature, of course. This, uh, I actually asked Steve Bennett, our, our, our founder, um, you know, what is it exactly that transforms opal to these natural, beautiful pastel palettes? And he said, no gemologist can actually answer that question. It's an anomaly. Something oh, was right. present um, to transform it to, this, uh, to green or pink or blue. We're not even stopping here. When we say clearance, we absolutely mean it right now Carl T is doing a little happy dance <laughs> yes our, man, our warehouse manager um, we need those locations within the vault of course birthday is has been in, in discussion for the past year it's the biggest week of, uh, of the jewelry maker calendar three pounds and 99 pence for natural Peruvian opal how many did we have oh uh, they're flying no, it's not been dyed. You can dye opal, you can. Mm. But this hasn't been dyed. Yeah. There's that little light bulb moment in the centre that we were discussing yeah, this morning. That's it. It's like a, it is like, like a candle. When a candle burns down and you get the glow from inside, it's like that. And it's like a liquid wax. Yeah, see, that's gorgeous together. Hang on. Mm. What, about, what about some lovely pearls? <coughs> Uh, <coughs> is everybody okay? Oh my goodness, three pounds and ninety-nine pence only. I just heard a crash and a bang behind the scenes. Um, oh, please, can we do the only thing I have? Ruby? Candles? Candles? I love these candles, and I know Gemma will be... They're so, have you spelt them? Yes, I, I have. I particularly like this one. Yeah, the Amazonite. The Amazonite. I'm, I'm terrible at describing fragrances, but um, really, we need, we need, we need, we need um, Wayne. Do you know Wayne chose these fragrances? It's so <laughs> soft, that one. It's just really relaxing. That one. I, think, I, I think we love Wayne just a little bit more for the fact that he sat there with these samples going. I just want... Hmm? So, um, what... Here we go. So, with the rose... 
Um, rose quartz in the center there, as you can see with your lovely Buddha heads, there is, of course, the combination of your rose and black pepper. Absolutely beautiful. We were discussing, you know what? It, life gets crazy from time to time, doesn't it? Yes. And I'm the first one to admit that I don't take much time to just sort of switch off. No. And chill. No. And I bet you're exactly the no, same. Yeah, I'm always busy. Always, it's always. Busy doing nice things, but busy. But busy yeah. doing something. Yeah. Imagine one of these just lit in, uh, you know, have a nice soak in the bath, mm. get the bubbles on, um, fill your bathroom with the scent of rose and black pepper. Um, and then you've got your beautiful butter face. Now, um, these haven't long been launched. And we're bringing them to you in the warehouse clearance. But I can imagine they are call, uh, uh, you know, taking up quite a lot of space, yeah. Seven pounds and 99 pence. First time they've been on your screens individually. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, and we're not even stopping there. Six ninety nine. Yeah, that's, really that's a little plant good. pot after you've used a candle. Yes, but I thought it'd be lovely with a, with a plant <coughs> in there. That's the first thing I thought, because I've seen plant pots like this. Yeah, me too. Uh, succulents, you get your yeah. succulents, can't you? But lovely thing that it's the soy wax as well, so there's no fumes, there's no. going to be no waste, there's no another wax to scoop sort of out scoop at the out end either. So, you know. Buddhas are expensive, says Ollie. He was in the garden centre yesterday. Yeah, they are, they are. The fact these are soy candles, I've got caught out with this recently, actually, because... Um, I've bought a, 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 I bought a certain type of candle that might come from the USA. You know mm. the ones I'm on about? Yes. Lovely smell. Mm. Not soy. No. So they may, they've literally, I've got a big black soot mark up the side of my wall now. Oh, that's... Not ideal, is it? No. Not soy candles. And I thought, I just assumed they would be. £4.99 pence only to get hold of the rose. And, of course, you've got your lovely collection of rose quartz in the mm. centre that then you could maybe go on to... I don't know, do little 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 uh, little gifts. You could put them in little Hessian bags yeah. or something like that. Yeah, that'd be lovely. What do you mean you have something here? Lovely gifts. For the pot alone at four ninety nine. Mm. I I want I want these. Mm. They're lovely. They smell amazing. Mm. Three ninety nine. It's so good, isn't it? Three pounds and ninety-nine pence. First time they've ever been on their own. Have you got a favourite? Yeah, I think it's that amethyst. Oh, I do like that. I do like the amethyst too. <laughs> it's hard to choose because they're all so distinctive. Oh, I don't know. They're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. It's just so subtle that one. Every day I have a candle lit in my house. Do you? <laughs> Wayne doesn't want to reduce these because, do you know why? They're his little babies. Wayne, but the problem is they're taking up too much space in the vault. Oh. Nobody's paying £3.99. Nobody is paying that price tag. Have you got a favourite, Adam? Have you smelt these? <coughs> Have a little sniff. Have a little sniff. <laughs> Without showering yourself in gemstones. Oh, now smell this one. There's the ro there's the rose quartz. Have you got a favourite? The rose quartz. Yeah, I know they're all lovely, aren't they? It's hard to choose. Not even stopping. Well, goodness me, we're at three pound forty nine. This is you said about gifts. This is perfect. Even if you start thinking about what, uh. Birthdays, just because, presents, Easter. Christmas, Easter, Father's Day, Father's Day. <coughs> yeah, every single day when I get home, there's I'll, I'll light a candle. Yeah, I've got pets. I've got pets. There's always oh, a yeah. And I've got one particularly pongy pet. <laughs> pongy so pet. I have to fill the house with, <laughs> with, 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 with wonderful scents like this. And um, we are going to match the price across the other of the candles, which are. Um, your Amazonite that you can see there. The Rose Quartz is about to sell out. We'll do the Amazonite next. Now, this is, I don't know, it's lov it is lovely, this one. It does smell amazing. This is lavender, lavender. and velveteer. Ooh. Oh, no. Vete vete Vel ve ve vetiva. Vetiva. What's vetiva? I don't know, but I like it. It, smell it sounds lovely. And it smells lovely. Mmm. Mmm. Must be sort of peppery, because it's... 
go quick. Can someone Google what, what? Something to do with a plant? Is it a type of lavender? <coughs> I want to say it's a type of lavender. I think we did, I think, what is it? <laughs> do what? Never almost saw that anyway. Oh. Vetiver. It smells beautiful. I agree. This is up there. Oh, that. Oh, it's that. Like a grass. Like a grass. I thought it smelled, it smelled like, um, you know, like herbs and sages. It smells like summer. Yeah, so that's why I liked it. Yeah, yeah, it literally smells like summer. That's vetiver, by the way, for those people that like myself that didn't know. Oh, okay. There we go. It's beautiful and it smells lovely. It smells really lovely. What do we do? It's meant to... It's what? Nerve circulation and stomach pain. <coughs> uh, the root is used for medicines. Oh, okay. There we are. It smells... B it smells ever so nice. Mm. I think we're going <laughs> to... We're going to sell out of these, Jim. We're going to miss yeah, out. We're not going to get these, are we? Oh, it's here me looking forward to a nice soak in the bath and, and a nice uh, scented candle. Now, are we doing the amethyst? Last of the... Uh, last... You know the price tag. You get a little cluster of your loose stones. How many do I have of these? 88 of these available. They haven't been available on their own. Um, they were actually in, uh, in, in a kit, in a kit originally. Um, but quite literally, they're taking too much um, space in the, in, the, in the vault now. So I bet you, Wayne, our, our warehouse team love you. Because they get, they get, they they clear it all out. They get it all sorted, and then you just fill it all up again. We love him for that reason, though, don't yeah, we? Yeah. For that very reason, I like this one. I really like the smell of this one. <coughs> <coughs> um, in terms of description, sorry, it doesn't say it on there uh, on your graphics. It's what's the? It doesn't say it on there. Looking for the scent, mm. or is it just essential oil? It's, it's lovely. I don't know how to describe it. Like I said, my sense of smell is pretty terrible. But they are... They are beautiful, the smell. Quite floral again. Again, yeah, quite floral, but not too, not overly so. It's not like, you know... You know, some candles can sort of smell like... Uh, um, it sort of smells clean, like soap. Very clean, yeah. It's really beautiful. Yeah, that's a great it smells description. Like, it smells like banana soap. Oh, it's nice. Don't go anywhere, because coming up, we've got more clearance deals after the demonstration. Awesome kits. Your masterclass is after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 
If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Friday at 11 a.m. we have a one-off spectacular show for you guys featuring one of the finest emeralds that you can find on this planet. That is that of Panchia Emerald, the emerald that is gaining so much traction in the marketplace right now, but more importantly, the emerald that is gaining so much in terms of price. What I aim to do for you guys next Friday is bring you one of the most affordable ways of securing Panchia Emeralds on our planet right now. So come and join me this Friday at 11 a.m. for a super show of Panchia Emerald. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, jewelry makers. I mean, take a little look at these beautiful pieces. They're so beautiful in their simplicity, Jem. Yeah, they're just very contemporary, aren't they? Simple, repeated shapes. Oh. Lots of like opportunities for negative space, beautiful gemstones. Absolutely. What do you mean by negative space? Because that's a word that you've used twice now. Yeah, so it's, it's those open areas that, that where you sort of um, make, up the, you make up the space yourself. You know, that, that empty space adds to the design and sometimes it can emphasize another space yeah totally i love that have you done the same on that on that mookite at the yeah. end that's beautiful yeah um yeah. look at that just, yeah it's just very contemporary isn't it very wearable and uh, you know really really lovely amazing that's so gorgeous. And of course, each of these components across each of the kits, we're bringing you basically the same components, but in different gemstones. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll load the graphics in a few moments' time. But um, they are all sterling silver. So they come with sterling silver, the infinity chain. Um, in fact, let me just show you the first one. Apologies for reaching off uh, across, uh, across you then. So you've got a metre long length of the sterling yeah. silver infinity chain. Yeah. So That's each of the kits does, uh, comes with this. Yeah, what's lovely about this is it passes through the holes in the gemstones. So the gemstones have got deliberately larger drill holes so that you can create this particular type of design. Yeah, love that. Comes with bezel strip, which is sterling silver. Sterling silver, yeah. Comes with three sterling silver bales. Yeah, which, which to, be, to be honest, I didn't find I needed because the gemstones held the chain so well. I didn't need them, so I got those for other projects. Which is brilliant and then also comes with these amazing let me put it that way these absolutely beautiful mookite mm. triangles yeah. um which i absolutely love and i know this They're is gorgeous. this is one of your favorite kits yeah this is this was commissioned um and, and put together this design was put together um, six seven months ago and it's taken this long the, this show has been pushed and pushed so it's taken this long to get these 
So you've spec these kits? Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Caroline, yeah. Love it. Well, I tell you what, there's your uh, price tag. Again, you can pre-order um, on all of your different gemstones as well. Um, take it away, Gem. Any oh. questions, feel free to message us live in the studio. Okay, so the technique I'm going to use um, to, to frame, I'm going to work with the Amazonite, these gorgeous triangles. I just, I, mookite. Mookite, sorry. Amazonite on a brain today. I'm going to work with these mookites. And just, they're all so gorgeous. Yeah. So I was lucky enough to get two strands, all very different. I mean... This, this one is just so Yeah, gorgeous. look at that. It's so beautiful, isn't it, all those colours? So I'm going to show you the technique, and it's the same across all of the designs. So you can create these. I'm going to show you how to create these, these sort of bezel frames. Um, they're not going to secure the gemstone. They're literally going to frame them. So you can make them bigger, smaller. Um, you can stack them up. You know, you, there's all sorts you can do. But I'll just show you how I've gone through this process. And I remember you said at the beginning. Sorry to interrupt, but um, at the beginning of the show, we we're talking about the same with your ram brilliant cuts. You can yeah. use this. Yes, you can use with this. those stones. So this this bezel strip is lovely. It's, it's this great width, so it's perfect for these these gemstones. It's a great width for these. Um, even if you wanted to use it as a traditional bezel, mm. um, where you you know you then push the bezel over the gemstone to hold it. So you could use it for that. But this, you know, you can chop this down to whatever width you want. So if you wanted to use it on those rubies, you absolutely could Perfect. just chop it down. It would go a very long way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to use um, a pencil. Now, I, I usually use a retractable pencil for making my marks because I can get a nice um, precision. Um, and you could, you could use a, a ruler as well to help you if you want to. But what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to create a frame that sits quite snugly around my... Um, my gemstone so the first thing i'm going to do is line up the side of my um, gemstone with the on the bezel wire and i want the top here to just go past the tip of my gemstone okay now this end is where i've got the drill hole so this is going to be the top for me okay and then i'm going to take my pencil and i'm just going to make a little mark on the inside i don't know if you you saw that from the angle but if i try it from this angle as well so it's just sort of making sure that that is in the right place and just make a little mark where the bend's going to be. Okay, now instead of making the next mark, I will bend this first because when you bend the wire that, or this bezel strip, you um, use up a bit of the length by bending it. It's only a couple of millimetres um, or a millimetre or so, but you don't want to... Um, if you do all your measurements first, then bend, you're going to lose some length and it won't fit around your gem. So I'm going to put this first bend in. So I've got flat jaw pliers here, and I'm doing that so that I've got a nice straight edge to bend my bezel wire tightly up against. So from here, I'm going to really push. I'm holding quite firmly down onto this bezel, <coughs> and I'm going to push very firmly up, so really pushing against my pliers to get that nice, sharp mm. angle on my wire. Okay? And then I'm going to bring that back to my gemstone and adjust the angle and pull it round. But can you see how that's already taken down a little bit of the length, which is why you always leave a tiny bit extra at the top. Okay, oh, sorry, I'm covering it. So a tiny bit extra there left at the top. Yeah. So that when I do bend this around the corner, if I lose a little bit of that length, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so then I'm going to keep that snugly pushed up against that corner there. So it's nice, nice and taut against the corner. And I'm going to take my pencil again and just draw against the line, the tip of the, of the gemstone, so that I've got a mark in there. Okay, then remove it, and I'm going to put my jaws of my pliers just with the mark just slightly on the inside of the jaw of the plier, and then again, pushing really firmly with my finger against the bezel strip to make that sharp, nice sharp bend. So now I'm going to pop that back onto my, onto my gemstone and check that that's a nice snug fit, like that. Okay, and that's, that's looking like it's fitting really well. So now I'm going to take my pencil again and pushing really firmly against, against the sides of the, of the gem, I'm going to draw a little line where the bezel wire or the bezel strip meets the, the, you know, the first cut. Okay, so take that off. Now I can take my tins, my little snips here, and cut, cut that bezel strip on the line that I've marked. So make sure that it's straight across. Okay. 
So now what I want to do is before I do anything else, I'm going to cut the holes for my, um, for my chain to go through or for my wire or whatever I'm going to use to attach this together. So I'm going to make sure that that is in place on the, along the sides of the gemstone, hold it nice and tight. And I'm going to take a pen and sort of by eye. So I'm going to have a look, like have a little sneak, sneaky peek where that drill hole is, line it up with where your pen is and just pop a little, pop a little um, dot on the side. I do the other side. So just, I'm doing them separately. So I'm not measuring down because um, these, to be honest, the drill holes in these are pretty perfect. I haven't found one that's off, but if you're doing this with another drill, gemstone, this sort of technique, um, then sometimes the, the drill holes aren't equal distance from the top each time. Uh, okay. The, these, these all are, but just in case, always check where your drill hole is, then line up the dot, okay? Mm -hmm. So we've got our dots, and we're gonna cut out some holes. Um, so I've got the Easy Riveter um, here. Uh, which we've we've had recently, but if you you might have our punch, a 1.6 mil punch or a two um, 2.5 2.4 will will do it. So whichever punch you might have, mm -hmm. um, or you can use your Dremel and um, drill holes in. So I'm just going to punch. Happen, we might have them on the website. I'm not sure. Uh, we're just oh we're having a little look, are we? Fabulous. So punch this hole. It literally is like a hole punch, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So I'm just lining up. Lining up with my dots, um, that that little um, the cutting section there, and just keep turning until it punches through. You hear it snap through, and then we can unscrew it and remove. Okay. Um. Oh, we're not stopping at forty nine ninety nine. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, we're that engrossed. Uh, oh. Yeah. Let's 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 drop the price down. Um. <coughs> we have got the metal punch. Oh, we'll bring brilliant. that onto your screens in a few moments. Twenty four ninety nine. So again, uh, shop ahead if you wish for the other kits and the other gemstones. They are very much the same, uh, other than uh, different uh, different gems. And mm. we will bring you that tool if yeah. that's uh, um, if that's something that you're shopping for. I've I've seen you use that a few times. Oh Jen. yeah, I, I use this all the time. I use this uh, on uh, you know all my metal work. I, I've used this on leather. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's a brilliant little punch, and it's it's so handy and easy and portable, you know. Mm. So it's it's great rather than you know getting your drill out for things like this. This is I find this so simple. Okay, so is you just punch it, is, through. Is that the f the fact that it is um, nine two five sterling silver in that yeah. bezel strip? Um, it's nice and soft, isn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and soft. It's, it's actually work. It's actually um, uh, already work hardened for you. So if you want to anneal it, like when you, if you're actually going to push this around a gemstone, you'd anneal it first and get it really, really soft, and then it's, you're able to sort of form it around a gem. Mm -hmm. But for this this technique, you want this sort of more rigid, springy um, finish. Mm -hmm. So, but if you do want to, if you do want to soften it and use it for you know, your traditional sort of um, bezel setting, then you you can certainly do that. Um, what's, what's also lovely is when you punch the holes out, you get these little, these little sterling silver discs left. So mm -hmm. save those, put them in little pots and keep them because you can sort of use them in reticulation work where you burn, where you melt sort of silver onto, um, onto sh other sheets, silver or copper, or you can um, put it in resin and things like that. Mm. Okay, so now we've got this frame, we've got holes punched through either side that hopefully if we've measured right, we'll um, marry up with the holes in the size size of the gemstones. So that's looking pretty good. I can see see the holes there. Perfect. Okay, so now what we want to do is solder this triangle together so that it becomes a solid shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just double check that everything lines up well before I do the next bit. So I want to make sure that this end is lining up and that these aren't overlapping too much. Now I can see when I really push this down, push this into place, the, this, this side, this side is slightly longer. So I'm just gonna nip the tiniest, tiniest little slice off of there, okay? So take my, my cutters and just literally nibble the, a tiny little slice. And again, save all these little bits. These are perfect for reticulation techniques or setting in resin, mm. like that or even, you know, putting them away in the bin at some point. Right, so the next thing is, I want these to join like this, but I want them to look nice and neat. So I'm going to take my file to these and file them at an angle so that 
they meet um, like like you would a picture frame. You know the corners meet. Yeah. So we're going to take I'm going to take a just a flat needle file to this. It doesn't matter um, which needle files you've got. Just a nice one with a flat surface. And I'm going to come in and file this edge, and I'm just doing it at an angle. Now silver's really soft. You don't have to do much of this. It literally is just a few passes across that um, top to change the angle. It would be very hard for you to see on the camera that, that that has changed, but it has. You're just taking off that inner corner. Okay, so we do the same the other side, making sure we've beveled that edge off really, really nicely. And then when they come together, you don't get like a bulky corner. You've got a nice, a nice um, sort of neat corner. Almost like you were fitting skirting. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So we're putting them together like that. Exactly like skirt and the outer edges. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So now what I want is I want to solder these together, but obviously soldering, you know, using a torch is going to get very hot, so I can't hold them together. So what I've got to do is really use the properties of the metal um, to sort of overshape this and then enable it to, <coughs> to push against itself. Mm. So where at the moment it's springing apart, we want it to... If we overform it, put it beyond beyond where it should go. When we pull it back, they should it should push against itself. Okay. Okay. So we're going to use that bit of spring that's in the metal. So I'm going to overform those angles on those corners. We can always shape them back after. I do the same on this side. So I'm going to put my pliers, my flat pliers, back into that corner so that I can really push push the angle you know, exaggerate that angle, okay? So now they're actually tensioned against one another, okay? But they're not lined up, so we've got a bit of work to do. We sort of open them up, close them up, give them a twist, move them backwards and forwards. And this bit can take a bit of time, but it's worth getting right, because if you get a nice clean join, then it will pretty much be invisible when it's finished, okay? So I take my time there, get that lined up nicely, if it, if it, you know, if it's not completely right, don't you don't have to panic because um, you can file file off any discrepancies after. So I'm putting this now onto my firing block, um, and I've got the simple solder in the in the um, syringe, which which we have here. But you can also use um, like your soft use a soft solder um, sheet as yep. well. You just put a bit of flux on the join. A little tiny, tiny bit of um, silver solder sheet on that sort of top corner there, and then and do the other stages that I'm going to do now. So what I'm going to do here, without trying to disturb this too much, is I'm just going to squeeze the tiniest amount of my solder, of my um, easy, easy solder onto that join, and just make sure I haven't knocked it off. Okay, so that is just there. Just making sure it's all in the right place, not too far off the join. We really only really want it on the join. Okay, and it is like the tiniest amount. If you buy one of these tubes of solder, they're gonna it'll last you for I don't know how. We're bringing so the long. graphics on for that as well. So okay. um, it, I was just thinking though uh, that you quite often will reach for the simple solder, don't yeah. you? Yeah, and yet Claire will go for the little sheets. Yeah, um, this does look really easy. It is. I think because it's more liquid. Yeah, if you're venturing in um, to, to silversmithing, which I'm still very early in my journey, with, <coughs> so I think it takes that bit of that fear out of it. It's just yeah. a paste. It's almost like putting a bit of glue on and then yeah. you melt it. Um, with the with the solder sheet, you've got a lot more versatility. So if you're doing a project where you've got maybe three joins in a mm -hmm. project, then you need the different levels of solder because they've got different melting points. Mm -hmm. With this one. So with, with the, sh the little sheets, you'd use the hard first to do your first joins. Yeah. Then you'd use your medium, then your soft. Because when you do your next join, you won't undo the last join. Uh-huh, okay. The different melting points. So with this one, just one melting point. So you okay. can only really do one join okay. in a project. Perfect. There we but, are. So perfect, this, ideal for brilliant. these kits then. Yeah. Ideal. £16.99. And great for starting out. And it does last a long time. Okay, so I've got my torch on. And what I'm going to do is when, you, when you're soldering, you heat the area first, not the solder. So you don't go straight into the solder. 
We're going to heat the sides of this piece. It goes really quickly because it's the tiniest join, the tiniest amount of solder. And there it is, it's gone, it's, it's, it's done. So I don't know, did you catch it? <laughs> Not, Not quite. quite. But uh, it's so quick that, and that's, that's how simple it is. And then if we pick this up, obviously don't touch it. Don't touch it with your fingers because it'll be very hot. So I'm picking it up. This has got a little bit of my block um, on it, where the charcoal from a block, so that'll just peel off in a minute. But it's a really nice, clean, clean join. It's not going to be hard to clean, clean up. You won't need to pick all this. You can literally polish this little bit. There's no fire scale, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to dip this in some water just to make sure it's really nice and nice and cold. Get this back here. Now, do you remember I was saying about annealing your um, bezel will make it really soft? Mm -hmm. So because I've now heated this, this bezel, can you see it's just, it's distorted, it's got really soft again. Um, and so we're gonna need to fix that, okay? Um, and partly when we file, file this, these little bits off, that will help start to harden it up. So I'm gonna take, um, take my needle file again, and I'm just going to um, take off any burrs and rough edges, anywhere that solder is where you don't want it to be. We just polish that off. So just needle files just to polish it down, grind down where the solder's, you know, marked the silver and also to smooth off that join. So we're taking the, the file over, just like filing nails. It really isn't any more difficult than that. Um, just smoothing it all off, making sure there's no sharp edges and basically disappearing the join. That's, that's what we're doing, getting rid of it. You won't be able to see that that's the join point. It should look like all the other corners on your piece. Okay, so after this point, once you've filed, um, you might have some file marks which we'll need to polish out. And there's various um, tools and uh, ways to do that. So if you've got a Dremel, that's ideal. You can get a polishing kit and you can go down in your sanding grits and your polishing wheels and um, really buff this up. Or you can use um, a, a nail sanding block is mm. really good as well. You know, like a nail filing block where you've got four sides and you can go through the grits like that. That's perfect for small projects like this. Even your stylo, um, your little stylo Dremel, you can get all the attachments to polish, polish these. I generally use my files um, um, and my my um, nail blocks because they're really really handy. And I use steel wool now. I've I forgot to bring my steel wool with me, so I found this tiny little blob in a bag that was left <laughs> over in my toolkit. So I'm going to make this work, okay? Okay. Um, so this, this is that that is well loved. <laughs> it is. Um. <laughs> um, it's the finest grade, so it's a zero 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 grade. <laughs> wire wall um, and you know you can get you can get this in most DIY shops but I find this lovely for um, polishing um, and buffing up my metals so just take your time to um, make that polish that up you see how lovely and oh, shiny yeah, that's yeah. looking already um, so yeah so what I'm grab doing that little bit that just fell off oh no I won't save this this will go in the bin now uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is really at the end of at the end of its days. Oh. Okay, so yeah, so polishing all the way around, and so I'm removing a bit. When you heat the when you heat the metal, it gets a sort of a white film over it. When you continue to heat it, you it goes black, and that's called fire scale. Um, but because our soldering um, join was so tiny, we really didn't get any fire scale, so there's really no, no need to pickle or anything. <coughs> so yeah, so then I'm just yeah, I'm gonna have to work a bit harder on that area where I've used my needle file because I want to get out any of those um, larger scratch marks from the files. So really pushing that. And I'm sort of supporting the corners with my thumbnail when I do this, just to stop them pinching too closely mm. together. Okay, so really, really polishing that. Okay, we don't need to worry about the inside too much because it's the, f you know, we're going to see it because of the um, mukite in there. But if you uh, were doing a more open frame like I have with the, the, with the negative space pieces, then you'll want to polish on the inside of your frame as well. Um, and so just take your time to, to do the same process on the inside, okay, getting into those corners. And sometimes I find a cocktail stick with, your, you know, pushing this around inside with the cocktail stick to help you get into those 
sharper corners. Okay, so let's move that away. It's very messy wire wall. Okay, so now you can see I've, I've got this lovely frame. It's really secure. The join is actually quite discreet now, so that's good. Um, but what I want to do is harden this back up and reshape it. So I'm going to take my uh, flat pliers. I'm just going to give them a bit of a clean. I'm going to take my flat pliers and I'm going to come in and just pinch down. So I'm literally biting down all the way around the frame. Okay, and that's sort of opening those corners back up. And this process of biting down on the, on the wire frame is hardening it back up. So it's undoing that softening we did with the flame. So we're sort of making those, um, those uh, sort of crystalline fibers inside the metal sort of mesh back up again and make them, them sturdy. So we're getting there, I'm just gonna keep going. Again, when you're making the frames to sit you know, directly on the outside of the gemstone, you don't need to worry about hardening these off too much. But if you wanted to leave them open or have a, you know, a frame, an aperture that is bigger than your gemstone, then you will need to make sure that these are nice and, nice and um, sturdy. Okay, so now we just take this back to our gemstone, see if it fits. I was going to say no then, but very satisfying that. That slot, slotted over nicely. Now, if, um, if you wanted to now um, make sure that this, so I, this is fine that this can slip in and out of this frame because it's going to be on one necklace, it doesn't matter. Um, but if you wanted to make this, say you wanted to make this into a beautiful ring. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just don't do the part where you drilled the holes, you know, cut the holes, leave that. And then you'd make your frame like this and you'd solder this frame onto a ring shank. Yeah. It's in the same way. And so that would support that the would gemstone hold from the back. Nice and secure. Yeah, yeah. So, Amazing. you know, you'd have to, you'd have to have a, a fairly broad ring shank to mm. manage. I mean, I wouldn't do this one as a ring. I would do one of the smaller. You get lots, lots of options. I'd do a smaller one and a ring shank. Mm. So with this, this ring, so I'm using the same techniques that I made this ring with. So this one um, is two pieces of one mil wire. And I've opened the shank to see... Um, so I only had to solder it to the two edges. Yeah. So you could do the same thing with this. You could have two pieces of wire soldered in two points and it will support the gemstone as well from the back. And then what you'd do is you'd take a, you know, an agate burnisher or a, a, a prong pusher, that sort of thing, and push this bezel strip around the gem and it would just hug over just where it gets a little bit, um, you know, starts to taper. And just that very, like, millimetre, less than a millimetre, will help, will stop that falling forward. So, you know, it's really simple to take it from what I'm doing now into a different, a different sort of way of using it. Right, but for us now, all I'm going to do is take this chain. It's a lovely fine chain. Take this chain and pop it through. I hope I've lined it up properly. Pop it through the gemstone and the bezel. Now, sometimes it needs a bit of encouragement because the chain links twist <laughs> as they go through, but it does go through. Mm. Bit of jiggery oh. pokery. Yeah, or you can help by um, using a little bit of 0.4 wire. I was going to say, bit. use it like a, like a, like like a, a needle. threading needle. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I'll do just to make sure it goes through. So fold this up, get of a get of it a pinch, and then we we'll just take it through that hole and pull it through. Now it's going to misbehave and not do it for me, isn't it? Typical. Yeah, all the others did it fine, absolutely fine. Oh, <laughs> don't want to give it a wiggle too much. Typical. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Live TV. Oh, I tell you what, I do I do something else. So maybe it's because my holes are not perfectly lined up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, through them individually. So I'll go through here. I did this with another one, so it should work. Through the frame, mm -hmm. then through the gemstone, then back through the frame. And that should, that should make everything line up. 
This chain is beautiful, isn't it? It's our it's yeah. our classic um, infinity chain. Yeah. So a meter of it. Yeah, loads of it. So it goes a long way in this um, in this project. Look at that. Um, we've just put the other kit onto your screen as well. This is uh, the amethyst one. It basically has the same components as the mookite one, but obviously different gemstone and different shape. These are beautiful. Mm, they're good, um, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that shape. Top drilled sort of diamond shape. Amazing. Exactly the same sort of techniques to actually bezel same, set these. Exactly the same. It's just that it's, you know, you've got more corners to make because it's a diamond shape. But yeah, it's exactly the same techniques. Beautiful. And you do have bales. Um, I'm just looking across. Yeah, you've got bales. You've so. got bales, but you, you've, you've chosen not to use them. Look at that chain. <laughs> yeah, it's been a nuisance, it is, isn't it's it? It's been a nuisance. It's been a nuisance. If you, if you find the drill hole in your gemstones a little bit too small, you can, yeah. can you ream that? That's yeah. what you're doing now. Yeah, I'm just going to do that now because the, all the others have gone through absolutely fine. Just this one is um, being naughty. Really naughty. And I saved this one because I like the colour the best as well. That's typical, isn't it? <laughs> Literally typical. £24.99 pence for uh, the amethyst. In terms of pieces of jewellery, I mean, if amethyst, that's four straight away. Yeah. Yeah, there's, I mean, I've done earrings and a necklace. <coughs> that I do. Yeah. And, a you know, a simple pendant and then a, a negative space. You know, just, and what's nice is you can do a collection of these and then um, sort of, um, wear them together mm. so you know you could have you know them them stacked and layered that was the idea to be able to stack and layer them and graduate the sizes look at that even the chain is feeding through some of the drill holes all, all of them all until of now them. <laughs> until that one typical isn't it yeah. absolutely typical. when you think this chain on its own is 11 pounds 99 yeah so i mean 11 pounds 99 for the sterling silver infinity chain then you've also got this sterling silver and this sterling silver and the strand of gemstones, you know, that's pretty awesome, isn't it, in terms of the actual deal. That bezel strip, Gemma, as well, is, is purer, isn't it, than 95? It's 999. Yes, so it will be like that, but so it's like got that more firm feel, and also when you then anneal it, it's, it's soft enough to really press around the yeah. stone. Yeah, so um, amazing, absolutely amazing. £24.99. One, two, three, four. So we're talking about, wait, 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 what's that? It's like six pounds per component, six pounds for a metre of the infinity chain, six pounds for those bales, which are invaluable, so, you know, especially if you saw um, uh, Dave's pearl, uh, individual pearl, um, plus you're getting six, what, six pounds for the bezel strip and then six pounds for the beautiful top drill diamond amethyst and likewise with your mookite, that's, that's mm. amazing. It is amazing. Six pounds each. When you look at it that way, that's you know just an indication of the savings that we actually bring you. Um, <laughs> how you how you get? Are you winning? No, you're not winning. No, I got, I'll tell you what. I've got this smaller one. So this smaller one, I think I need to ream. I don't want to ream that one too quickly because I don't want to break the gemstones. So yeah, of course. I've got this this one through instead, which is fine because they're all triangles. And it will just be an example of having that larger frame. So I've gone through the top of the gemstone. And then I'll go through the side of the frame again to bring it back up. And then that's going to sit. Oh, I like it in there. That. Like that. So was I, if I was to be, if I were to plan to do this, I wouldn't plan for the, it to sit like that. I would do my drill holes a bit lower and it would allow my triangle to sit more centrally in the frame. Mm -hmm. so, I yeah. like it. But yeah, you can, I mean, you could do it just like that. But yeah, <laughs> almost all... Almost all. I'm going to have to say almost now. They all the, the drill holes are large enough to take the chain through, but that one just obviously needs a little bit of encouragement. Absolutely gorgeous, so. Gemma. Aren't you clever? Make sure you check out your baskets. You're amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. You really are. Uh, very popular kits that I'm not surprised because they were specced by Gemma herself. Now. The most amazing strands to go alongside your yeah. Mukite kit. Yeah. And also the most incredible sizes. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to lay them all across the back of my hand. So you've got your 12. Look at the qualities. I need these. <coughs> Absolutely. 10. Is that going to be enough for me, Ross? <coughs> uh, hang on. <laughs> Let me tell you. One second. Hold that thought, Gem. Mm. 
I cry if there isn't. Yes. You think there will be? Hopefully. It depends what Ross does, I suppose. Look at these. That's one of the biggest collections of Mookite that I've seen in rounds in a long, long time. Mm. Starting from 12 mil, going right the way down to your four millimetre, they're coming your way as a star buy. Now, I discussed with you at Mookite the other day this one locational gemstone from uh, Western Australia. It's mined along uh, the Mooka Creek or Mooka River itself, as it's so aptly named after. This is actually a variety of jasper that comes from ancient marine life mm. that occurred just in one place in the world. But those, uh, when it was once upon a time quite abundant, uh, now unfortunately it has been scaled down um to just two mining license holders so that's it and they very much work together in terms of actually sourcing this beautiful gemstone even down to the fact that the lapidris will actually then cook on the barbecue etc um, but let's just just quickly uh, sort of flash through these before we bring you the um, sort of the the graduation. So Mookite, named after the creek uh, where this jasper is found in Western Australia, Mookite is fast becoming a well recognised Australian. Uh, we don't use semi precious anymore, remember? So I'm going to say gemstone. Uh, the amazing colours reflect the Australian outback in its ochre hues. Due to the flint-like structure, mukai is tricky to cut and polish as it will easily splinter. However, and look at the cabochon, Gemma, you've just literally mm. demonstrated that uh, technique. Yes. However, um, when successful, cabochons can look picturesque and can be made into spectacular jewellery. Mined in the Kennedy Range is about 100 miles inland from the coastal town of Canalvon um, in Western Australia. The creek has many uh, underground springs. Ooh. There you go. Uh, making mining a wet and messy job, but the results are worth it. Now, if, you, if we just click forward, they, these two names, Tom Capitani and Joanne Pass, were very fortunate to be the last miners to obtain a mining license in the area, um, which is now controlled by the Department of Conservation and Environment. The area can be accessed by crossing the Gascoigne River, um, which can be quite a challenge in itself. So I love how they keep dropping this in, you know, the little challenges that they overcome. Um, two existing mining license are left. That's it. Wow. That's it. So we were saying, well, not only is this challenging to mine because it bogs a lot and literally the, 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 the six wheel drive vehicles that you saw there often sink um, and they have to pull them out. But also it's challenging to cut it's also very limited now. Mm. Uh, very, very limited. Completely and utterly natural. Mm. Com yeah, look at that. I agree. I adore Mukai. Uh, we had a showcase and there wasn't a single round in that showcase. Oh, it's, it's, it's rare you get the rounds. I, I love it. I, I love them. Uh, which ones do you like? It's, it's really hard, but there's there's that soft, like, heathery purple that is, I think you don't get any in any other gemstone. No, true. And I love that colour. I love the ochre. I love those oranges. Yeah, me too. But even without a single facet, without a single polish, look how beautiful it is. Look at how beautiful. Aren't they amazing? That's 360 carats in your 12 mil. I've got the 10, I've got the 8, I've got the 6, I've got the 4. We're at £19.99. Remember, this kind of has a knock-on effect. That's completely natural. Look, look at this photograph. So this is Thomas Capitani. Look how beautiful Mukai is, even without actually uh, sort of faceting. But don't forget, to get a sphere, mm. it's challenging to cut. Yeah. We are no way near mm. your showcase price. Are you ready? It's an avalanche. It's a mookite avalanche. Mm -hmm. £11.99. pence. That's ridiculous. That is amazing. Isn't it? Because... Yeah. Gem, you and I have been here a while now, haven't we? Yeah. Do you remember when mookite, if it was put into a kit, used to massively bump the price up? Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember saying, I, I remember being told I could put it in the kit. Yeah. I couldn't have it in the kit. Because it's expensive. Yeah. Do you remember that, Ollie? One location, absolutely. There was a few gemstones that did that. This would have been, yeah, I agree. Thank you, Ollie. I agree. It would have been about £39.99. Yeah. I agree. Do you remember that? Yeah, absolutely. yeah. I mean, because it's, it's been one of my favourites, but it has at times, you know, been considered a considered yes. purchase for me. I'm not saying we've never done Mookite deals, but like for me, Mookite, Sharite, Petersite, mm. there's another one. Amazonite is another one. Yeah. We're all a certain, Botswana Agate, we're all a certain price tag. Mm. £11.99, which means that you're 10 mil, which means that you're 8 mil, which means that you're 6 mil and you're 4 mil, it'll have that knock-on effect. Oh my goodness me, you could make the most, everything will be less than what's on your screens. That's unbelievable. Can you imagine that layered? Mm. Oh, yeah. yes, I can. Oh. <laughs> it's beautiful. A bit of mookite deliciousness draped around the neckline. Um, it's sold out. Well done. Let's now do the 10 mils. You know it's going to be less than 12, uh, uh, than the 12, well, 11.99. Ah, oh, let's admire them. Let's go along the strand, shall we? Look at this. Oh, look at them. They're so beautiful. Look at that. Not your price, says Ross. 60 seconds to join us on the phone lines. Marla's, yeah, Ollie, I'm with you on that one. Look at this one. Oh, look at that pure crimson red. Mm. That's so great. Same gemstone. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one I can almost taste. Mm. That looks like a banana split. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Uh, amazing. It's a rare variety of jasper that forms in one location in the world, and that's Western Australia. We've said it before, if ever there was a gemstone to exude the beauty of its location, then absolutely Mookite would be one of it. Now, you know that we're going lower than here. The clock's ticking away, which also tells me that the eight mils will be, also tells me that the six mils will be, and the four mils. I don't think we are ready, Ross, no. How many have we got? Oh. I said you might be successful, but probably not at these prices. No. Seven ninety nine. Again, no disrespect, but like oh, your jaspers, your ragates, your quartzites would, quartzites would be seven ninety nine. Yeah, and you've got three strands to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be left any left for me, is there? Sorry, Jem. <sighs> Sorry, Gem, and it would be so perfect with your kits. Mm. Um, you can still get hold of those kits, just about, if you're a fan of your Marlas. And if anyone does make a Marla, by the way, um, in this collection, I'd very much like to buy it, so could you do get in touch. Um, you can see the location. The bush does not release uh, the treasure readily. <laughs> I love that sentence. <laughs> Bogging of vehicles is frequent. Yeah. Does it, that even sounds like an Australian sentence, doesn't it? <laughs> <coughs> uh, love it. The bush doesn't release the treasures readily. Um, love it. We can flick through. Let's move on. Look at these colours, though. That's Mukai in the rough. Uh, prior to the cutting process itself, those warm crimson reds, those lovely natural ochres, uh, beautiful sort of creamy whites and latte-like tones challenging to cut because you can almost see it here you know how flint like it is um, as a gemstone so literally only two mining licenses remain uh, in uh, western australia which mean tells me that it is depleting they literally scour this now from the riverbeds um yeah quality like this is becoming harder and harder and harder to find well done everybody this is your 10 mil size so if you got hold I was about to pass this to you. I, I, was, I was just about to go, oh, that's, yeah, good, thank you. It's, nice, uh, it's on the verge of selling out. <laughs> good luck, Carmel, good luck, Tracy, good luck, West Midlands, hello to your new customer, Suri, hello to you, Paula, Carol, Margaret, Helen, Claire, Rachel, Virginia. Mm. They're lovely, so aren't lovely. they? You're just teasing me now. Well, you asked for them. <laughs> you know it's going lower than 7 99 right? Yeah. 
Oh, this again. Can we work our way along the strand? Ooh. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at that one. It's like a satsuma. Oh, I like that one. Look at that one. Yeah. I love the markings. Looks like it's been tied up for tie dye, doesn't it? Yeah. That one's got the number two on, look. Ooh. Can you see? All completely natural. Oh, look at that. The, that one is just going to go out of shot. Oh, wow. Which one? Which um, one? It's the Which way? Mustard. That way or that way? Yeah, that way. That's it. The mustard went in the oh, middle. Oh, yeah. The middle now. Is that green in there? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. All chocolate tones. There's those mauves, Gemma, that you love. Yeah. £6.99 pence only. This is the joy of beautiful gemstones, natural gemstones, because you get, you know, you get the strand home and then you just spend hours literally just admiring yeah. the stones themselves. Look at that one there. Amazing. Um, and these are, what, eight mils? So we've still got six and four mils to go. What would you, do, if you were lucky enough to get all these, and that sounds really cruel, me asking you this question, but what would you do? I think I would make like a long knotted um, graduated piece. I'd sort of graduate it small at the back, and then larger, larger, larger than the sides, and then taper back down into small for a tassel. Love. Yeah, so I'd do like two graduated lengths and then join them. Love. And you could probably make more, couldn't you? Yeah. If you managed to get hold of that bundle. Yes. Um, yeah, that would be amazing. Six pounds and 99 pence only for eight mil. Look at that, it's got green. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, it is it, 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 it is a huge gemstone. I see where you're coming from, Ollie, because mm -hmm. they often say about jewellery, if you wear it around the neckline, it's it it's for everybody else. Mm. Uh, but if you wear it on the hand or on the wrist, then it's for you. Yeah. Um guess what? Sold out. Oh. Sorry, Gem. Six mils. You've got a taste for your moo car. You know it's going lower than six pound ninety-nine. Ah, oh, that yeah, this is frankly ridiculous. Again. It's not just me that says this. I, like, we can all recall Mookite being more of a... I'm not saying... More considered. It was more considered, wasn't uh, it? Yeah, I mean... Peter Seitzshaw, right? Botswana Agate. Yeah. We haven't seen much Botswana. Obsidian was another one. Was really expensive. Yeah, obsidian was, yeah. Golden Obsidian, really. It was quite expensive. Yeah. But going back to... Well, about 10 years when I first started here, I remember the prices of them because I knew not to put them in kits. Yeah, Carnelian Smoky Quartz. They were two of the... Yeah. Yeah. 4.99 no, not nowhere near 4.99 well to be honest we didn't see four, uh, the 6 mils or the 4 mils they generally were in larger sizes weren't they oh Gem yeah, this is cruel this is cruel putting them next to me but you want you. I do want them wait a minute this is the last auction oh there are 50 available mm. 30 carats, so you have four mils. Yeah, I'd love to make just lots of stretchy bracelets with this. Make sure you check out your baskets. £3.99 is, frankly, ridiculous for Mukai. Because Ridiculous. Beady beads, mm. kiss cross, they've sold out. The only size of your Mukai which is available is the oh. 10 mils. Well, and there's only single figures of those. Oh. That would be lovely too, yeah. Gem. Imagine that, it's like a collar. Like a graduated necklace. Just, yeah, just beaded. Ooh. Yeah, that would be amazing. A ladder weave to keep those together. Loving that, absolutely yeah. loving that. Um, thank you so much for joining us all, Jewelry Makers. We've had a wonderful, wonderful morning. Gemma, when are you back with us? I don't know. Not sure yet. I actually don't know, no. They, I not don't think we have been allocated dates for next month. I'm okay. I'm not in for the rest of the month. So. Oh, you can put your feet yes. up. Well, I say that because I know that, Gemma, you won't put your feet up. You're a busy lady with lots no. of other things I as am, well. I am doing lots of nice. It's my birthday next week, so we're away. Happy birthday. We're away and it's Easter, so we've got lots of family time. So be love that. Absolutely love that. Well, have a wonderful birthday, my Thank darling. Thank you, I will. Um, stay with us, of course, because... Uh, um, Hobby Maker, our sister channel, is coming up in a few moments' time. We've been setting up this. We've got some lovely cards um, with our gorgeous Sherilyn. I'm back with you now on Friday for your Easter weekend, and it is lining up to be an absolute cracker.